I did it. I did it. With stories help. Hello, everybody. Sorry for the delay, but uh, hello. We're finally here. Only eight minutes over than when I on <laughs> starting. Uh, but hello, 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 everybody. And welcome on back to yet another Twitch stream. Welcome on in. Hello. Uh, oh, baby, I just made you a moderator over there. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Well, uh, we ran into some... There you go, baby. You're a moderator over there now. Awesome. Now, can I figure out why I can't see the YouTube chat on... On OBS? That's the real challenge? Oh, that's why. It was the wrong link. Hang on. Let me fix that real quick. Uh, but yeah, sorry guys, I am attempting to do my first ever simulcast, which means that I am currently streaming not only on Twitch, but I'm also streaming over on YouTube. So, uh, right now I got it working. Um, you do, baby, you got the power. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to get this up and running because Twitch now essentially, uh, like lets you stream both on, on YouTube and Twitch now because the gloves are off and they're just like, we don't give a shit. Um, with some, some caveats, there's some caveats there. So, but anyway, we're good now. Everything's fine. Everything is hunky dory. A okay. And, uh, we're live on both Twitch and also on YouTube. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And now there's like 18 bajillion fucking links in the in the in 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 here give me one second i gotta get rid of these links in the announcements there we go that's the only one that really matters dope 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 okay all right we're good we're good uh if you want to test it out and see how it looks over on youtube that would actually be like a big big help for me uh also i will eventually need youtube mods i don't know how often i'm gonna do this like multi-streaming but uh, if anybody wants to go check it out and see how it looks and sounds over on YouTube, that would be great. I would I would still stay in here in Twitch. Stay in here in Twitch. But if you want to verify and 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 help, that would be great. So, <laughs> uh, but anyway, welcome on in, and welcome on back to yet another stream. And happy happy Tuesday to everybody. Got some some awesome announcements and stuff and things. Uh, super excited for tonight's stream because we are going to be doing a sponsored stream tonight. I know it's not the most spookiest of games, but uh, I'm excited to try it out. And uh, I got a review key, so we're doing that. And uh, yeah, uh, and just in case anybody who is new here doesn't know what the hell is going on, what is going on, guys, gals, and pals, my name is Chris, or Chris X Chad, or Chad, or Beard Man, or Guy with Non Function Pancreas. And this here is the Beard Zone, and it's a place where we have a deep love and appreciation for beards, but never fear because no beards are ever required. And as always, the best way that we like to start off things here in the beard zone is with none other than a Smexy. Oh, boy's time. It, it, Indy's in the room now. A Smexy, sexy intro. So without further ado, please, oh, please roll that thing baby huh hmm Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. You gotta love them intros. You know, you just gotta love them. And don't worry, guys, gals, and pals. You don't like intros in front of your interweb videos? Well, never fear, because you know why? My GoXLR decided to work today, and I'll just go ahead and like that intro for you. Not a problem. No worries. It's all right. I got you. I'll go ahead and like it for you. Also, thank you for understanding about the technical difficulties. Uh, Twitch was fine. It was YouTube that was the problem. YouTube was the problem. I've never done a YouTube stream ever before. So I, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. So I'm like, I set this up on my lunch break today, basically. Set this up on my lunch break and was like, you know what? 
it doesn't hurt right it, it can't hurt having your stream in multiple places you know so i'm gonna try this out i don't know if we'll be doing it every single stream because it is like a few extra steps than what i'm used to but uh i figured for our special stream tonight uh we'll, we'll give it a go we'll give it a go so if you're over there let me know how it is uh i also uh, i made story a moderator over there and i know dillers had offer to be a mod so whenever he types in there i'm gonna go ahead and make him a mod over there but how's everybody doing welcome on in thank you for understanding i'm also wearing my cloak tonight i don't know i felt like cloak was like appropriate for the game and stuff that we're gonna be doing tonight so ye pretty excited about that but anyway let me go ahead and say hello to those who are being chatty in the chat starting at the top who do we got here uh again i'm very sorry about the delay in the beginning uh we have free who again is using other words than pokedex i'm so proud of you free look at that vocabulary maybe we'll get second next time oh no wait you did you said now the lurk words man it's amazing it's amazing the vocabulary is expanding free what is going on how are you doing man welcome on into the stream we also got demo with a game over also demo i don't know what the heck you were talking about with stream over and the stream was broken was it because you saw me in stories standing here you blame 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 youtube it's youtube's fault it's trying to trying to it, it's funny because the way that i have my um because i have like a monitor over here and uh, this monitor i usually use for like my twitch dashboard as well as like some streams that i'm lurking in and also um and also uh like any other important things that i need and stuff like that so um it was just it was just really confusing you, youtube streaming is very very confusing so i don't know we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes uh but demo welcome on in as well how are you doing we also got turtle in the house as well hi turtle how are you doing welcome on in uh thank you for the turtle appreciate appreciate uh we also got blocks here blocks i hope you like your new sound effect please let me know what you think of it uh let me know what you think of it and everything. Would love to see if you like it. Is it loud enough? Is it good? I actually had to go, like, I know it, yours was simple that I had to, I just like downloaded it and ripped the audio from the video, but I did have to go in there and bump it up. I actually bumped up the, the audio for that sound effect by 200%. Because it's funny because it sounds fine on YouTube, but when you put it into MP3, MP3 format, for some reason, it just sounded so freaking low. So that's with it bumped up to 200%. Uh, so hopefully it's loud enough if you want to give it another go. All of the sound effects do have a 60 second cooldown. So if you want to try it again, Blocks, just to see, because this is now the volume that we normally have when we are. Uh... Why is there a watermelon there? I'll tell you later. Okay, that's fine. I also love Jeff Goldblum. I don't think I've ever seen that movie, but I'm a big Jeff Goldblum fan. I will sit there and listen to an hour long video of Jeff Goldblum laughing from Jurassic Park because it's great and he's great as well so i hope you like it i hope you like it uh chris's stream broke yeah what did you mean by that the stream was fine what are you talking about what are you talking about <laughs> dillers is that you over there just confirm if that's you or not i'm like 90 percent certain that's you also there's a huge delay on the youtube side of things by the way so uh just let me know and i'll let you know when i see it starting now uh want the pokemon okay uh looks like it ain't broke yet yeah oh so follow up on the pokemon buy option uh and everything so um i am currently waiting to see i am currently waiting to see uh all right dillers you're a mod but over there by the way now man um so i'm currently waiting to hear back from one of the lead developers he had followed up with a message with me saying can you get a log and i said a log file and i said sure and then I went ahead and I tried to, um, I went ahead and like sent the log to him, but I haven't heard anything back. I think he's also in the UK. So he's probably also working on like projects and stuff. So I will let you know, as soon as I hear something back, it could turn up to be like, maybe it originated as a Twitch API problem, but now it's just like normal problem. I, I guess, I don't know. So we'll, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see, but please, if, if any time that you see any of the the buy options not working or if there's an issue or something like that please 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 let me know please 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 let me know because otherwise i will have no idea that it didn't work so let me know uh better late than never yeah better late than never also that second link is the youtube link not that first one that first one it's weird youtube makes like a separate like it's like you're posting a video almost so it acted like i posted a video but that first link was the, the borked 
one of the borked tries of me trying to start up the stream and everything. So, uh, Gata's also here as well. Hi, Gata. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Uh, I did. It looks better on here. Well, make sure that you check because just like Twitch, there is like audio uh, or video options. I think YouTube, since I'm not partnered with YouTube, the highest that it will go to is 72060. I don't think we can do cool uh, custom resolutions and stuff like that, but I think you can. it's going to probably look slightly better in here. Slightly, slightly better in here. So uh, is good. Good. I'm glad to hear. Hello, Chris and Chad. I'm pretty good. That's good to hear, Turtle. That's good to hear. And yeah, also, guys, gals, and pals, please. I'm sorry. Again, we were like eight minutes late for the start of the stream. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, let me know how your days have been. What did everybody get up to today? How is everybody doing? Please let me know in the chat. All of those things. would love to hear about you and your days. Was it a good day? Was it a bad day? Did you have work today? Did you have a brain foggy day? Did you do anything spooky today? If so, um, did you slap a ghost? Let me know all that in the chat. We'd love to hear about you guys, gals, and pals. I'd love to hear about you guys. Uh, it's a classic. Yeah, I, it didn't look familiar. I, I I forgot what the title of it was. I'll have to look at our messages. But I was like, oh, Jeff Goldblum. I was like, what movie is this? I like had to sit there for like a good like five, ten minutes. And I was like, I don't think I've ever seen this. I don't think I've ever seen this movie before. So, uh, but I'll, I'll definitely give it. I'll, I'll definitely check it out for sure when I get a chance. For sure. Uh, it's a classic. Uh, is the stream up yet? Yes, the stream is up. Demo. This is a this is a dead bit the bit's dead stream is fine people are chatting and responding to me refresh it on your side um that show oh it's a show that show has john lithgow christopher lloyd peter weller ellen barkin and jeff goldblum the adventures of buckaroo bonsai across the eighth dimension you know like okay that is the name of it because i remember reading it saying what the fuck is this i've never heard of this movie um but here's here's the thing it's so like you know what that sounds like? That sounds like so like um not JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. What what am I thinking of? I'm trying to think what I'm thinking of. There's um there's oh uh what is it? Space space something dandy. It it, it, it kind of has like the same ring to like space something dandy. I forget the name of it. I have to look it up. Space oh I think it is just space dandy. I don't know why, but that name of that show just has the same vibes. I feel like space dandy does. And especially that there was a melon in a hydraulic press. I feel like same fucking vibes. I don't know. I'll 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 take I'll take a look when I get a chance and maybe watch an episode or two. So, uh, but uh, I'm glad you like your sound. Glad to hear that the sound is good and you approve of it, blocks. And again, remember, uh, now that you have your free sound and you are a subscriber, you can get an additional two sub sub sounds. Those will last as long as you're a subscriber. Unfortunately, since it is a sub perk. If and when you are in a subscriber, those sounds do get muted. Uh, but then once you become a sub again, they get turned on. And uh, if you want ones that are like concurrent, you can use your channel points to buy an additional four sounds for a total of five that will always be on. And then the sub ones are only on when you're a subscriber because they're sub perks. But uh, another thing, don't ever feel like you're locked into your sound effects. Um, your sound effects, you can change at any time you want. And it's as easy as I found a new sound. Here's the link, Chris. And also, it's from a minute to a minute 10. And I'll be like, okay, that's great. I'll I'll get on it right now and take care of that for you. Um, so, uh, yeah, just, you know, if you ever find a new sound and you want to replace it, just always remember, like, if you sent it to me today, I'll probably have it up for the next stream, probably. Uh, only because I, I don't really like editing those kind of things. I mean, they're pretty easy to edit. I could probably do it on stream. But I like kind of mixing it with like my other editing because then I feel like accomplished and everything. But also it's just it's just easier because then I got to play with sounds and I don't want to like blow anyone's ear holes out of the water or anything like that. So, you know, uh, but anyway, that sounds like an awesome show, though. Sounds really, really awesome. And again, let me know how everybody's days are. Again, I'm sorry it took me so long to, to get on here at the appropriate time. And also sorry if I didn't get to your messages soon enough. But please let me know how you are, how your days have been. What did you get up to today? Let me know all of that in the chats. Please, please, please. And uh, as for me, I had a pretty good day. Um, I did almost sleep in accidentally. I think I woke up at like 8.45. Normally I'm up and re like raring around like 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, but um, I think I, might, I was just so tired. So, so tired from like the weather and everything that I was just like, I want to sleep more. And my body was just, like just not allowing me to get up. So that sucked. That 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 part sucked, but uh, I am definitely feeling a whole lot better 
uh, now after the day has gone on. Uh, and I will say I've also had a weird day with my blood sugar. My blood sugar has been very, very high for most of the day. Um, so I think it is the sensor that I have. I think the sensor that I have on my arm is borked. So I did order a new one and I have to go pick it up at the store tomorrow. Um, but it was like a 30 point discrepancy, right? I checked my blood when I like walked in the room and I was talking to story and I'm like, oh my God, it says that like I'm at 160. What the fuck? And then I went upstairs and I, I pricked my finger and I had my blood tested that way. And sure enough, um, my blood was 130. So literally like a 30 point difference, 30 fucking points. I'm like, that is, that's dangerous because what if it's saying, oh yeah, you're 60 and I'm like, oh yeah, I have a low, but it's not that bad. But realistically, my blood sugar is 30 because it's a 30 point difference. So, um, I did message my doctor, the doctors that, uh, my, my regular doctor, um, they do have a really, really cool little app that you can, uh, kind of send the messages. So I sent her a message and said, Hey, this is like the third sensor that I've had where I've had nothing but issues. Um, so is there any way that like, maybe you can put in a prescription for like, because my, my, like the brand that I have has three models. I'm using model one. There's a model two and then a model three, model three being the latest one. I, I messaged her and I was like, Hey, is there any way that like you can put in a prescription for like the, the middle model or even the highest model, or maybe even another brand because I'm having consistent, like inaccuracies, like where now it's like a 30 point gap. So. Uh, it also could just be that, like, I've gotten three bad sensors because, I mean, think about, like, all the stuff that comes in the mail. Like, you hear stories about someone ordering a GPU and it comes in the mail and they try to plug it in their computer and sure enough, it ain't working it, because it's it's dead out of the box. Um, so I'm like, you know, that could happen with devices like this and everything. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I have no idea. We'll just have to see. Hopefully my doctor can be like, yeah, sure, I'll put in a prescription because I found out I can order all of this stuff. I can order all of this stuff directly through Amazon. Uh, Amazon has a, uh, they have a pharmacy now online and uh, I actually can like access it. I can actually access it. Uh, it just says that I need a prescription for these sensors. So I was like, you know what? I'll just get it through there. I'm like, if I can just get a prescription, then I'm good. Uh, also give me one second. I forgot to do one thing before the start of stream next sub goal giveaway and then 10 plus games there we go i just wanted to update our sub goal because a few subs just kind of dropped off so i'm making it a little bit more manageable but also trying to keep the ratio that we had before so the new sub goal is 165 and if we can hit that sub goal we will go ahead and do another giveaway and we will be giving away 10 plus games 10 plus games guys gals and pals if we can hit that sub goal at least before october 31st uh, because then it will, it will restart and we'll have a lower sub goal and it'll start off with like our basic numbers for our giveaways and, and things like that. So, uh, so keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Uh, also give me one second. I don't know why I'm like so sporadic tonight, like literally setting up the YouTube stuff, just like borked my mind essentially. So, <laughs> uh, it's okay, Chris, my ear holes are not in the water at the moment. Well, well, wait, no, if you had, if you had your ear holes in the water, then <laughs> if you had your ear holes in the water, then you wouldn't be able to hear anything. And then that would have been better. Would have muffled everything. <laughs> it would have muffled everything. So that's worse. Oh no. Uh, I'm coming down with something slight cough and my nose feels funny. Dude, I feel you, man. I woke up this morning with my nose a running and my eyes a watering and just freezing. And uh, that, that's a big thing with being a diabetic. Uh, you have to watch out for your extremities because you do uh like there's a risk of aeropathy and a whole bunch of other stuff but like i ever i noticed ever since i was fully diagnosed like my feet get colder easily same thing with like my hands but also like my internal temperature is like all over the place like one minute i'm hot one minute i'm cold i don't know if it's because my body is struggling to process like the the food that i just shoved down my gullet i have it, it, it but i feel you I, I i felt like i was catching a little something the other morning so also, Diller Senpai Benzos got me, got me info now. Wallet go burr. Wait, what are you talking about? YouTube's not owned by Jeff Bezos. That's that's Google. That's that's not owned by. Oh, you were talking about the Amazon pharmacy shit. Uh, my meds. Okay, the, there's there's an icon on my screen that cuts that off. So I'm sorry about that. 
Uh, yeah. Well, listen, if I, if I can get a better sensor and all it takes is for me to order my meds through Amazon, I, I don't give a shit. I really, really don't. I try my best to order through like, you know, if I wanted to get like a tech thing, I try like Newegg or I try like B&H uh, and all those places and everything. I'll try those places first before I jump on Amazon. But to be honest, to be honest, Amazon's just super convenient. Like with the two days shipping and everything, sometimes you even get one day shipping and everything. It's just so convenient. So I'll try my best to go around and look on like, you know, the dot coms that are not Amazon and order something there. But like if I really need the thing and like maybe it's a slightly better price because I have Prime, I'll I'll just I'll just do Amazon. It's just it's just more convenient, man. It's really it's more convenient, but I do recommend support small businesses. If you have an opportunity to use a site like like you know, if like oh, I could go and order it from Best Buy or I could order it from like B&H or Newegg or something like that, do that instead of just ordering it through Papa Amazon. Like, leave that as, like, your last option or if, like, you're under a time crunch or something like that. Or, you know, like I do where sometimes I buy last-minute Christmas gifts and I'm like, oh, shit, it's not going to get here. And then I look over on Amazon and I'm like, hey, it'll get here in tom tomorrow. All right, cool. And Christmas is in three days. All right, cool. Which I, it has happened to me before. I am a procrastinated shopper sometimes, so. Uh, let me see. Uh, Amazon is irresistible, right? It really, really is. It really, really, really is irresistible at some time. Sometimes it's just like, it's a convenience factor. It's, it's like, you know, like, I don't know. Sometimes it's just, it's just more convenient that you're able just to get it on, like on a time crunch that you might need and, and stuff like that and everything. So, um, but you know, do support small businesses. If you get opportunities to order it from other than Amazon, do it because you are helping support small business and companies like Amazon, unfortunately do kill small businesses. That's how small businesses die with, with, with organizations like Amazon and stuff like that. So, uh, finding Amazon, at least UK, not so cheap these days. Yeah. I have noticed. I mean, with prime, you do get like a consistent discount and stuff. And like, I do admit, especially on like their prime days or like their multiple repeats of like their prime days, they do have some like pretty decent, uh, discounts and, and things like that and everything. So like it, it, it like, <sighs> but like, you know, with, with everything that's going on in the world today and everything, inflation is a real fucking bitch it is a real real fucking bitch it is so fucking annoying um but it is a real thing that we are going through right now and it's only going to get worse before it even gets anywhere remotely better there are so many things that are going to be required for inflation and shit like that to get better um but yeah it's stinky it's real real stinky so but um you know that's why also sometimes it's better going to uh going and doing like you know, the mom and pop shops, like directly through like the, the, the small businesses and stuff like that, or even like going through, like, you know, I know Dillers is probably rolling his eyes. Like, please don't talk about Best Buy like that. But you know, even like going with Best Buy also speaking of Best Buy, Best Buy is completely getting rid of physical media. I don't know if anybody heard about that, or if you don't know what that means, that means Best Buy is eliminating CDs, DVDs, Blu-ray. You will not be able to go to a physical Best Buy location and go buy uh, a DVD of Jurassic Park. No, they're getting rid of physical media completely. I think there were some discussions on like, does that mean that you can't get physical game copies anymore and stuff like that and everything? Uh, <laughs> that's how long it's delayed, by the way, Dylan. I just got your message that says, do not do it. That's how long YouTube is delayed by. That's fucking bonkers. That's insane. That is such a long ass delay. What the fuck? Anyway, anyway. Uh, we talked about that in chat last week, Senpai. No, I I, I know, Dillers. I know. We definitely did talk about it uh, in 2024. Yeah, well, no, articles are starting to come out now, like, more uh, more now. And, like, I forgot what article. They made it, like, a huge fucking deal, like, talking about, like, how crazy it is and everything like that. Just in case anybody who's tuning in doesn't know what we're talking about. Best Buy is getting rid of physical media, which means you won't be able to buy, be able to buy CDs and shit like that or anything like that anymore. So, um, but, um... You know, which is crazy because people still use CDs. People still do have CD players in their cars unless they're buying like a brand new car. Like everything's digital or you use your phone to connect to the, the car and then that's how you play your stereo and music and everything. Um, but it's crazy because, I mean, sometimes you can go into Best Buy and get a pretty good deal. You can go in there and get a pretty good deal. Um, 
you know, on like such and such, or like, you know, like I, I could get like a, a few older DVDs for like a few bucks and stuff like that. Sometimes I used to do that with friends where we just go to Best Buys and look like in the like discount DVD area. So, um, so it's kind of a shame. Uh, 2024, we will see games in store. Okay. Well, that's good. Cause I was wondering, I'm like, cause like there's still like game consoles still have not fully moved over to the full digital sphere. Uh, like there are still versions of consoles that still have disc trays or like, you know, for instance, the switch has the game cartridges and stuff like that. So I was like, if they're going to go full digital, like, does that mean just for like movies and music and stuff? Or like, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird. Also, that also does beg the question. Is it also going to be for music? Because you know, musicians still put out their shit on DVD, uh, not DVD, on CDs. Like they still do C CD sales. So what does that mean? And where are they going to sell their CDs and shit? Where, where are they going to sell them? Um, let me see. Uh, frog, listen, anybody can use the buy options whenever they want. Nobody should try and pressure somebody to do a buy option. You know, especially when we do stuff like crowd control, save your coins. Only do things when you want to do them and not because someone asked you to do them. Thank you. Anyway, um, but yeah, I thought that was, I thought that was pretty fucking crazy and stuff. And also speaking of small businesses, I think the only time that this is okay to order something on Amazon is if when you check our, our, our sponsor out Fractal, because Fractal actually, um, I don't think they have their own direct shop. Uh, Fractal actually, when you try and order one of their cases or products, it then tells you, Hey, um, you got to go order it from somewhere else. So like for instance, if I do the Terra. And let's say I want to say fine retailers, like it does say like all the different places. I think it does sometimes have Amazon listed on here as a place, but, um, you know, I would much rather, you know, use some of these locations. I think maybe it's not that particular case. Maybe it was like the North. I saw one of their cases where like the only options were one place or, or Amazon. And I was like, that's it. But it seems like that they're adding a bunch of different places and stuff like that. So use the if, if you're ever interested in checking out PC cases and accessories like our sponsor Fractal offers, use some of these places. They got places all over the world in the UAE or Lithuania. Um, lot, lot. I, I never can pronounce this. Latvia, Latvia, uh, United Kingdom. They got all these like mom and pop shops or small businesses that do carry their cases as well. And I think somewhere in here, it has an Amazon link because you can get their cases on Amazon. But if you're ever in the market for any PC accessory needs, check out our sponsor Fractal because you can get cases, fans, power supplies, water cooling, and some other kind of things like mounting and, and connectivity and things like that and everything. They do a bunch of stuff now, not just cases and everything. So, but perfect example that if you were looking to support small businesses, order from some of those small businesses, order from small, some of those small mom and pop shops that carry fractals products. So, um, and also if you're ever interested in checking out their stuff, use my link to check out their stuff. They do more than cases. Now they got a lot, a lot of stuff. I know if Axe was here right now, Axe would be like fans where I need about 10 more and he would be buying 10 fans and then his case would have about 80 fans. I remember how many fans he has now in his case. Uh, Dillers also said movies and music are going bye-bye in store. That's crazy because musicians still rely on that for like money and stuff. So like, what are they going to do? Like, do you have to like then go to a different store that carries like CDs and stuff like that? Or do you have to like buy it through? Because I mean, I know like most musicians have their shit on like Spotify and like, you know, YouTube music, and I think iTunes is still relevant and things like that. Die. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, some musicians even get their music on records. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I've been to plenty of like concerts and stuff like that where they sell like a special edition vinyl. Vinyl's fucking great. I love vinyl. I love it. And I remember for a little while, Best Buy was getting back into carrying vinyl, but I think they stopped after a while i don't think they carry vinyl anymore or maybe they like do, like do uh don't i'm not sure oh dillers also said that they are going to be moving online uh they're moving from online to um or, or uh, carrying like this stuff in store to online where you got to order well that's kind of annoying that's kind of annoying definitely annoying but yeah no I, I i love having stuff on vinyl i miss listening to vinyl i just don't have the space to set up my record player so maybe once Story and I get our own place and everything, we'll uh, we'll uh, I can I can finally have the record player out and stuff like that. So, uh, Oi Frog like the Fractal Ridge, not looking to buy right now. Oh no, I understand, I understand. It even helps me out if you guys just want to browse that link just by clicking and utilizing that link. 
will help me out and everything. So uh, please, 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 you know, even if you were just window shopping, you can window shop. You know, you don't have to get anything. I'm not saying get something, but you know, if you're ever in the market for a case or you were thinking about maybe getting a case, go check out Fractal. They got some really, really good cases over there and everything. So um, Fractal in, in UK is on Amazon. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can get most of their stuff on Amazon because even before like I got the sponsorship, like if you just look them up on Amazon, you can get like all of their cases on there and everything. Dad joke. dad joke. You got it for sure. Also, how are you doing, by the way? Oracle, welcome on in. Axis only fans just features fractal PC fans. I don't know. We'll have to talk to Axe about it because if that's not the case, then I'm going to scream just like every single time I scream internally when Axe and Pro don't invite me to play Rainbow Six Siege and I'm sitting here and I see them go and play Siege and they don't invite me. But you know, I will say this. They invited me last time. They actually, maybe not the most recent time that I saw it, but they invited me last week to play Siege with them and I was a very happy boy. And I got to hang out with my boys and play some Siege and catch up with Axe because I don't get to talk to him as much anymore because he's a busy boy. But I digress. Here is Oracle's... Here is Oracle's fun pun. Uh, what do you call a soldier who survived mustard gas and pepper spray? A seasoned veteran. God, I hate that one. Uh, I'll read it again just in case nobody heard it. Uh, what do you call a soldier who survived mustard gas and pepper spray? A seasoned veteran. Man, these are, these are even the, like, they should have just labeled this as dad jokes volume three, essentially because I have the new box of dad jokes and then these are almost on par with a dad joke. So like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. I really don't understand. Uh, dealers on YouTube goes online. As far as I know, currently things could change. They might honestly, because I feel like, I mean, maybe they made that decision based on like, just not getting like having good enough sales or something like that. And now they're like, you know, what? we'll just cut it because no one's buying it. You know what happens with the internet? Ooh, internet likes to complain. And when somebody does something and then it starts backfiring on them, they go, oh no, we made a mistake. Uh, we gotta, we gotta fix this guys. We gotta, they're mad at us now. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know why that that's my, my go-to voice for pretending to be the internet, but that's, that's, that's just it. That's just it. So, uh, that's epic. Yeah. I mean, that was a pretty good one, but that's like dad joke quality joke. That's not really a fun pun. That was more of like a dad joke. I should really like write on that box and write dad joke. Dad jokes are bad puns. No. Well, the thing of it is, it doesn't say bad pun. It says fun puns. So if we're going by the box, it says fun puns. Nothing about bad or anything. It's the quality of the pun that I'm concerned about. The box says that it's fun. I did have a fun time reading it, and I think some of you had a fun time listening to it. That boo was you trying to scare me because you had such a fun time with it that you got overloaded and needed to try and get that energy out. I get you, Oracle. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So... Uh, but anyway, how are you doing, by the way, Oracle? Well, come on in. How's it going? Um, I'm trying to think about what else happened today. Uh, oh yeah, work was good today. Um, had a lot of busy stuff going on today. Actually have a lot of, like, good news. Um, still am kind of dealing with that team member of mine who's having a little bit of some issues and not really sure which way that that whole situation is going to go. So we'll just have to wait and see. But, you know, that's a, that's a whole situation um what else what else did i do today i went on a walk today because my blood sugar has been crazy uh i also did set up the simul casting thing so uh we're actually live right now both on twitch and also on youtube right now um so multiple places if you ever want to check out the stream if you never watched a youtube stream there's that you can find that in the discord if you want to check it out yourselves Dill dillard's is over there right now um checking it out i made him a mod i made story a mod over there Dillers goes, we are definitely getting rid of CDs and DVDs for 10 years. They're going away for sure. Whether or not we move it online remains to be seen. Yeah, yeah. I Time mean, it's... always come back. I mean, it's dead media. I mean, it necessarily is dead media, but still, at the same point, it's just like, it's a little crazy to think, you know? It's a little crazy to think. Uh, I'm doing all right. That's good. Always better to do good than not do good. I always say also Dillers don't feel like you have to like base yourself over there in, in uh, YouTube world. If, if you want to come join us over on Twitch, 
you know that's absolutely fine um but don't feel like you have to like just solely live over there in youtube world especially if you want to talk and hang out with everybody um all i was asking is like so we could have somebody over there to kind of keep Standing an eye in, in case really to somebody moment, tries to jump in there and like start saying like nasty not good things and everything so ear. don't don't feel like you're 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 isolated in i'm streaming a, a, the, the stream world of youtube world you're, you're more than welcome to come back and hang out with us over here my dude <laughs> more than welcome uh let me see hi hi jess how are you doing welcome on in how's your day going jess um yep thank you for the sounds thank you for the sounds appreciate the sounds lots and lots of sounds uh also that reminds me i gotta check something um but yeah just had a had a really really busy busy work day just a real real busy work day and i'm glad that we're just here hanging out and i'm also really really glad especially because tonight we are going to be doing a special stream not only are we simul casting which means that i am streaming both on twitch and youtube right now for the first time ever this is the first time ever simulcasting and or also streaming over on YouTube, which is nuts in my mind. Um, but we're also going to be checking out a brand new game that I did get a review copy for. Um, and uh, I was honestly nervous because I was like, why haven't I received the key? Because I applied for it weeks and weeks and weeks ago. And I didn't read the fine print that it said we will be sending out review copies when the game comes out. Um, so I'm just honestly really, really excited to be checking out something new tonight. Very, very excited to be checking it out. And while it may not fully fit the spooky vibes of Spooktober, which I love that you tried that, Oracle. Nice try. Maybe next time we're not in spooky mode right now. Uh, also, it's just chatting, and those are definitely turned off every single time we do just chatting. Um, yeah, I'm just excited. I'm just excited that I got the key because I, I probably would have picked it up on next paycheck if I honestly didn't get a review key. So, uh, but I'm very, very excited. Oh, snap! Turtle! Turtle coming in with the two gifted subs. Guys, you know what that means? Turtle gets an entry into the giveaway. Uh, which, by the way, if you didn't know this, guys, gals, and pals, we are doing a giveaway uh for merch specifically for merch at the end of the month and the easiest way or the way to enter into that merch raffle is by gifting subs that's it you just got to gift one if you want one chance of winning a merch item you just gotta you just gotta give one sub and you're entered in it's as easy as this you gift anywhere from one to four subs you get one entry you gift five or more you get two entries uh which uh with turtle gifting two uh two tier one subs that gets turtle an entry into the giveaway so congratulations turtle on getting another entry i think this makes like i lost count i think you have like three or four now uh turtle just want to make sure i spell your whole name right where are you turtle i lost you okay zero zero six zero zero six all right that means turtle has another entry into our exclusive gifted sub merch raffle that we will be doing at the end of the month Turtle's name is now on the crow, and this crow will be going up on the ceiling after stream. And it's as easy as just gifting a sub. You get your name on a bird, and then all on the 31st on our Halloween stream, we will be pulling three lucky winners, and those three lucky winners will be able to pick one item from our Halloween merch. Um, so if you want to check out the merch for yourself, you can go right over there. And uh, if you go ahead and go onto the merch site, you will then see these designs under the limited time, which are for the Halloween 2023. Those three lucky winners will be able to go into these merch items and pick one thing each. They get one item. It can be any item. So it could be a shirt, a long sleeve shirt, a hoodie of any color and size. Um, I did say if they wanted the stickers, I would give them both stickers. So you would get the tarot cards or the and the pumpkin dice stickers. You'll get both of those. Uh, but they get to pick one item. And then I go ahead and send that item to them and they are winners. Uh, and we're going to be picking three lucky winners. And you have literally from now until October 31st, which is officially as of today, a week from now. If you wanted to enter in, you just got to gift one sub between now and the the 30th. I would say actually, no, the 30th, the 30th. Because on the 31st, you can't just be like, I'm going to do 19 entries. You got to do it before the 31st, before the 31st to enter on in, so um but uh turtle thank you so much for the gifted subs and congratulations to who'd you gift those subs to uh congratulations to nay and also to sleepy princess hey two friends of ours here in the beard zone nay's great she's an awesome vtuber and sleepy is also awesome i feel like we don't get to really see a lot of sleepy lately i know she's been very very busy and she's been streaming herself here and there and everything so i do hope she's okay i'll have to reach out to her 
Uh, but Turtle, thank you so much for gifting us up to Nay and also to Sleepy Princess. And guys, gals, and pals, welcome both of those peeps on into the one and only the bearded so where all the subs have all the beards thank you so much turtle for those two gifted subs and congrats on your extra entry into the merch raffle uh i'm excited to see who wins i'm excited to see who wins and i'm also excited to see what people choose because story worked so hard on these designs and i know we got a lot of really really positive feedback but i'm really interested in seeing who will win the merch and what everybody is going to choose uh, also, remember, uh, if you are a subscriber, subscribers do uh, subscribers on Twitch do receive 15% off discount code. And you can find that code over in the Beard Zone Discord. All you got to do is be following, be a subscriber, head on into the Beard Zone Discord and head to the sub only chat. And you'll find the code posted in there. And that code is reusable for the whole entire month. It's another perk of being a subscriber here in the Beard Zone. So... Uh, very, very excited for it. Very, very excited. Uh, and uh, if you want to go ahead and take a gander, just in case maybe you see one of these designs and you really like them. Uh, I actually bought myself the Bearded Emperor. Um, I love the Beardy costume. I love both of the tarot card shirts. They're both awesome. Uh, and uh, what else? Beard to the Bones is also really good. I love the pumpkin spice and everything nice. I might have to get this because I lack an amount of D&D &D related merch and I've been like on a D&D &D kick lately listening to D&D &D podcasts so I might actually pick up the shirt for myself I don't know what color would I get what color would I get I'm thinking maybe green green or green or navy I've been kind of gravitating to like navy a whole lot as of lately so I might I, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to probably pick one up for myself as well so um hurdle turtle oh my god why did that just remind me of the master of disguise for some reason <laughs> was that a quote from master of disguise oracle uh, made tacos for tacos Tuesday. It was yummy. Nice. That's delicious. I had uh, I had some leftovers. I'm, I I am really trying to just eat a little bit better, especially because of late I haven't been eating bad. But I think because I haven't been eating appropriately, it's been affecting my blood sugar. Um. So uh, I I had some carrots, some spinach, and a few pieces of like turkey. Uh. And that was my dinner. And uh, I also had my veggies first because believe it or not. I've been reading and seeing in a lot of places lately um, that actually as a diabetic, it's better to like eat veggies first before you eat like all the other stuff. Um, and I think the science behind it is that by having the veggies in your tummy, it will then better help to break down more complex like carbohydrates and other stuff and everything. And it actually will help your body and prevent your body from having like high like blood sugar spikes and stuff like that. So um i'm trying my best i'm trying my best to 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 keep it under wraps and everything so we'll, we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes i don't know uh but that sounds good what kind of tacos were they by the way jess and yes story i agree story is over on the the youtube side she said woo merch yes merch woo i'm excited i'm excited so also remember if you're watching on youtube and you want to be a part of that merch make sure you become a member of the beard zone on Twitch, and also if you want to get a chance of winning a merch item, be one of those three lucky winners. All you got to do, gift a sub. That is it. That you just got to gift one, and you are in that merch raffle. So, so that is it. Um, but yeah, guys, we are actually slowly coming to the end of Spooktober. We literally only have a week. Uh, technically, right from today, we only have a week for Spooktober. It's 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 actually kind of sad. It's it's honestly kind of sad. Um, but, you know, I think from talking to Story, she mentioned it yesterday on stream that, like, huh, it's like maybe you should start Spooktober earlier. I think next year, I think, I think I'm going to start Spooktober, like, maybe either, like, like, maybe, like, middle of September or, like, even towards the end of September or maybe, like, even a whole month in advance because, I mean... We still didn't even get to all of the games that I wanted to get to. I mean, there are still plenty of games that I wanted to get to for Spooktober. I mean, we tried out Faith last night, which was very, very good. A little too religious for my taste, but still very good. It made me feel like I was playing, like, The Exorcist or something. But, like, you know, there's Homebody, there's The Quarry, there was System Shock, uh, GTFO Demonologist. Story and I still need to play The, the Devil in Me, the Dark Pictures game. Uh, Borrow Trauma, Project Zombie. Like, there's a ton of stuff that I didn't get a chance to, like, get to. And that I really... Like, even Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I still haven't had a chance to, to get around to try that out. Uh, and I've really, really wanted to. But, um... 
you know, I think I'm going to take Story's advice, and I think next year we might do, like, a precursor for the full-on Spooktober and maybe start it, like, a week or two early. So that way we can get some more time doing some spooky things because, you know, also, you know, all through the year, spooky games come out, and I'm I'm a glutton for spooky games. I will pick them up, and I will literally sit there and not touch them until Spooktober comes around. So I think starting next year, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to launch Spooktober maybe like two weeks, three weeks early. Um, so like sometime in September, so that way we get a little bit of extra time to do some more of the spooky games. And maybe we won't have like the full on like spookiness of Spooktober. Maybe like we'll kick it into gear once like I fully like, you know, start Spooktober up and everything. But like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think what else there were, there were also some things that happened today. Uh, but there were, I feel like that there's something that I'm forgetting, something that I'm forgetting that's important. Oh yeah. Make sure you check out G fuel. Make sure you check out G fuel. G fuel is our partner of this stream. Uh, we are full on, uh, partnered with G fuel. Uh, G fuel is a great, great, great supplemental energy. Uh, there's no sugar. So me and my diabetic ass can drink all the G fuel in the world and not have any kind of sugar spikes or lows or anything like that. So if you're looking to get some energy and also save, make sure you use my link and then also use my code ChrisXChat on checkout because you will save 20% off. And uh, if there's a brand new item that comes out, you can use my code to save 30% off on the first 48 hours that that product launches. So uh, make sure you use my code because you can save, save, save. Won't cost you anything extra. Won't cost you a single dime. So. Uh, make sure make sure you check that out oh I, re I also remember what i was thinking of i did some work on the discord today um so uh some people might have noticed that the uh maybe some who pay attention to the discord maybe i should pl put it that way um but um we have live alerts in the discord for when friends of ours from the stream go live um and i use a third party bot called me six uh which is renamed to be cxc bot because cxc bot lives in all of our hearts and all of the places and everything so uh but um but 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 um i found out that they added a new feature to the live feature so the live feature that i'm talking about is that you know one of our friends who's a friend of the beard zone and they're a member of the beard zone discord and they've been active and they hit level five and everything um, I allowed, I, I add them onto the live now list, but they added a really, really cool new thing on this live list. And I'll show you, which is now you won't, we won't have this huge ass list of, of live people anymore. We won't have this huge ass list that just keeps on going and going of lives. The way that it works now is that anybody that you see on that list are currently live. They are currently live. And it actually will update their viewer counter and like their title and stuff. So that way you can see what they're playing and everything. And even the thumbnail, you'll, you'll be able to see what they're playing. But the cool thing is that once my stream ends, or like, let's say in this case, freckled stream ends, it will then automatically delete the message. So you now won't get pinged a bajillion times. I also changed all of them except my, well, all of them. Um, so that it's not at everyone. It's just an at here now, which is really, really nice um but uh now um it's like it's like a live list so like yes you could look at all the members but you could also just go to that channel and look and you'll see like oh chris and fed are on here and then oh fed just got offline and you'll see his disappear so that way you know oh fed's offline the only person that's live right now is chris who's on this list so um but i thought that was a really really cool new feature but it required me to uh, Frog, I don't think I have you on the list. Or do I have you on the list? Have you hit level five? That's another thing. I, I'm, I'm trying to go through and add people who deserve to be on there and everything. Like the, 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 the three requirements are you're a member of the Beard Zone Discord. You've hit level five with uh, with me, six bot, which you can check over in the bot commands. And that you're a semi-active member of the Discord. So I'm not looking for like everyday activity but like if the last time that you put a message in the discord was like three months ago you won't be on the list anymore you have to be like a semi-active member where at least like you're engaging or talking or, or doing something in the discord um that's all i ask because there's too many of those discords that are like self promo discords and it gets really spammy and annoying and everything so all i ask is that you remain semi-active and it should i do have a way that it should auto kick you onto the list uh, but sometimes I've had to go in there and like manually add somebody like for instance today I added Sarah 
I added Sarah on the list because I noticed that she didn't get carried over there and she was level six. So I was like, huh, that's weird. Uh, Frog, yeah, I don't know if you're on this list. Um, it could be because maybe you haven't sent a message in a while, Frog, but um, yeah, uh, you're level seven, which is great. I guess just be a little bit more active and you'll, you'll get put back on the list. And if not in a few days, I'll go ahead and just manually add you on here. Oh, they, they added like a bunch of new features and I actually paid for premium for um paid for premium for uh for a lot of these features like we even have like youtube alerts or instagram alerts kick alerts they even added tiktok alerts and stuff like that so if you are streamer and you go live on any of these places the same rules apply once you hit like level five and you're semi-active in the discord if you want to be added i will add you on tiktok alerts or well actually i don't know if the tiktok alerts I have to activate it Create a TikTok alert. Um, oh, it's the latest video thing. Okay, so maybe not TikTok alerts. If it was like a live stream thing, I would say. But obviously, like, Kick is a live stream. Kick is 100% a live stream service. So if you stream on Kick, I mean, that is absolutely fine. Also, with like Twitch's latest things, we could actually simulcast from, from Twitch to also YouTube if we want, or to a Kick if we wanted to. But you will not catch me in a thousand years ever streaming on kick. Never, never, ever, ever, ever uh, for multiple, multiple reasons. But yeah, I mean, if you wanted live alerts for when you go live on YouTube or on kick and stuff like that, we could do that. We could do that for sure. Listen, you can say that I'm salty, but I like that the salt shakers have little, little witches hats on them and everything. Uh, I think most of my posts are maybe Merlin picks at least recently. Yeah, tr try try within the next few days just like posting a message here and there. I'm curious because I've had some issues with the auto like feature where it's supposed to kick people onto that list. So try like the next few days like saying something or, or conversing like a little bit uh, like for the next like two days and let's see if it kicks you over automatically. I might need to do some tweaking on the back end side here and everything. So. Um, because I think I did set it up in automations. I'll have to look into it and stuff because they actually completely changed the whole automation page on me. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. They changed it. It didn't get like rid of it, but like it, it, it like, it like changed it. It like changed, they changed it completely. God freaking darn it. All right. I'll have to, I'll have to see, but yeah, try, try, try for me frog. And then, um, I'll do my best. I'll do my best to 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 get you on over there and everything. So, oh, Hollowed's hoodie came in. Ooh, looking good, Hollowed. Looking really, really good, buddy. Uh, question of the day has paused. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go ahead and I gotta, re I gotta, I, I like, I was actually contemplating getting rid of the question of the day channel. Actually, no, this is a good conversation piece. Do you guys like questions of the day? Uh, because, you know, some streamers, some streamers actually like to pose like a question of the day for like their title of their live streams and stuff like that. I actually liked the idea for the discord, but I will say this. Some of you might have noticed some of those questions have repeated because like the bot that we use has like a list of like questions. And the easy way to set it up is that you just reset it and everything. But I can actually add our own custom questions. So I guess it's a two step question. Do you like the idea of a question of the day channel in the Beard Zone Discord? Yes or no? And and would you like us to um would you like us to add some custom questions or or side side question to that question, would you like to maybe uh, like have a channel where we can pose questions in there and then add it to the bot and then eventually it'll get posted for everybody to answer and everything. So let me let me know your thoughts on that. Do you like it? Should we keep it? And do you want new questions in there? If you do like it, there we go. Uh, let me see. What did I miss? Oh, uh, Hollow's here. Hollow, I was literally just talking about you. It's like you just posted this. <laughs> you know what's funny, Hollow? You got the fool. I got the um, I got the emperor, and then uh, which one did Z get? Z got. I think Z also got the emperor, right? So like. We're kind of we're kind of diverse almost. We just need somebody else to get the Emperor hoodie, and then once we have our meetup, our own version of TwitchCon, we can then wear all of our Beard Zone merch and then like pose around and do cool like pics and stuff like that. <laughs> but how do you like it, by the way, dude? Is it comfy? I I I, I liked mine. I, I I wore mine like to bed, and I was wearing it the other night and everything. I I love my hoodie. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, it's me, your boy, Beard Con. Yes, Beard Con. 
BeardCon, I like that. It's our own version of TwitchCon, but it doesn't require you to fly out to Nevada or California. We'll just have it wherever it's more convenient for everybody to meet. We decide where BeardCon is, Beard is hosted. BeardCon is a whole different thing. I don't know about that one. We're not in charge of that one. Uh, hello, young Chris man, Mark. You make me feel young every single time you say that, bud. How are you doing, by the way, Mark? Welcome on in, buddy. How's it going? Uh, it's nice, but I sh uh, should have got one size bigger. What size did you get? Because I I, I got myself an XL, uh, and it fits comfy. If, if if it's comfy, like I wish there was like a tiny tiny bit more room, but you know, you know, uh, XL. Okay, okay, yeah. My uh, like my XL is like a tiny tiny bit snug, but it's like a comfy snug. It's like a night light, light like hug in a way. No, nothing like where I'm like I'm like I'm dying. It's choking my life. Or something like that. So, uh, BeardCon will be held in Missouri. <laughs> Wait, why Missouri? Is there a reason behind Missouri? Why Missouri? Uh, but I, I, I'm glad that you like it. I do hope that you like it, Hollowed. Uh, I mean, I, I found mine very, very comfy, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited that I finally got it. I'm, I'm excited, man. Very, very excited. Uh, I a big boy. Me too, dude. I'm a thick boy with 18 C's. I got assets for days, you know? Uh, BeardCon will be held as far from Chris as to annoy him like TwitchCon. Listen, don't you, don't you even, don't you even start? Because listen, if I was just there in Nevada an extra year or if that move happened like now, I would have been at TwitchCon. I would have been at fucking TwitchCon because it would have been right there in my own backyard. I would have been able to walk outside you know, in my my shorts and and short uh, shorts and t-shirt, uh, you know, with a cup of coffee, and then look out yonder, and be like, oh, there's TwitchCon. I'm going to it because it's right in my own backyard. I can just walk over there. But no, actually, no. I would never walk around in Nevada. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, but anyway, uh, it's like it, it's like they knew. They were like, oh, Chris doesn't live in Nevada anymore, so let's uh let's mosey on over to Nevada now instead of Cali. Um. Because people need a reason to go to Missouri. BeardCon. I, what is that, Mark? I, I, that might just me being dyslexic and also just a big dummy, dude. What, 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 what that mean? Uh, BeardCon 2024 Oi Frogs local bar. <laughs> so, Frog, you're organizing it uh, for 2024. Yeah, you're, you're handling it. And then I find out like what, like two days before that, like the official date and everything and don't have enough time to buy a ticket and can't show up. Is that what's happening? I prefer my clothes to be loose, but I de uh, I'll definitely wear it around the house. Yeah, I'm the same way too, especially for like hoodies and stuff like that. I prefer my clothes to be like a little bit more roomier only because like, I mean, you know, usually with hoodies, I like to wear something underneath, whether it's like a t-shirt or a long sleeve tee or something like that. Like I wear something underneath. I've never understood people who just wear a hoodie. I mean, unless like, unless like you were sleeping with no shirt on and then you woke up in the morning, and you're like, man. It's fucking cold. I'm going to go ahead and throw a hoodie on. Then that I understand. But people who just like go out in the world and wear like a hoodie and nothing underneath, it like boggles my mind for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm like, you're not wearing a shirt underneath there. Why aren't you wearing a shirt underneath there? Uh, but Pine, Pine Wan is North Korea capital. Oh, as you can tell, I know these things. But thank you, Frog. Thank you. Uh, but BeardCon, yeah, it, yeah, North Korea, sure, sure, sure. Who's, who's handling that one? Mark, that's on you. You threw that one out there, so you're in the, you're the one that's in charge of hosting that one next year. Uh, so congratulations, you self-volunteered yourself. I hope it goes well. <laughs> uh, I love this color. Me too. When, when Story showed me, when Story showed me the, the colors that she was choosing, I was like, man, that purple was really, really nice. The green is really, really good. I, I actually really, really, really like the green. Uh, and I almost bought mine in green. But I went with navy for some reason. I, I don't I don't I don't know why. I, I, I really don't know why I decided to freaking do that. I should have just went green or I should have went purple and and ah, God, I'm like so freaking mad at myself. I don't know. <sighs> but anyway, um if you haven't shared how your days were, please let me know all of that in the chat. Let me know how your days were. I said, I'm sorry, in the chats, because we are simul casting right now, which means you can watch me here. Or if you want to watch me on YouTube, you can actually watch me in both places. And that's because Twitch has finally released their restrictions on simul casting. So you can check me out in both places. It's pretty cool. 
um i do recommend if you want the fuller experience definitely watch here on twitch obviously because there's like the channel redeems and all, all that all that good stuff and everything but we got options now i'm in multiple places now guys look at me i'm growing uh p yong yang p yong yang p yong yang hopefully i'm saying it right uh posting an online game call uh game to guess all london tube stations in discord i will check that out actually you know, i've thought multiple times of trying out geo guesser but then i realized that like you probably don't want like it, it's so weird so hear me out so like and this is just an example i used to be great in video games at knowing directions like i like especially like back in my daisy days I, I used to play a ton a fuck ton of daisy back in the day like a fuck ton of it and i would literally be able to look at like a group of trees and be like okay we're in cherno and everyone be like how the fuck do you know that we're in cherno and i'm like we're in cherno like and we would run up to a sign and people would be like oh shit like we're in cherno like how did you know that i used to i used to be able to read maps and know maps like super super well and then i just don't know what happened i i really don't know what happened like that skill just kind of got lost like i look at maps and games sometimes and i'm like what the fuck am i doing like what the hell is actually going on like please i'm like i really don't even know what's going on um but um yeah i wouldn't trust me nowadays don't trust me nowadays with with um with maps because i will let you down i probably will get you lost uh you probably will uh get hurt or lost with me and then something bad is going to happen whether it's like creepy satanic cult comes out and grabs us and pulls us into the woods uh it's just the way that it is i'm just like a walking cliche from a, a horror movie so you know uh matches the color of my bed sheets i love that for you hollowed i love that for you buddy uh growing tentacles yeah yeah growing tentacles sure sure for the for profit yeah for profit yeah totally for profit yeah <laughs> gotta do that on stream yeah i had a stream open on on a lurk i, I listen i don't know if you guys know i'm like the king of lurkers like i'm already lurking in uh gotta stream right now i'm in there already i'm in there lurking hard right now <laughs> uh but um God, there was something else I wanted to say to you guys, gals and pals. What am I thinking of? What am I thinking? Oh yeah, there were some cool things that happened today. Actually, Mark, you might might sort of care about this because I think that you're a fan of the series, but I'm not really 100% certain. So, um, and man, I wish I was paid sooner because I would be picking this up right now. So there were a few things that happened today, game game gamosphere wise, gamosphere wise in the gaming realm wise. Uh, we're gonna talk about that, and then I did have a really funny video that I wanted to show you guys yesterday, but we just ran out of time. So uh, we'll talk about the game thing. So first of all, um, fucking out of the blue, two days ago, um, they just dropped this on Steam. Uh, they they officially are dropping a Metal Gear Solid Master Collection on Steam. And uh, it includes like Metal Gear, Metal Gear Snake something, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3, um, all in a $60 bundle. And it's out on, on Steam and supposedly it's working pretty well it literally came out today and i was fucking stoked man I, yeah i was fucking stoked now the only problem i have is is that i actually own metal gear solid and metal gear solid 2 over on gog but i don't own metal gear metal gear snake something and obviously metal gear 3 i would say out of the bunch the only thing i fucking care about is metal gear solid 3 because snake eater is my first ever metal gear game i ever played and um, I want it so badly. I want it. It's $60. It's on Steam right now. You can go and get it yourself. It also does come with a bunch of like HD stuff. Unfortunately, you can't buy the game separately. You have to buy the bundle. But honestly, for $60, you get all of those games. I think that's a fucking steal. I think it's a really, really good steal. And also, if you are fans of the Metal Gear series, um, it might be worth it. Um, where is it? Where is it? Here we go. 60 bucks includes five games right here. I might be wrong on what ones are in here. Here we go. Uh, I was wrong about the snake one. So we got Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid VR Missions, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, Metal Gear the NES version, and Metal Gear the FC version, which I don't know what that is. Oh, and Snake's Revenge. So it actually comes with a little bit more than what it actually advertises and stuff but dude i think for 60 fucking dollars that's a steal and especially for people who have never played the metal gear games have never owned a playstation and stuff like this 
like this this is a good deal this is a very 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 good deal in my opinion 60 dollars for like that what is it five or six games that's a that's a steal that's a steal and a half uh again the only one that i was really excited about was metal gear solid 3 because that is my first and my favorite um now i have played metal gear and i also have played metal gear solid i actually own metal gear solid 2 i've never played it i probably will play it sooner because i would like to play that and then also play metal gear solid 3 on the stream for everybody um but i might pick up this collection maybe on payday uh but they like it was out of nowhere it was like one day it wasn't on there then the next day oh yeah by the way it's here now it's coming out tomorrow uh but so far it's got pretty good reviews and everything like that people saying some pretty good things about it so uh glad to see that it's not a bad port uh, but that is available and out now on steam uh, another thing that is out and available on Steam now is uh, Ghost Runner 2, which uh, I actually did do a YouTube video for Ghost Runner 2. Um, I did the demo. So if you want to check it out, uh, you can go ahead and head over to my YouTube and check out me playing the demo. But I honestly really, really enjoyed it, and I thought it was very good. I actually did apply for a review key, uh, which I am waiting to hear back from uh, to see if we do get a review key to check it out. And I'm deciding, do I want to do that on stream or do I want to do that on YouTube? Um, so we'll see about that. Um, but I am currently waiting to, um, I am currently waiting to see if I hear that. I also applied for the RoboCop game for a review key. And then I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it on YouTube or do it on, on Twitch. Um, I think I might do that one on YouTube. I think I might do RoboCop on YouTube because... It was fun, but like, I don't know. I don't know. That, there, there's also a video of me playing the demo for that. That's coming out soon. You'll be able to see that soon. So uh, you guys let me to, let, let me know what you would prefer. Uh, I'm curious on some feedback uh, in both of the chats. So let me know. Uh, but yeah, Ghost Runner 2 did pretty good. I actually really enjoyed Ghost Runner 1. We did play it. We never beat it. Um, but I was honestly pretty impressed with it. Pretty, pretty, pretty impressed with the demo for Ghost Runner 2. And uh, I'm going to have to get that one regardless if it's review copy or not. So, um, and of course, also, which I feel like Mark is usually the one at this point who asks what, what we're doing tonight. Um, this came out today. And I figured since now that you guys, gals and pals are here, regardless if you're over on YouTube or you're, I mean, if you're on YouTube, you already know what we're doing because it's the title of the stream. Um, but uh, tonight we are going to be checking out and reviewing the new Lord of the Rings game. Lord, Lord of the Rings, Return to Moria. Um, I was nicely able to get a review copy from uh, the company was called Rainmaker.gg, which looks like the devs went through to try and get some more content creators to get review keys for and everything. So uh, thanks to the devs for working with Rainmaker.gg in order to help us get this review copy. Uh, unlike some of the other review copies, they didn't give me like a link to share with you guys. But I obviously wanted to give them some like credit and stuff like that um, for, for, you know, being able to provide us a copy and everything. So uh, I am I am excited to check it out on stream. Um, I'm honestly very, very curious on how good it is. Uh, and I also did hear they actually got the actor. The actor who plays Gimli is in the game. He's in the game. He, he is a character in the game. And this is a co-op game and stuff. So I'm honestly curious on how the co-op works and everything. I actually did have another streamer reach out to me to see if we wanted to do co-op, but I figured since I don't know if I like the game or not yet, or and, and I'm going to be doing a review for Rainmaker, that I want to at least try the game out on one stream, see if I like it, and then maybe next time around, maybe we can get some friends and, and play together, and it could be a fun little, little co-op experience or co-stream experience. So There are fouler, fouler things than orcs in the deep places of the world. Yeah, that's what uh, Bilbo said to uh, to Pippin and Merry, right? And then and then Frodo was like on Mount Dune and he said, fly, you fools, and then jumped off into the volcano, right? That's how he got rid of the ring, right? I know Lord of the Rings. Story is probably sitting there literally rolling her eyes and or, or might come in here and smack me in the head. But you know me, I'm just a little shit. I'm just a little shit that likes to meme. So uh, don't hate me. Please don't hate me. Um, all right, and, and we're gonna do we're gonna do one last thing before we we go into the game. Before we go into the game, which I will need to take a break, and then I also need to put my desk into standing mode and stuff. So, uh, but the one last thing is that I found another one of these videos, uh, and I figured since it's like D and D related, and we're gonna be playing a Lord of the Rings game, so like you know mythical and stuff like that, it'd be funny to check out another one of these. This is actually actually I've never I didn't subscribe to them on my personal channel, so let me do that real quick, or my stream content creation channel. 
Um, but uh, this group is called Wizards with Guns, and we did watch one of their videos previously, which was another one of these Horneo's Magic Item Hole. And they had another one that I missed, uh, and it's really, really good. So I figured since we are doing, uh, we are doing Lord of the Rings, which is in like the mythical like fantasy realm and stuff like that, we'll watch this funny video and then uh, we'll go ahead and start moving into the game. Um, so uh, not two hours of just chatting this time. I saved it. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and watch this. Uh, so uh, YouTube peeps and also Twitch peeps get ready for this uh, because it's very, very funny. Very, very funny. All is forgiven as long as someone gets rid of this electric for me. Well, well, looks like I'm not going to be forgiven then. Also, Kitty. Hi, Kitty. How are you doing? Kitty, aren't you streaming? Oh, you ended your stream. Okay. You ended your stream. Well, Kitty, how are you doing? And how was your stream, by the way? How did it go? I, I had you open with the lurk. Uh, and man, I wish I had like some auditory way to like get notifications when somebody goes offline. Uh, but Kitty, how, how was your stream? How did it go? Well, uh, I saw you playing, I think I saw you playing something else and then you switched over to Minecraft, I think? You were doing something or like something different earlier, but then I saw it switched over to Minecraft or maybe it was Minecraft the whole entire time. I'm not sure, but I definitely saw Minecraft. Uh, just one and a half hour of just chatting. Yeah, I mean, listen, nobody complains. I haven't heard a single person or seen somebody complain about just chatting. Um, I've actually have gotten a lot of compliments on the just chatting stuff that people seem to like it. And uh, this is actually when we're most active hanging out and stuff. You know, like I do appreciate the lurks and everything, but I'm not gonna lie. The most active that we are in this community is during our just chatting sessions. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just the way that it is. I've noticed it. I'm sure some of you might have noticed it as well. It's just the it's the way the stream crumbles. Uh, I ended Minecraft. Uh, I ended Minecraft was pissing me off trying to capture and not seeing my mouse. Uh, what were you using to, to capture? Were you using game capture or were you using screen cap? Uh, I was playing Phasma with a friend. Oh, nice. Nice. Did the Phasma event start yet? I think the Phasma event is starting or has already started. I know that they were doing one, like a lot, a lot of like the scary, spooky games are doing, um, doing that stuff at like towards the end of the month, which I don't get why. I feel like if your game is a spooky, spooky game, then do the event the whole entire month, unless like maybe they don't have the resources or the time or like something happened and they can't. But it would just make more sense to 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 right? Like that that's not just me, right? Like I feel like it would just make more sense to do all of those things like uh, y y you know what i mean right like that's not uh, like i'm not crazy right i feel like that would just make more make more sense you know right <laughs> uh also give me one second there was something i wanted to check real quick okay those are not working that's cool that's very cool all right i'll have to figure that out later more problems for for later chris so uh is boo broken it's not lit today Oh, I forgot to light it. No, 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 no. I just forgot to light it. That's my bad. I was too busy getting all this simul casting stuff set up that I forgot to light it. I'll light it when I go on my potty break. I'll light it when I go on my potty break. I also forgot to put the other lights on and stuff like that. Also, the lights around this thing are dying, and then the lights over there are dying uh, just in time for the end of the month. So uh, I'm going to complain, complain that I can't kiss that forehead. I know it's big. How could you miss it? Uh, can you scroll up and read the message you missed? There's no reason this should be important to me, but you misunderstood a message I sent and I clarified it, but you missed it. I missed it. Hold on. Uh, no free. I cannot. Oh, there we go. Oh, the past stream of, oh yeah, that's what I figured you meant. Gotta did that on stream. It was really fun. And then you said it was a past stream of Geo game. I'm talking about not hunt. Yeah, I figured that's what you meant because we had said Geo and you were like, oh, Gotta did that. And I was like, yeah, I saw, I saw that Gotta did that on stream. So yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I, I completely understood what you were saying. Unless there was something else that I missed something else. Uh, I missed the message that you said you got a dime today. Congrats on finding a dime. But was that it? Did I, did I get it right? What was that what you were talking about, Turtle? Please let me know. I'm sorry if I missed uh, another message. Maybe it didn't show up in Firebot here. That's my bad. Uh, I ended up Minecraft pissing me. Phasma with a friend. Uh, I'm here for the bands. The games is normally in bedtime. Yeah, and also like time zones and stuff like that. So 
Uh, I'm going to complain, complain that I can't kiss the forehead. SCP. Yeah, I thought about SCP, but you know what? We're going to we're going to watch this funny video. We're going to watch this funny video. I promise you guys will laugh at this. This one was is is as good or in my opinion a little bit better than the other Horneo's magic item holes. So, uh if anybody hasn't seen this, this is from the channel uh Wizard with Gun. Wizards with Guns, sorry. Wizards with Guns. And uh they do a lot of like fantasy kind of stuff as well as like some funny skits and stuff. So, think of this as like QVC, right? You you walk into your room when you like you walk into your parents like living room. Mom's sitting there on the couch. She's watching these infomercials where they like present items and stuff and like call now. It's only going to cost you 29 three installments of 29.99. So, think that, but it's with magical D&D &D items. And this one is titled this one is titled, uh, These Magical Items Couldn't Possibly Help You On Your Quest. Gonna lurk and do some stuff. All right, Turtle, sounds good. I'm glad I didn't miss the message. I missed that message, but I I, I was on the same page as you, so I, I, I thought I understood, which I did, but I'm sorry that I, I, I didn't see that bit of the message. So, uh, but yeah, we're gonna watch this, and then we're gonna go into uh, Mines of Moria. That's the plan. That's the plan. So, without further ado, Horneo's Magic Item Shop. Welcome back to Horno's Hole. If you're just now joining us, we still have a plethora of marvelous deals for any of these magical items. Uh, starting with this witch's broom. Works like any old broom. You just sweep it and 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 sweep it. Now just look at that completely clean. Plus, it gives you a magic orgasm every time you sweep. I'm not even kidding. I, I think I had this on during a lunch break one day and I <laughs> and I and I almost I almost peed my pants because I was laughing so much. I'm like, wait, did he say just orgasm <laughs> because of the witch's broom? I also like to point out it says, will take root if planted, may bleed if store near a kind heart and cinnamon scented. And it's only two ready the retail value is $880. But it's two installments of 440. So it's literally you're just paying retail value for for this this magical witch's broom. So I, I, th I thought that was really fun. It's all like the tiny little details that I like about these videos that they've been doing. So just two installments of 440. Now, who doesn't love solving a good puzzle? This is Squino's puzzle cube. Squino. So, Squino. Squino. <laughs> So I don't know who Squino is, um, and that's the puzzle. Uh, the puzzles to figure out who Squino is and why do we have his box. Uh, also, some details. Scented wood, gnomish craftsmanship for ages 700 plus. Uh, it's a pretty good deal, honestly. I mean, to get Squino's box and figure out who Squino is, only like you're getting like almost like two, 220 off, 225 off. So... It is a little bit of a steal. Yeah, age is 700 plus. Yeah, it's for only the really, really, like, good puzzle ta puzzle Once doers. Once you find Squino, you have to give him the cube. I think, I'm pretty sure he opens it. Not, not sure what's inside. Yeah. And I remember after watching this, I was going through the YouTube comments, and I saw that one of the comments said... Man, I hope Squeemo's okay. And I was like, wait, is Squeemo actually inside the box? Did he lock himself inside his own puzzle cube? And that was him screaming? I would like to think that because I then it's like, you never have to give the box back. It's yours. Uh, Horno's whole... Yeah, Margin. Oh my God, I found these guys. They are called Wizards with Guns. And they do a lot of like fantasy D&D &D themed kind of videos. And this series that they do is called Horno's Hole. So think like a D&D &D fantasy realm like... QVC thing. That's essentially what it is. Uh, and I think they did, they've done two of these so far. We watched the, the one of them a the, uh, few nights ago, and this is actually the first one that they did. It's it's fucking hilarious. So we now have Squino's puzzle cube, possibly with Squino inside, possibly. It's probably Squino actually. Um, so maybe the puzzle's getting him out. <laughs> it's unclear. So that's six forty or a raven's tooth and all the hair from your head. I mean, listen, I mean, that's already a good thing. I already don't have any hair on my own head. So, like, all I need to find is a raven's tooth, which, how hard could that be, finding a raven's tooth? I can't, I can't imagine that's that difficult, getting a raven's tooth. I think I can, that, I could get Squino's box nice and easy, you know? Next, we have Tome's novel. Uh, Tome was a book who gained sentience, wrote a novel about his experience. 
kind of a boring read, uh, but it's only 260, so. I'd like to also point out that it's New Orc Times bestseller, Gnome Skin, bi a gnome skin Binding. There's no pictures. No pictures at all. And it is a little bit cheaper than the retail value, so, you know. It's also a sentient book. Get your money's worth. Now, this is a throne shard of Vithelius Kelquineth, Tourmaline Empress of the Hornlands. These pieces were scattered during the Great Rending. However, a few were reclaimed in the Age of Convergence. This one in particular was stolen by Brigands, and then later by Brigan, Gnome Lord of the Thistlewood. And I'm telling you folks, this shard is crazy powerful. It gives you Wraith Sight, True Sight, Hindsight, lets you cast Thunder Sphere, protection from fire, protection from greed. Uh, it doubles your swim speed, it doubles your jump speed, so this can be yours for the low, low price of 350. And to activate it, you just push it into your pee hole. <laughs> Because it's it's been a while since I've seen this one. You just shove it up your pee. <laughs> I mean, but think about all the benefits. I mean, double your swim speed, double your your jump speed. It's pee hole activated though. Only pee hole activated. So um, makes a lot of sense. And I like that they give you the specific details. Jagged and brittle. One point two in diameter. <laughs> Peel activated and I mean it's also about 600 bucks off so I mean that's a that's a pretty good steal if you're okay that it's pee hole activated you gotta be okay with that otherwise not worth the money uh hello peeps hey eternal how are you doing welcome on in uh that's not what the user manual well I mean that's what I mean how, who am I to argue with Horno's magical item hole I mean all right they're the professionals I'm just viewing what stock that they have you know does it dissolve in there or just get stuck? I mean, maybe if you tie like a little string around it or something, maybe. I don't know, man. I don't know. You'll have to call the toll-free number 877-649-8389. Call now or go to hornoshole.com. Maybe not because I actually don't know if that's a real website or not. But hey, maybe if you head over there, you could go ahead and, and uh, you know, ask them some questions and some follow-up on Throne Shard of V. Threlius Hell on meth and the pee hole activated stone, you know, eight one eight hundred. Ah, my dick. <laughs> no, that's that. That's 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 that, that, that. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Moving anyway, on. I'm really excited about this one, folks. Uh, this is Tug's drum. The magic Tug. drum gives you the power of drum sight. It allows you to locate any drum, any drum in the world, any drum, uh, which is great if you want a better drum than this. So this can be yours if you grant me shelter on my weary travels and offer me bread or a soup. Oh, now this... Which, I mean, also, good deal. I mean, you could pay the... the, the I mean, not even that. The retail value is six forty nine, and all you got to give him is shelter and bread and soup. And it belonged to Tug the Bard, head flatted, flattened in the Battle of Timid Kings. It's a pretty good deal. Pretty, pretty good deal. This is the totem of Goofy Guys, just a couple of silly boys. Goofy Guys? I mean, when you look at it, it makes you laugh. Uh, I actually <laughs> like this one. I think I'm going to keep it. Yeah, this one's not for sale. This one. <laughs> just some Goofy Guys. And I like it's just like, no, nah, I'm keeping it. Card from the humorous of Painter the Giant by Nulthrox the Bone Binder. Level 9 Silliness Charm. And it was it would have been a great deal unless it you know he decided to keep it for him himself. How fucking rude! That's just really really rude. I wanted to buy the little goofy guys. The phone number comes up on Google as Las Vegas Party Line Number One Nevada NV Party Line. I think they might actually be located in Nevada. They actually might be, but that's funny though. That's actually funny. <laughs> what about Hornos Hole? Is anyone brave enough to check out and see if Hornoshole.com is actually a website and they don't get redirected to a porno site? Anybody brave? To pop in their incognito mode and, and check that out. Let, let me know if you do or not. I wouldn't recommend it, but if anyone's brave enough, let me know. Yeah, this one's not for sale. This one, I'm going to have that. Oh, folks, you're going to love this. These are the shrunken remains of the twin wizards of the Dragomirian Tower. Uh, so this one was Oblivicus, the Shadowmancer. Cool. He conquered the entire northern continent, including the territories of Skeent. He also subjugated the armies of Vardis, 
Now, his brother Rypier the Twisted, um, I'm not sure what he did exactly, but he's Honey Barbecue, and <laughs> this one's Teriyaki. Uh, both are one twenty. <laughs> I want, I want to also point out, because you might have been a little confused by that one, which is fine, because these are the Shrunken Wizard Remains, Limited Collector's Edition, Aura of Confusion. It actually, I, I actually had to go back because I was like, wait, like, why was he so weird about that one? But it makes sense because Aura of Confusion makes sense. Also, that's a fucking steal uh, if, if that was a real item. I mean, look at that discount right there. That's like $319 off. Pretty, pretty good deal. Also, they might have forgot what the price was going to be, so they just wrote in 120. Uh, this seems like a great way to practice improv skills. I know, right? Like, dude, I wish I was this good at improv. I've always wanted to get into improv, but I just don't think I have like what it takes to to get into improv myself. But I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to try improv at one point. But I think yeah, this would be a great way to do it. The website without the uh, without the redirects perfectly, it's safe. Uh, oh, without that. Oh, okay. Okay. And is it like an actual site or is it like, I'm, 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 I want to know. I want to know. Pat's Terry's head figures out cat, cat lock. Uh, we could, pra uh, basically how Terry was born. That's true, man. That's true. Also speaking of that and Terry, by the way, I did get Jackbox party pack 10, which I would like to do soon. I would like to do some Jackbox Party Packs soon. Uh, maybe not this upcoming Sunday, maybe the following Sunday, because I would love to check it out. They got some good new games on there and everything. Love improv games. Me too, man. I, I do too. Improv uh, improv can be a lot of fun. I have never done like official improv, but like just the idea of it, like kind of just like going on the fly, you know, and everything. I, I would be cool practicing it with the uh, hollow. That would be, that would be fun. Try. I might. I honestly might. 20 equal value. Moving on. Uh, all right, what do we have next? We, oh my God. <laughs> Where did, what is that? Oh, that is scary. That Was that there before? That was not there before. I, I mean, you can have this for, I mean, you can have this. You just have it's it. Free if you could, oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone now. Wow. Somehow it's absence <sighs> is more horrific than it's presence. I kind of agree. I'm just worried it's going to show up again, maybe in my shower. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, I lastly, can't. we got the bracers. Of the oh, feet. this one's good. This now one's you good. Can strap one of these on. All right. It's as easy as that. And all bad news that comes your way suddenly sounds like good news. I've actually been waiting to try this one out. Pretty good. Plus one AC and wisdom modifier and chaotic comments. neutral and gnome skin. That's actually great news. I don't know why I was so worried. <laughs> Such good news. I. Uh... Oh man. <laughs> wow. I now, come to think of it, that's actually some pretty devastating news. Um. I. Uh... Oh man. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> The fucking so skull. This the fucking skull at the end, man. So this gives you the ability to cast Featherfall at will, and when you place it on your head like so, it pretty instantly gives you a huge thigh gap. Not not a bad one. That's on their Patreon, so. But I love this. I want them just to keep doing more of these freaking videos. I just want them to keep doing more and more and more. And again, if you didn't know who these guys are, these are again wizards with guns. They do a whole lot of stuff. The way that I found about them was because they did a video with Joel Haver. Um, but they're freaking hilarious. Uh, I want them to come out more with this D&D &D stuff. We watched this one, the most useless magical items in your inventory. Um, but uh, they're, they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. So make sure you check them out over on YouTube. I'll, I'll, I'll share the link if you want to go and check out their stuff and everything. Uh, but I want I want more of those specifically. Just the idea of like like a QVC for pointless magical items and stuff like that. It's, it's fucking hilarious. It's, it's, it's priceless. It's priceless. Also that skull did show up. I'm worried about going to that website. So I'm going to turn my screen monitoring off and just see, Oh, it takes to their Patreon. Oh, that's clever. That's clever. Somebody should probably tell them to take the apostrophe out of there. 
especially because if it if it doesn't you know redirect you appropriately so hopefully um you know i might comment on one of their videos and be like hey guys like you guys are great just letting you know on your next one of these videos uh get rid of the apostrophe because it doesn't take you to the right it doesn't take you to your patreon uh let me know when you want to play jackbox and if i'm free i'll definitely join sounds good man yeah um i'm thinking i'm thinking a sunday maybe not this upcoming sunday but maybe the following sunday um or i'll tell you what if for some reason plans on friday get canceled because we are going to like a haunted hayride well not haunted hayride but like a haunted kind of thing if for some reason we can't go um i will go ahead and maybe do a, an impromptu stream and maybe we'll just do some like jackbox stuff uh that'll be our maybe because i think on on sunday we are definitely doing more lords of the fallen I think there was something else that I had to do sponsor wise, maybe not sponsor wise. And then I think we are doing Bard Boys. I think I got a yes from Z, a yes from Wookie, and I think we're waiting on a yes from uh Slit. Um, so but I'll tell you what, if for so oh, oh no, I'm supposed to do crowd control on Sunday. But I'll tell you what, if for some reason Slit can't join and that means no Bard Boys, we'll do Jackbox on Sunday. We'll do it on this Sunday. So it fully lies on the shoulders of of z lies on the shoulders of z so uh but anyway um with that being said and everything we are gonna go ahead and jump on into our game i do apologize especially if you're over on youtube you're probably like i've been sitting here for a while and why haven't i seen a dang thing also wait a second i might have to switch back to the previous scene because uh there might be a thing that pops up that shows my name Ugh. I should have checked this earlier. Oh, no, 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 no. Does it just throw me into the game? No, please don't throw me just into the game. Don't be one of those games. Don't be one of those games that just throws you into the beginning of the game. Oh, there was a whole bit in the beginning that we missed, guys. There we go. Uh, I might have to pull up that, that scene. So uh, let me see. Uh, we might have to watch it on YouTube really quick. Uh, what was it? Uh, return to Moria. Let me see. Okay, cool. Yeah, we missed the opening cinematic. So, uh, I'm going to queue it up. I'm going to queue it up. So that way we can watch it when I get back. There was like a two minute intro and they actually got the voice of Gimli for it as well. So. Uh, my baby chess pin. What are you talking about, Eternal? Uh, that's probably part of the joke. Probably. Probably. So, all right. But, uh, guys, gals, and pals, in both of the chats, I am going to take a quick break. Quick break to stretch the legs, to, to run to the bathroom, to get my desk into standing mode, and also just to get all my stuff ready on this side here. Uh, but tonight, we are going to be checking out Lords of, uh, Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. Um, and if anybody is interested in checking it out, that is the link right there to check it out. Uh, thanks again to Rainmaker.gg and the developers for providing us a key to check it out. This stream is going to be sponsored as we are, we, as we had received a review copy of the game. So, um, I don't think I'm going to do any spooky sound effects. I don't think I'm going to do any spooky sound effects because I don't, I don't know if this game is necessarily spooky. Um, but we are going to go ahead and check out... Uh, check out this game together and this will be my first time playing it so but anyway uh give me like two minutes two to two to five minutes so that way i can pee get my desk into standing mode um you know do all the things that i need to do um but uh guys gals and pals i will be right back after this quick quick break and this quick commercial break for those on twitch you're gonna get a quick minute and a half ad um, but I should be back shortly after that ad is done. So I will be right back after a quick, quick break. So be right back.
Alrighty, everybody. I am back. That was a little quicker than I anticipated. Uh, but we are back at it here. Uh, I was just taking a look over at YouTube and I forgot, like, unlike Twitch, um, YouTube, you could like scroll back in the broadcast and like watch parts that you like missed and stuff like that. So, you know, but anyway, um, yeah, first time simulcasting and also doing this sponsored stream. So, uh, we are going to check out Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. I am very, very excited about this game. Uh, I remember we saw some, uh, thank you, Indy. Thank you. We saw some advertisements for this game a while ago and I was like, Ooh, like Lord of the Rings crafty adventure game. Uh, I liked the idea of like going in, going and returning to the mines of Moria, like years and years. I forgot how long this is bef like after, cause this takes place after this takes place after. Uh, all of the things that happen in the uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy. So, uh, but I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see what we got. I'm kind of upset that we missed the intro bit with Gimli. We're going to watch that real quick. Uh, and then we'll dive into the game and, and check it out and stuff like that. This is also co-op, by the way. So if this does interest you, uh, please feel free to check it out over on Epic Games. It is a, an Epic Games exclusive for right now. Uh, and since you're there and you're thinking about getting it, please use my code, uh, Chris X chat on checkout. It will help support me. Um, so, you know, it doesn't cost anything extra, but it does help support me with my creator code. I always forget that I have a creator code until I do a game that's on Epic games. So, but anyway, I'm back. Hi. Uh, this doesn't look like a game about a sub. Where's the bread and meat? Uh, dude, nobody answered me. The only person that said I would be interested or remotely seemed interested was Ace and um, Ace and uh, Z. And that was it. Those, those were literally the only two people who seemed interested. And then and then even even at that point, if we had more, I like I was still waiting to see if I got this review key and I got it today at like noon. Like noon today, I got the key and I was like, all right, well then I'm definitely doing Moria. So, uh, but Slit, since I have you here, Slit, Sunday, Bard Boys, yay or nay, let me know. I think Wookie said yes. You, I didn't get an answer from unless you posted an answer in our little group chat. Bard Boys should be good. Awesome. All right, cool. You get some <laughs> oh my God. Um, I think the only person I just have to double check and got to get a confirmation on is Z. Z is the only one that I think I didn't get a hundred percent confirmation from. So, uh, but yeah, uh, that's awesome. All right. As long as Z says yes, then we'll definitely do bar boys. Probably like our regular time, like last game for the stream and everything like later in the night. So, all right. Um, so without further ado, we are going to go ahead and jump into uh, this new game, Return to Moria. But I want to watch this intro because we missed the intro. We missed the intro. Uh, and they did get the actor of Gimli. Gimli does have something to do with this game. I think I, I know the premise, but I just want to wait and see. So we are going to go ahead and watch the intro cinematic. And uh, I'm excited that they got Gimli. So uh, works for me. Awesome, dude. How are you doing, by the way, Slit? Uh, all right, let's watch this. Story is more than what hobbits and elves know. It is time we told it ourselves. I'm going to turn my camera off so we can experience this. With hammer and axe, we cleanse the world from the shadow of the ring and its master. Yet we wards celebrate as a scattered people, cut off from our one true home. General, there's a Jedi approaching. He appears to Across be a Middle Earth, white we boy, breaking it down, delving for Yo, Don't you dare interrupt Gimli. How dare. High depression. Mist vibes? Yeah, get a, get a little bit of mist. Before the first sun rose. And through the ages, when darkness threatened our great kingdom, he awoke 
to lead us I don't know what your mama taught you, Spooky. Yeah. My mama always said, if you got a bullet hole, oh. just plug it with the hand pump. You're interrupting Gimli. It's a thousand years ago. And Durin, Durin the Deathless has not returned. Some say, be patient. I say, we wait no longer. It is time to journey from every mountain. I can't hear you over Gimli. Come, rally together. Bring your axes and tools, craft and courage. It is time we dwarves return to Moria. He said the title. He said the title. Okay, that was that was the intro that we missed. That was the intro that we missed. Basically, from what I understand with the game, is this a deep rock? No, it's not a deep rock. It's a crafty survival game. So think like Valheim. Think like uh, pfft, Sons of the Forest. Crafty survival. Um, but it's dwarves. So, title said roll credit. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and it is available now. It is available on Epic Games only. It's an exclusive. Uh, if anybody's interested in getting the link, please type the initials of the game. So it's uh, L-O-T-R-R-T-M. It's in my Twitch title. Um, I think it's in the YouTube stream description if anybody's over there on YouTube right now. Uh, but we are going to be checking this out. And I did receive a key through Rainmaker.gg which is the company that I believe the developers teamed up with to get some review copies out there and everything. And I applied for it weeks ago and I didn't get the key until this, this afternoon. So <laughs> I wasn't even sure if I was going to get it or I would have to wait and buy it, but, uh, we got it, baby. We got it. Um, so I'm very excited. And it is also co-op as well. I don't know how many players, um, not a hundred percent certain. It does have controller support. So that's pretty cool. Uh, English minimap locked to north. Hide invite code. You know, I'm going to do that right now because I'm running solo for this. From the shadows. Uh, I'm back. Oh, uh, on Epic, you say, is this an, a PC game or a mobile game? This is PC. Um, full screen windowed. Okay. Frame rate. Really? It's locked to that. I'm curious if I put it in full screen. No. Okay. So it doesn't matter. It's locked to 160. Oh, wait, actually, if I just turn frame rate limit off, then we should be good. Uh, NVIDIA will put it on balance. Okay. Lurk, good luck. All right, Slit, thanks for popping in, dude. Uh, let me just check about copyright music. Mute in background. Why is the master volume all the way down? There we go. I can lower it down on my side. Okay, enable subtitles. Yes, legal. Oh, that's just like some feedback kind of stuff. Okay, cool. Save changes, confirm. Uh, but yeah, so it's on Epic Games. If anybody is interested, again, if you wanna if you wanna check it out for yourselves, it's Lord of the Rings: Return to Moria. That's the link. That kind of gives you a little blurb about it. Also, thanks to Rainmaker again for you know giving us a review copy. Uh, and uh, if you are gonna get it on Epic Games, please, please, please use my creator code. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Uh, it would help support me, and also then you get the game as well. Uh, and it's not a full $60 game. I think it was only 40 bucks. So, um, you know, which was kind of interesting. Which was kind of interesting, so. Uh, speaking of returns, the king is back, baby. How you doing, Sim? Welcome on back. How's it going, man? How you doing? All right. Uh, let's go ahead and hit play. <gasps> Customized my dwarf. Guys, should I make myself as a dwarf? I love when a game's got some good customization. And I do, it does have some mist vibes. Slit was right. I am getting some like mist vibes. Uh, beard, full chops. Oh, oh yeah. We got some beard options. Pony chop. Oh my God. I love that. Pony chops. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Majestic. Oh, Jess has a beard named after herself. That's cool. Uh, Kynes Ring, Spade, Twisted Chops, No Beard. Okay, that's the full. Uh, as much as I like the, I do kind of like this. I do kind of like this. I guess I'm going to try, maybe I'll try to make myself as a dwarf version. Why not? I already excrete dwarf. So maybe I'll try to make myself 
as a door. Um, oh god, that looks so weird. Uh, do I want to do curtains? No, I kind of like this one. I kind of like this. I've o I've always had a dream of braiding my beard if it was long enough. So maybe I'll live vicariously through uh, my dwarf character here. Uh, polished, sturdy, dissonant, regal. Oh, I guess like some of these are like female and male, right? Composed. I feel like I'm kind of composed. Definitely not youthful. Uh, hair. Can I zoom out? I can't zoom out. Okay. Uh, hair. I got a bald off. Hey, there I am. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, I'll just choose hair just to be that. Uh, skin color. Do we have an eye color? We do have an eye color. Yeah, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make me as a dwarf. Or at least what I would imagine myself to be as, as a dwarf, so... Uh, the shit brown eyes. Oh, we got some tattoo options. Okay. Uh, any of these speaking to me? I love the ram horn. <laughs> I love the idea that I was like, I got a lot of space on my head, so I put ram horns on my head. What was the other one? What was this? Where? Oh, it might be under my beard, actually, this one. Uh, I think I got to go with the ram horns. Oh, wait. Perfect. That's what I would do. Just cover the canvas that is my bald head with a tattoo. I honestly have thought about that. Getting a, a head tattoo since I'm bald now. I've honestly thought about that. Uh, kind of like that, actually. Kind of like that. All right. Uh, also, Rich, how are you doing? Welcome on in. And Drifted's also here. Hi, Rich. Hi, Drifted. How are the two of you doing? I have brown eyes as well. Yeah, I call mine just shit brown eyes. Uh, but actually, some people who have met me in person who have seen my eyes, especially if we're outside, they actually are, like, a little bit more hazel. Like, they have, like, a little bit of, like, hazel to them. But, again, I mean, that's just, you know, when you find me outside in the wild. Uh... You know, I feel like as a dwarf, I probably would have a scar or two, you know, because you're out there, you're mining, you know. What's traditional? Ooh, oh, I don't like that, actually. I don't like that because that just kind of goes above our, our tradition is what it's called. This one is Mountain Wildcat. Don't see where that one is. Oh, is that? Oh, gash is on my side of my head. Bar Brawl. You know, I like Bar Brawl. Beard gilts. What is that? Oh, we get to customize our jewelry in our beard. Oh, I like that. Um, hair gilts. Well, I'll just match it, but we don't have any hair. Okay. Physique. Ooh. Can I make my, like, literally like myself? Okay. Oh, I have very, very stocky shoulders, so yes. That's really broad. Wait, let me let me go to the side here. Okay, well, I'm not like that. I would say we're probably around a here. Uh, bust. <laughs> I'm not I'm not that I'm not that blessed with a enormous bust. So, uh maybe like maybe like right there. Yeah, like right around. Yeah, you know, we'll bump it up a little bit. There we go. There we go. All right. And then we got a belly we can do in. I am not like that. Uh, oh, is there jiggle physics with our belly? No, I'll be nice and do like there. Okay. Doing good. Always better to do good than not do good. That's what I always say. Uh, my eyes look like gold with the sun. Bling it up. Yeah, I got some gold in my beard. Look at me. I'm beautiful right now. And then our waist. Oh, God. Yeah, no. I am... I would say I'm kind of like right there if we're being historically accurate to me as a dwarf. So, uh, personality focused, brash, eager. I would probably say eager is me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have voices. Well, I couldn't hear that. Does a doom always? Oh. 
If only my Nana could see this. Oh, if only... Oh, oh, that is a long way down. Yep, that's me. That's me. Oh, and we get to pick an origin story. Oh, that's cool. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my camera off so we can see the different origin stories. So we have the Glittering Caves located behind the Hornburg in Rohan. The Glittering Caves is a new dwarven colony established in the Fourth Age by Lord Gimli. Oh, so this is this is this is so this is Gimli's home after the Lord of the Rings trilogy. He goes here and he starts up a uh, a colony. Um, and the other dwarven dwarves from Erebor. Uh, they have also uh, they have also been helping restore Gondor and Rohan. Oh, that's cool! Look at the dwarves going around in the world. Did you call me a broad? If you did, you would be wrong. Dillis, <laughs> Dillis, you don't have to live over there on YouTube, by the way, buddy. You could you could totally you could totally come hang out with us on Twitch, man. I do appreciate you keeping an eye on the the YouTube stream. So thank you, thank you for that. Um, all right, so we have the glittering caves. Oh, and it changes our, our outfits. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so the Iron Hills. East of Erebor, the Iron Hills have been a refuge for uh, for dwarves, though not as, a prosper, as prosperous as other kingdoms. The lords of the Iron Hills are kin with the king under the mountain. Oh, okay, okay. We also have the Coastal Mountains beyond Umbor. It is the southmost of all known dwarven kingdoms, the Coastal Mountains. With peace under the reunited kingdom, this colony has reestablished connections with their northern kin, the Run and the Red Mountains. And the Blue Mountains. Though many of the dwarves who have settled in the Blue Mountains in the Third Age returned to the Lonely Mountain once it was reclaimed, there remains a settlement of Durin's folk in this northern mountain range as uh, well into the Fourth Age. Okay. Oh, man, there's a lot of options. Okay, so then we also have the Red Mountains. The dwarves of the Red Mountains have long been divided from their kin in the western parts of Middle-earth. It is only after the downfall of Sauron that they could journey west past Mordor, bringing with them their particular culture. Uh, The Lonely Mountain. Man, there's a lot of options. I like that you, that, like, the background piece. That's actually kind of cool. I wonder if it also, like, affects, like, particular skills that we might have or possess. Uh, Erebor remains both the seat of the uh, seat of the king under the mountain and the current home of the king of Durin's folk. The Lonely Mountain continues to thrive in the Fourth Age, helping rebuild parts of Gondor and Hornburg. I think I'm going to do Glittering Caves because I love Gimli as a character and the fact that we could be directly somehow linked to Gimli. I mean, some of these other outfits are cool, but I'm sure that, you know, we'll have armor and stuff and like other cosmetics to like change the way that our dwarf looks. But I think, Indy, what are you doing? Hi, yeah, you're a good boy. Um, so this is Lord of the Rings game. So when does it take place after the return of the king or before? So this takes place after... Thank you for not sitting on my Go XLR. This game takes place some amount of years after the original trilogy. So the original trilogy happened. Sauron's gone. Um, what I remember reading about it was because I wanted it to be a very, very, like, a original experience. Basically, the premise is that Gimli... Um, has sent out a call to all these different clans of dwarves and says, I want to retake Moria. We need to band together and work on reclaiming Moria. Um, also, I think I remember reading something that Gimli is like super, super fucking old and he knows like, hey, I'm like really, really old and I know that my time on Middle Earth is like coming to an end pretty darn soon. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the basic premise of it, so uh bling it up uh we could be here a while if there's mountains for every color of the rainbow yeah but i think that was it so i think what was that like six or seven seven options i'm just gonna go with the glittering caves because it's got gimli involved so uh and what are we gonna call our dwarf i'm just gonna keep it nice and simple chris x chris x beer Be i'm almost wrote br beard yeah chris x beard perfect uh, I'm going to create a world. We got a world seed. I'm just going to go with whatever the original world seed they gave me is. Uh, sure. Uh, I'm going to play offline. There we go. Yes. Dwarves from every clan have answered your call. What? Despite the king under the mountain. Gimli! Rejection. I'm so excited. Lord it's Gimli. Gimli. Erebor will not support entering the Black Pit. 
If the king wants to stop us, he can come himself. Every attempt you've made has failed. This is a sign. No signs or kings are going to stop us. This is the time to reclaim Khazad-dûm. Today, we get into that mountain. Any luck? No, won't budge. Did you try speaking friend? Now, why didn't I think of that before? You did your best. On to plan B. Ah, finally. Plan B? Is that blasting fire? I'd stand back if I were you. This is madness. Gimli, you can't. We have to wait for Durin. Durin's not here. We have to do this ourselves. Maybe this will wake him up. Limin Barak. Limin Tagaz. Kazad Dashtin. Oh, no! Lord Gimli! This is another sign! Oh, hammer tongs. It's the fourth age. Nothing is going to stop us. You heard Lord Gimli? Let's go. Pack it in. Yes, nice and tight. Come on, help him out. Oh, sorry, I clicked out. My bad. Don't don't click out of the game because then it cuts off audio. <laughs> I was clicking out to check something. That was no normal dwarf blast. So I'm also I'm also wondering. Sorry, I have to click back because I'm out of my Twitch dashboard here. So, uh, but I'm also wondering if. I'm also wondering if, uh, whatchamacallit, if, like, it depends on, it dep sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay, there we go. Okay. If it depends on, like, what dwarf you pick to start as will affect, uh, that intro cutscene, but I guess I was right. It is, uh, you know, it's, it's Gimli trying to reclaim, you know, reclaim Moria. I punch these? These are wood, right? Yep. Any day now. We'll just we'll just get this here wood. I don't think that's wood. Oh, here we go. Wood. Uh okay, yeah, I was about to say, how do we get wood underground? But if I remember there are trees that grow underground, so. Alright, craft a torch. Boom. Torch added. Uh, two. Nice! Also, if you look at the little mini-map on the top left, it actually shows how deep we are, and it, you can go, like, deeper and deeper and things like that and everything, so. I do like the, the fire physics. Uh, that looks like a wall that I can do something with. Yeah, I hope that there's more explodey barrels like that. I mean, you know. Oh, wood. I want to grab all the wood. Uh, It's okay, Chris. We love you and no words are hard. They are very, very hard. I've been having like a big stuttering thing today. I don't know why. Uh, Drifted, did you hear about the overeducated circle? It has 360 degrees. You know what? You know what, Drifted? For, for just for that. Just for that. There you go. That's 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 what you get. That took me ages to get to on my stream deck, but you're welcome. Thank you for that. Uh huh. Press space to jump. Okay. Can I get a running start? Hey. There must be a way back to camp. I also like that you're try the doors of Durin from the inside. Oh, we're going to open up the doors from the inside. Ooh, also, I found a recipe for a simple pickaxe. Uh, I can make one. Ooh. Uh, okay, yeah, so we can get armors and stuff like that and everything. So, there we go. There we go. 
tunnel a way out. Oh, we got to do some mining. Oh, I'm excited. Uh, anything back here? I'm just going to grab all of this. Okay, so we do have a stamina wheel, and I don't know what the blue bar is. Maybe, like, it's, like, water or something like that, because always these crafty survival games, you got to, like, you know, drink water and eat food and shit like that. So, how does this look weird? Oh, well, uh, damn, won't be able to play this game. It gives me motion sickness. Understandable. Understand. Oh, I can have my torch and mine. Okay, so uh, while holding pickaxe, press left click to dig through or mine. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm digging a hole. I'm digging a hole. I'm just going to go straight. I, I honestly... Oh. Well. Firelight. We are not alone. Are those mushrooms? Mushroom stew! Satisfy hunger. And I can make an improvised axe. Uh, well, how do I make the stew? Uh, well, I should probably make the axe. Let's do that. Uh, and then it said eat the stew. Or eat the mushrooms. Eat the mushrooms. Where do I... I, I don't want to get too much into that. Uh, mushroom number seven. I don't know what was my what was my hunger i think the blue bar is my hunger i think that's what that is so that was supposedly a joke yes that was a joke minecraft mordor edition yeah i mean it definitely i mean all these crafty games have like minecrafty elements uh dwarf remains i got a hero token i don't know what that is building plan memorial flame uh, I should probably also have my axe out. Your, uh, your basic axe slow and steady. Good for chopping trees or orcs. Oh, we're going to fight orcs. <gasps> we probably will. Look back here. All right. Okay. I can also block. So. A raven. Of Erebor. <gasps> A raven. I get to speak with the raven. Uh, oi, oi, now on iPad. Probably will be asleep soon. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good, frog. I'm going to go ahead and light that. I want this stuff before I go talk to the raven. I want more mushrooms. All right. Hi, raven. Are you from our camp? Santa wins. I am Eric. I love that voice. Oh my god. Yours is the only friendly face here. What has happened to the rest of camp? I cannot tell. A curse. Ill curse. It blocks me. Could you help search for a way out? And for any other survivors? I will search. You go east. See what you can find. I will fly to you when I can. Goodbye. All right. Well, that's the raven. That's... I, I am loving this. I don't know if Story is watching right now or not, but this is great. This is good. This is real, real good. All right. Digging hole. This voice acting seems... I I like it. <laughs> like, is it like... The best voice acting that you ever heard? No. It's obviously. But uh, the fact that it's voice... Act I've played way too many crafty survival games that have like zero to no voice acting. So the fact that they just added voice acting into it... Love it. Also that your character has a voice. Love it. Uh, Quick build platforms to traverse terrain. Um, okay, so we got to do a little bit of building here. Um, okay. So, can I build? Oh, okay. Uh, now how? You know, I probably, probably shouldn't have built it all the way over there. Can I build another? 
There we go. I, I had to land on this because otherwise I feel like, why did I just do all that? So what's your thoughts on the voice act? I'm curious. I'm, there's, there's no wrong answer. I'm just expressing my, my feeling on it. Uh, is there fall damage? I can't tell. Oh, I also see where the hunger bar is. Hunger bar is on the bottom below my health. You see below the health, there's like a cheese icon. Yep. That's, that's our, that's our food. I have 29 mushrooms. Hold on. Let me just nosh on a few of these and get myself to full food. Cool. Uh, I'm afraid of hitting those, so. It would be cool if, like, we could sing while we mine. That would be cool. Because isn't that, like, a thing? Isn't that, like, a thing? Like, they, they sing songs as they're digging through the mine. Like, that's, like, a that's like a stereotype of dwarves in, like, fantasy games, right? Oh, I was like, what the fuck is that? Ooh, I don't like that purple. What is this? Oh. Ooh. Okay. Uh, the tungle dinning mechanic is way too fast, efficient, and perfect. Misty Mountain? Yeah! Yeah, yeah, I wonder if, like... But also, remember, I mean, this is, this is, we're still in tutorial land. So there might be like harder areas to dig. And usually in crafty survival games, they have like, hey, if you want to go into this more like advanced area, you have to increase, like you have to get a better pickaxe, right? So we might see that. We might see that eventually. I think we're just kind of learning the mechanics here. It's very, very much tutorial land. Doors of Durin. Let me get my axe out, cause. Doors of Durin? Oh, what is wrong with it? Hmm. I have never seen rooms with such shadow. No wonder we could not get it open from the other side. Okay. Oh, cool. So we got our first mission. Someone or something has gouged a curse rune onto the inside gate. Uh, this is why Gimli's company couldn't get the doors of Durin to open from the outside. Uh, evil shadows exclude from it, blocking, uh, any from approaching. Could this be why there are piles of dead orcs? I mean, maybe. Ooh, it's creepy. It's whispering at me. Don't like that. It's not good. Best digging song? What was that? <laughs> Oh, yo, they, they have like, see that? Okay. I think they added like, you, like in the, the, like Fortnite, which the only thing I remember at Fortnite is if you aim your pickaxe in specific, like specific like angles, you get like a bonus, like breaking shit, right? I think that's what I just did with my axe. Yeah, you know, whatever. Why am I trying to do that? Uh, sign of the fellowship. The fellowship was here. Oh, are we going to find like little, like little bits and bobs of like the original fellowship? I like that. Hold on. Hold on one second. By the way, there's just one thing that I is, is being weird. Uh, give me, give me one second. One second. Cause... Uh, there we go. And there we go. Hold on, hold on. My web browser, for some reason, Opera keeps like, the only way I can describe it is flashing. <laughs> and it's like really, 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 really distracting. Uh, like it, it is bothering me. It's actually like making me bug out a little bit. So give me one second as I do. Oh, I didn't know Margin is all A, also streaming and B. He is also uh, playing this game, too. Oh, me and Margin can stream this together. Oh, that'd be dope. I also need to check and see how many players it is. I'm honestly curious on how many players this can be. I think I read somewhere like six to eight, um, which I feel like is pretty good for a crafty survival game. So, uh, but give me one second. Hold on. Um... Uh, 
Okay, there we go. Okay. But yeah, it seems like that we can... Oh, I got to look at that again. Wait, how do I open up that? Okay, here we go. The fellowship was here. I found a wee set of Schreier-made travel plates and forks. Hi. Uh, these must have been left behind by one of Lord Gimli's hobbit companions. Perhaps while after uh, while resting after the Watcher trapped them inside more... I forgot that's what that octopus thing was. It's called the Watcher. Uh, I must be on the same path as Gandalf and Gimli led, the, uh, led them. A very good omen. They made it out, and so can we. Love that. Yeah, he's been meowing like that recently. Oh, I could do a combat, a dwarven combat roll. Orc Town? Orc survived. <laughs> Thanks, game. Uh, hello. They also talked about Orc Town. So, uh, orcs are probably living down here. That's great. Nope. Can I have the arrows? Nope. Can't have the arrows. Not allowed. Wait, did I just go the wrong way? Wait, I want to see if there were orcs that we could fight. I'm going back. I'm going back. Hang on. Hang on. Let me just shove some mushrooms down my gullet. Hang on a second. Mushrooms. Yes. 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 Yes, yes, queen. Yes. Yes. Thank you. I'm getting all these clothing scraps. Can I make clothes yet? Uh, let's see. Oh, I see more mushrooms. Mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. Mushroom. Ooh, what's... Oh, I thought that was weapon scraps. Rats! <laughs> Arik, what news? Ah, there's no way west. No way out. Huh. I did not think we would see shadow cursed ruins in Moria. Our path then must go east. Ah, long journey. You must prepare. Up here. At that old dwarven camp. You are right. It is time to find shelter before making our way further. I will scout ahead. Stay alive. With luck, we will exit the Dimril Gate. For now, we must face the long dark of Moria. Ooh, spoopy, spoopy. An outpost? Yeah. I got me. Come here, you little rat. Give me some of that precious rat meat. Damn it. I don't even know if there's like a, a targeting. Ooh, I see flowers. What are these? Ah. Sunions. Oh, sunions. Okay. Darkness of night falls. Ooh. Well, wait, I mean, we're, we're underground. So like how, how dark can it actually get? You know, cause like normally in crafty survival games, you know, there's like a day and night cycle and stuff like that. What is this? Ooh. Oh, is this going to be like my base of operations? Hi rat. Bye rat. Oh, can't go that way. I feel like that this is going to be like my base of operations. Bye rat. I'm back. Okay. Um, 
rebuild the hearth. Press B for the build menu. Find bedroll in the building menu. Build a bedroll. Claim the bedroll. Okay. Um, so, uh, B. Essentials and crafting. Wait. Press B while playing to enter build mode. But I don't... Do I need to make a platform first? Uh, I found a parchment in Elvish Hand. Uh, Balin has set five of us to establish outposts in the far corners of Moria. Here we begin our search. Wait, how do I... How do I build a bedroll? Ooh, coal pallet. Oh! Rebuilding these. I need iron ingots. I can rebuild the forge or furnace. Okay, so I got a furnace. I need stone. So where do I, do I just run up to a rock? I guess we just hang here. What did I need, like 10 or 15? Uh, boy, I've got to let my stamina get back. Yeah, I got to rebuild. I should have done the hearth first. I should have read. I, for some reason, my dumb brain thought that hearth was, hearth was the forge for some reason. Uh, how do we feel about it? So, so far, it's good, but it, it's running really smooth, which is always my one thing with games nowadays. Like, does it run good? <laughs> so it's running good. Um, I do like the lore and the story and everything. I think you would really like it for Yeah, right? Did you want to? Okay, yeah. Uh, but, you know, that's always my thing with, like, games nowadays, you know? There's just too many games that come out that are, like, they needed more time and everything, and this doesn't feel that way. Oh, God. Ooh, Iron Vein. Okay. <laughs> Why do those fingers creep me out? All right, Stone Hearth. Okay. Uh, craft. Oh, okay. Oh, I can make meat. Okay. Okay. Do I need to be here in order to cook this? I don't. Okay, so how do I... How do I make a better roll then? Oh, okay. Essentials. Where is the bed roll? Bed roll! There we go. All right, so I guess I'll sleep next to this wall. I'm going to get some meat. Meat, meat, meat. I'm going to get some meat. Okay, I'm going to have to claim the bedroll, so let me claim it. Oh, that's cute. It pops up over here. Pops up over on the table. I like that. Okay, build a storage. Oh, can I sleep till day? Let's sleep till day. Hated that. Uh, I can also. I'm gonna make a lot of stews. Uh, alrighty, so we need to... What do we got to make? We got to make a storage chest, so... Make a wooden chest. I'll throw this over here. You know what? Because I know myself, I am going to want one. Another one. Because I'm horrible at or inventory management. Uh, find iron vein, mine iron, and craft and collect an iron ingot, which I'm assuming we do over here because I already rebuilt the forge here, so... Uh, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna wait for this. I'll wait for this mushroom soup, and then we'll go and we'll we'll mine. I'm like I'm also liking it because it doesn't feel like things are too complicated. Like I feel. Oh my god. 
Oh, it made all of the meal. Oh, I like that. You can bulk. You can make bulk. I hope that doesn't mean that I... These are going to go bad. Because I only needed one. <gasps> There's a chest over here. A dwarven chest. Let's get you open. Okay. What you're keeping I need I need a recipe. It's Ori's key, which I could probably make if I had some onion. But yeah, I also like that it, it is it doesn't feel complicated with the crafting, because too many games. Uh, bane is gone, right? Perhaps we'll find its bones one day. Okay, well I'm gonna go over here. Uh. Oh yeah, can we V is for quick building. Can I just that? What happens if the platform gets disconnected? Okay. Right. Uh What if we do that? That's better. There we go. Now we're mining. Make me the perfect miner. Dig him forth from the soil. Ancient cheeks cut from cords, shadows cast from iron ore with a glimmering undertone. Flash can be thundered, rock holds its own. Wrought from the finest, sprung from the stone. Opal the iris, silver the bow. Work frenzy. Hello? Hello? Oh, my mouse went. My mouse just disconnected? Hold on a second. That was weird. Uh, fuck. My mouse just completely disconnected. Uh, Elvira. Hey, long time no see. How have you been? This game looks amazing, but I'm going to wait either for it when it's on Steam, unless I have friends to play with and I buy it on Epic. Yeah, I understand. It's annoying having like all these different places and everything, but uh, just be aware, especially with ep Epic exclusives, they could be on there for a while. Um, usually it's like a year to two years, I think, minimum, unless they had like some other kind of like shorter thing. But uh, yeah, uh, I have to go under my desk because my mouse just disconnected. Um, that was fucking amazing. We were just able to sing while we're mining. Hold on. Let me, let me fix my mouse. Hold on. I fix it. There we go. That's weird. Add that to the other random list of weird ass things that I'm having happening on my computer and everything. It's just been weird. Really, really fucking weird. Anyway. Oh yeah, I know a year I can wait. Yeah. I, I I'm just I'm just saying, like, if you were like, yeah, I'll be there in like a few days and all like exclusives when it comes to Epic, Epic makes them sign like a year to two year contract usually. Usually. Sometimes it could it could pertain to the game or the developer and stuff like that, but the usual amount I see is like a year. Minimum. Okay. That was fucking dope though. Oh. That was amazing. Can I sing again? Why can't I sing again? I just want to keep singing. I just want to keep mining and keep singing. Oh. Also, where does this lead? Oh, I broke the platform. Please don't fall. Oh, what is that thing? Oh, there are the orcs. Watching, not attacking. Okay, that I want to read. Foul oh, they're goblins. They're not orcs. They're goblins. Foul goblins haunt my step, yet refuse to directly engage in a fight. Uh, is this what their boss told them to do? To what end? Sleep will be difficult. Their eyes in the dark around every corner. And then orcs survive. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of... A lot of these things. That's the jumping, digging, war, uh, war axes. Oh, because of my axe. But yeah, this is real. This is like really, really good. 
Oh, they are like straight up watching me. I hate that. Uh, I'm gonna go fucking fuck you up. I'm gonna go fuck them up. Let's fuck them up. Oh shit. What? <laughs> All right, ladder, ladder physics a little, a little wonk, a little wonk. Okay, let me just take the ladder down normally. Ever since I lost 60 euro game because of Epic system, uh, thought it was corrupted and removed a game I paid for and then lost Borderlands 3 save game for 30 hours. So under, listen, I, I, I understand. I, I do not blame you. I totally, totally understand. I know some people who have had some bad experiences, not only with Epic, but like other platforms. Hello, goblins. No, get back here. You bitches. The little burrows, huh? Like to dig in the ground. That's my job. Are you going to come back after I leave? Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and eat one of our mushroom stews. But yeah, I mean, I, I've I've been burned not necessarily by like game, like 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 a like a shop, like a digital shop like that. I actually got burned by uh, G two A G the number two the letter A. Uh, I need uh, coal. I need to add fuel. I think there was some fuel over here. Get coal. And I guess I'll just make as, as many as I can. Beautiful. Oh. I love that we can sing, though. I love that we can sing, though. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, my God. I, I was literally joking about that before. I had no idea you could actually sing in this. This game literally came out today, and I haven't seen any gameplay on it. But the fact that you can sing while you mine is amazing. I love that. <laughs> uh, I only use CD keys. Never Oh, never use them. I only use CD keys as their support actually is what's really helpful. Yeah, I, I usually use, if I'm buying games from somewhere else other than Steam, I use uh, Fanatical. And I also use, um, I get the iron. Ah, okay. Got some other iron brewing. Uh, I also use uh, green man gaming. Those are and humble bundle. Those are usually my like three places I go to and everything. Rebuild the forge, forge an iron sword. But can I make that key? There was a key coal. Oh, I can make coal. Okay. Um, there we go. Make some coal. Uh, rebuild the forge. Which is the forge? That's the forge. Okay. I need one more iron ingot. Got another iron ingot. We'll rebuild. Uh, as I buy on accident three codes and told them, hey, I buy this three times on accident. I want two, uh, two refunded. Uh, and they said, yeah, sure. Let us check the codes first they still are activatable and we get them refunded and i'm guessing they they didn't then there's orange key i need an iron ingot okay well you know what we got let's do orange key first because that's easy and then we can let the other iron craft uh i can also get a shield too nice uh but yeah i'm sorry that happened to you yeah i um whatchamacallit i Got burnt by G2A because what happened was... Is there any kind of minigame with the crafting? Did I get it? That's my inventory. Did I not make the key? I still don't have the key. Okay, I think I have to, like, wait until it's done crafting. I think that's my bad. My bad. My bad. Craft. Got the key. Okay. Uh, but yeah, what happened was I was trying to buy... Oh my god, I forgot what game it was. Uh, coal. Uh, I got some coin. Lembus. And three iron ingots. Ooh. Alright. That's cool. That's cool. Get the coal. Uh, we'll deposit the coal that I have. 
Oh, the meat spoiled. Okay, so don't... Like, if you're not going to eat quick, don't throw everything out on the table. So, uh, I'll make one of these. And then we'll grab this. And then we'll go here. And I'm going to make... I got no hide scraps. Uh, I also need wooden scraps if I want to make both of those. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I forgot what game it was. I think it was... I want to say it was Mafia. I feel like it was Mafia. Uh, was the game that I bought. And, um... Mafia 3, I think. If I'm not mistaken. And I bought it. It was 60 bucks. Spent the money. Was like, dope, dope. Really excited for this. Awesome. And, uh, sure enough, um... It, I, I, I spent $60 and like, oh yeah, by the way, you can't activate this key in your, your country. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like it said us available and they were like, nope, like this was only available in the EU. And I'm like, okay, well, can I have my money back? I can't activate it. It's still available. I would like to a refund. And they were like, nope. And I'm like, what do you mean? Nope. And they're like, no, you're not allowed. And I'm like, cool. Great. I will never use your service again. So no gonna do that yeah i was really really mad about it really really mad after that never used g2a and probably never will ever again uh i got your mind back on two codes uh removed from my possession so cd key at least god uh gets me from the thumbs uh, a thumbs up as an okay website yeah that's good customer service that's good customer service all right i think i gotta go kill some rats i think i gotta go get some wood as well Nice. Uh, let me. Okay. I'm gonna run back. I'm gonna run back and look around, but I do need to. Got that water. Get the meat. I don't think that's giving me the the hide scraps that I need. Maybe they meant the clothing scraps. I don't know though. Uh, they literally planted that system in it for you, so you know you can get it or not. Yeah, no, in CD keys you can actually see it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, well, cause cause before that I had been getting stuff from G2A and everything was fine. Like I had never had an issue. And that was my first experience with the customer service peeps. And I was like, that was such a poor experience. I never want to buy something from your shop ever again. You know, like good customer service goes a long, long way. Uh, and that was just horrible, horrible customer service experience. It was out. Uh, Nerd or Die is awesome. Apparently, I bought the pack before they released the widgets, but because I'm a longtime customer, they added the widgets. Oh, that's awesome! That's so nice of them. So, so nice of them. I'm happy that they, they did that for you. But see, good customer service. It goes a long way. It goes a very, very long way. Good customer service. Uh, okay, hide scraps. Okay, so I do need to go somewhere. Oh, I can get the shield, though. I guess I'll get the shield. Uh, and I'm okay on food. So, you know what? Let's start using this. Uh, I'm gonna throw some stuff in here. Hero's token, we'll throw that in here. We'll throw this in here. The coins I don't need right now. The Lembus we'll throw. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose shit, so... What is this? Metal frag. I have 85 metal fragments. I don't think I need 85 metal fragments, but uh, actually, real quick, let's make a torch. Iron hammer. Uh, oh, I could make an iron hammer, but and a wood flare. Small throwable torch. I like the regular torch. Let's do that. Uh, I'm back in Twitch chat, but now I lack object permanence. Dillers, I told you so many times, man. You didn't need to stay over there. I just I just need someone to keep an eye over on the uh, the YouTube side of things. But I, I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. We'll, we'll come on back to, to Twitch. Thank you for, for keeping an eye and keeping the peace. 
Uh, okay, I'm gonna reorganize some of this stuff. So we got pickaxe, we got axe, we got that. Is this really my inventory? That is super small. All right, time to go fight some shit. I think I gotta go explore a little bit. Eh. What are you? What are you? Oh, you're just a little stuck guy. Nice. Oh, cool. I can make a scouting pack. <gasps> the goblin is back. He's gobbling these nuts. Uh, Funky, welcome on back, though. How are you doing, man? I can see that I had a really good customer service experience with Amazon when GPU. I bought my GPU. Oh, yeah? Tell us about it. I still remember the name of the person. Their name was Vivek, and they were so kind. Yeah, dude, like, I'm just telling you, man, it goes a long, long way. Like, you could have such a poor buying experience and stuff like that, but if you have some good customer service and good support, people will recognize that, and they'll want to come back. Like, I mean, look look at Elvira. Elvira had such a poor experience with Epic Games that Elvira will never go back and buy an Epic game again, regardless if they change. Like, good customer service will go miles miles also thank you chaotic thank you for the g fuel how are you doing man but that's awesome and that means that was that good of an experience that you still this day remember the person's name that's a win that's a win in their book uh hey babe i have another idea for a video for us to do together the hot ones challenge oh god look at that little goblin do you see that goblin goblin these nuts down there a little bitch. <gasps> Another singing opera. Oh my god. Hold on. Let me go goblin these nuts. This uh, this goblin real quick. I also want to get more scraps. Quiet. What? I see prey ahead. Whoa! 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 What? Four! 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 I wish there was like a targeting. Oh my God, my axe broke. My axe broke during that engagement. God, that was spoopy. Yeah, I didn't see a prompt. I, so I didn't see a prompt for uh, like locking on or anything. I'm not going to repair that. I'm just going to make a new axe. Men will kill them all. <laughs> I'm just going to make a new one. Yeah, I didn't get... Uh, I mean, was there like a... Where is it? There is a tab for like tips. Shields. Use that to block attacks. There has to be a lock on. Yeah, I'm wondering if maybe I didn't like really go the most accurate way or something like that. Like, like the right tutorial path. What are you... Is that a llama? No, 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 come back, come back. You're so pretty, come back. Oh, these guys. I need a better weapon for this. Yeah, I don't think I was supposed to go over here, like, just yet. But then I went ahead and I did. Because I think the tutorial... I mean, the tutorial was pointing me in this direction. But I don't know. Wood. Alright, let me... Let me run back and make a sword. And I think I also now can make a backpack as well. That was another thing that I saw... 
uh hello drifted welcome on back uh doing well better play some warhammer 40k dark tide yeah that was my backup game for tonight but as you can see we got a review copy and uh, i gotta say i'm really enjoying uh lord of the rings here it's a good game it's a good game uh all right so i can make that let's make the sword and i got the shield What about... Wasn't there... Was it craft? See? Craft? Wasn't there... A scout's pack! That's what I wanted. You know, I... That's the same... That pack... That I'm already wearing. Ugh! So mad! Ugh! I uh, need a black diamond. That's nothing. Okay. Well, you know what? Let us... Let's make a... I'll make a roast meat. We'll eat the meat. We'll take... Uh, actually, no, I'll probably take a nap. Let's rest. Middle mouse press? No, I did not try that. I'll try that if when we get into some more combat. Oh, it's dark. I also do want to go mine that ore and uh, see if we can sing again. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, it's cold too. Oh no, it's cold and it's dark. Oh no. Oh, nighttime sucks. Nighttime sucks. Nighttime sucks. Can I sleep again? Too soon to sleep. Yeah, I'm curious about Middle Mouse Press. Let me, let me, you know what? Since. Oh, Middle Mouse works. Okay, so Middle Mouse works. You know, I never looked back here. Dude, this is the worst. I shouldn't have slept. What chat? What chats? Why did nobody tell me? Uh, why did nobody tell me? Game actually looks fun. Yeah, it is. It is. And it and it is out and available now. So if you did want to try Lord of the Rings, Return to Moria, it is available exclusively on Epic Games, probably for like a year or two. Uh, but if you did want to pick it up right now, I think it's only $40. Which honestly, not that bad. For a game like this, that's also co-op-y and um, crafty survival. Uh, but it is available. It is out and available. Wait, where'd my sword go? Wait. Oh, my sword's in the other backpack. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Uh, let's see. We can do that. And then cloth. Here. We'll keep the mushrooms on us. I keep all like the supplies in my back, my bay pick. So I don't know. I don't play the game. Aren't dwarves supposed to be able to resist cold? I mean, I think that they are like naturally a little bit more resilient. You know what? Story, story is the Lord of the Rings aficionado. Story would be able to better answer. Babe, what's the deal with? Dwarfs. Oh, yeah. You're going to run this time? All right, bitch. Goblin? More like goblin these nuts. More like goblin is a bitch. Am I right? All right, we'll go ahead. Uh, can we please sing? I really, I want, I want you guys to see the sing mechanics. Singing. Did I ever tell you that dad joke? I'll probably get it through CD keys as I always do if I can. Understandable. Understandable. Listen, as long as you're helping support the game, that's all that matters, you know? Sir, you are the streamer. I can't tell you things because I am not streamer or gamer. Dillers, you are a gamer. Look at your massive levels in Eternal Evolution, Okay. Also, dad joke. Quick quick break here for this dad joke. 
here is the dad joke. Why shouldn't you kiss somebody on January 1st? Because it's the first date. There you go. Uh, please enjoy that dad joke. Uh, don't criticize me or judge me. I just read the dad jokes from a box. So I have no if or say at all on the dad jokes. So there you go. Please enjoy. There is your dad joke. Also, give me one second. I'm just checking something. Checking something. There we go. Okay. All right. Singing time. Singing? I want singing. I want to hear you belt out. <gasps> Make me the perfect minor Cleave her straight from the core Callous fish, crystal born Harder than the anvil's horn With a frame that cracks the mold Facets of emerald, ruby and gold Rot from the finest, sprung from the stone Oh, for the iris, silver the bone that is literally one of my favorite mechanics in this game. That is the fact that you can sing while you mine. Genius. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Uh, oh, babe. So the question is, since you are a master of all Lord of the Rings things, you know, since you are, you are, you know, the queen of, of Lord of the Rings, aren't dwarves supposed to have like, aren't they like a little bit more resilient to like the elements and stuff? That was that was our question that we were wondering. Uh is it multiplayer going to be a thing or is it No, no, there is multiplayer. You can team up with friends. Yeah, I don't know how many. I haven't had a chance to look up, but it is co-op. I'm going to say probably something like this. Pro oh, wood pallets, nice. Uh something like this probably is like, oh, are those bad? You coming at me? Always want to fight me? Okay. Uh, but it is it is co-op. Oh, that's the llama. Can co-op with three more people? I'll I'll have to check. But I do know that there is co-op. I just I personally just don't know how many. They didn't, they didn't give me any notes on that, like in my brief for when they gave me the review key. Plus I didn't want, I didn't want to look up too much stuff because I was worried that like I would get spoiled because there is like an overarching story. Also Gimli's in it. Gimli from, from the original trilogy. Gimli's in the game. We actually look, we work for Gimli. Uh, reason why I said I won't buy it on Steam unless my friends are going to buy it. Gotcha. Yeah. You don't want to like, I mean, I mean, honestly, as a solo experience, which I think maybe the next time I play this, I will be playing with some peeps. I know Margin has it. Uh, one of our other friends, Heiser was, uh, is streaming it as well. Uh, and I know story is definitely interested in it. Uh, uh, like, especially since it's crafty, it's survival and it's Lord of the Rings. So like, Ooh, there's a carving here. Uh, what can I drop? What can I drop? Coal. I can always make more coal. So. Uh, they are meant to be resistance to most external elements, including the rings of power. Yes. Yes. See, I told you guys. Story is literally queen of Lord of the Rings. She's the queen of the rings. Uh, I want to explore this area. This looks really, really cool. Cranberries. Berries and cream. Berries and cream. I'm a little dwarf who likes berries and cream. Uh, stir vine in my pocket. But yeah, no, I get it. I mean, and, and some people honestly enjoy these crafty survival games with friends. And I, and I totally get that. Right. I totally get that. Some, like, you know, these games sometimes are more enjoyable playing with friends, but so far for ex solo experience, it's pretty good. Pretty good solo experience so far. Oi. More pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. No singing. 
Guess not. Oh, these are coal, coal deposits. That's what these are. I thought it was iron. I also want to see what that... My axe is about to break. You know what, since my axe is, my pickaxe is literally about to break, let's drop this broken ass pickaxe. I did not want stone. Why in the world game would you think that I want stone? Oh, I got the coal. Okay. Um, there's more coal here. We can come back for the coal. All right, back to base. Cranberries, cranberries. This way. Oh, hello there, guy. Combat's pretty cool. Very, very simple combat mechanics. Nothing too crazy to kind of get your head over. Kind of like humming it like a microwave noise. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, I do like singing. Uh, I, uh, I know. I do know singing is like a buff. Yeah, no, I see. So we got uh, we got orc frenzy. Which I don't know if that means that like I'm driving the orcs nuts from my singing or. Or like I get a bonus against like orcs, you know? Uh, I wish the dwarves on Deep Rock Galactic would sing while they might. That would be a cool. That would be cool. Uh, let's do some roasted meat. Oh my god, look at all that coal, baby. That's a lot of coal. Uh, iron ore. Don't I have... Oh, no, because all of those were... Uh, okay, there was a statue that I could go to deposit, but... Um... Curious what I can make with the berries. What is this? This is oh, that's in the box. Hero's token. Oh yeah, I have to make a new pickaxe and stuff. So let's make a new. We'll make a new pickaxe and a new torch. Okay. Uh, let's go in the box. Throw that in here. Uh, we'll eat the roast. Okay. Uh, so I think that's why you can't sing all the time. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It makes sense. I see what you're putting down. I get what you're saying. Uh, let's throw the berries in here. We'll throw you in here. Um, hide scrap I don't need right now. I'm going to try to unload some of this stuff that I have. Uh, wood. I need more wood, so. Okay, okay, okay. All right, cool. Oh, and the amber I can throw in here. I don't even know what we use amber for. All right. Bye, base. Hello, goblin. Oh, more little goblins. All right, all right. I kind of like that the goblins, like, will cir or, like circle you. I, I don't know what I did there. It's glowing. It was glowing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like that's the tactics that Goblin would use, right? They would, like, kind of do, like, hit and run tactics or try to, like, flank you and shit like that, you know? Can 
You know, they're not bothering me. Let them vibe. Let them vibe, I say. That's Durin's way. Oh, we can like rebuild this whole entire area. I'm, I'm also realizing that this is like a little village. And I think we could just like rebuild this whole ass area. But I want to explore what is in there. Uh, I'm also going to light some of these. We're gonna go this way. The fluffiest baby. Oh, you mean Indy? Yeah, Indy's pretty fluffy. My also my big question is: Is there a bell rock in this game? And I think that there that there has to be. There has to be a bell rock. Like it's a game about Lord of the Rings. You're in Moria. There has to be a bell rock, right? Am I crazy for thinking that? Metal fragments. I got cram. Depends on the timeline. I think that this is after. I'm actually curious. Can someone look it up? I know it's after the trilogy. Gimli's old. Gimli is old as shit. <gasps> Minerals. Oh. Don't like that. Well, 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 there is Z. Hi, Z. There's some little critters down that way, but we're going to go this way. Just trying to get more wood. How you doing, Z? What's going on, buddy? Grab some of that. You guys won't bother me, right? You guys are cool. What is this? That statue has seen better days. Okay, that's I, I love that it's like a perfect little circle. That's how efficient we are at mining. Uh, I'm just going to eat some mushrooms real quick. But how you doing, Z? Welcome on in. Thanks for trying. Well, you did catch the Pokemon. Not even tried. Mental. Oh, dwarf remains. This is important. We, we need heroes tokens for a thingy back at base. So I don't know what for, but we need them. cool right yeah you won't attack me how's my inventory looking looking pretty good i need two more of those heroes tokens to rebuild something back at base there all right digging time this loop goes back or is this another God, look at all the supplies here I want to get over there how do I get over there goblins goblin these nuts gonna fight them Get out of here, the little shitters. All right. Uh, maybe through here? This looks like different that I can dig, right? Yep. Right. Oh god, I thought that was something big in the distance. I was like, what the fuck is that? <gasps> or I think that's coal. I would like more iron. There we 
haven't been over here. I want to go to that search area. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Little guy, little guy! What the hell? Yeah, I'm getting like a little lost here. Okay, I think we should head back. Because this seems to be all, like, kind of looping in on itself. I don't really see, like... No, is this a different area? Dude, I can't tell if this is, like, a different area or not. Scalpers are the worst, dude. I know, dude. And, and the fact that there are some scalpers out there who are like, this is my job. That's not a job. Scalping is in no way, shape, or form an actual job. That is not a job. <gasps> Door. Door. Oh, it's like a little tavern. But I think that's the thing that bothers me the worst about scalpers, where they're like, ah, it's my job. I'm just doing my job. And I'm like, that's that's not a job, dude. That's called ripping people off. And also fucking it up for others. Like, think about how many times with, like, in the past with, like, GPUs and, like, scalpers bought up all the GPUs. Dude, I don't I don't even know how I'm gonna get back. Uh-oh. What's that? <gasps> Our Raven buddy! Oh no, the curse is on this door too. Well shit. I mean, I had a feeling it wasn't gonna be that easy. Uh, little, little crow buddy. It's shadow, just like the cursed door, but it is billowing up from below. Okay. Shadow vents. Uh, there are vents of shadows torn open throughout Moria, spewing more shadow. I will need to be careful of these vents, perhaps find a way to close them up. The shadow of these vents match descriptions of Naga Mazan, a lightless shadow that often feature, featured in old mind tales and epic sagas from the times of Durin the Deathless. It would seem Naga Mazan is real after all. Well, that sucks. I see the vent. There's the vent. Man, Minecraft's graphics have really improved, dude. I, I honestly am, th th like, it's growing on me. This is, like, I mean, I wouldn't think it was bad, but it really is growing on me. I really, really am liking this. See, it's it's pretty good. Let's talk to our Raven buddy. These shadow vents are almost as bad as those cursed runes. Evil curses. Evil. Ah. Highway blocked. Ah. Must find another way east. Oh. Maybe we can get into the old mines. Find a way back onto Durin's highway from there. Ah! Mines are close. Dig through. Find where to dig through. All right. I'll find the right spot to dig a shortcut to the mines. Let's catch up again in there, friend. Ah! In the mines. Ah. In the mines. Find a shortcut into the mines. Uh, am I gonna freeze out here? Also, should I should I build another? I feel like I should build another bedroll. 
has to be near a hearth. Damn it. So does that mean I have to run all the way back? What is that? What is that? Why are there wolves down here? down here the fuck it was me I brought them well can you tell them to go can you tell them to get their little little wolvie business out of here those are cages is there a way to fast travel <laughs> in the darkness oh it's like that fucking dark that if I don't have a torch it's just bad news to the mines and then that search area is still there on my screen oh hello little guy please don't attack please don't attack I don't have any fucking bombs with you I don't have any issues with you god not sure Thanksy, thank you for bringing the wolves. Now, please tell them to get out of here. Thank you. Uh, what is that? Translate. Shadows in Moria. These runes are the markings of a wizard of the wizard Tharkun. Here is what is written. Evil shadow plagues this area. A wizard searches for Thrain. Babe, who's Thrain? Oh, there's another fucking goblin. Want to goblin these nuts? Oh, all right. Get the fuck out of here. All right, I guess I gotta go back. I gotta freeze to death in here. Is this a freezing area, or is this because it's like? Can I like light these torches on the way back? Rain is Thorin's father. Oh, okay. Okay. The previous king under the mountain. Okay. Okay. All right. That gotcha. Requires iron hammer. Man, I need iron ingots. I can't. Oh, man. Also, I should probably peek inside these buildings because there were those statues before. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Aw, oh, fuck. Are you kidding me? What? Is it like nighttime and now the wolves come out to play? Ow. God damn it. Fucking wolves out here, man. went in a complete circle damn it oh my god all right i do i, I gotta start using my mini map more or maybe his grandfather yeah i guess it really would also depend on the Two more wolves depend on the time of this right is that iron i think that's iron okay i'm gonna mine this real quick uh i have enough for iron all right. Z, if you can if you can hear and watch, this is like my favorite feature of this game. Are you ready? Are you ready? I never beheld my casa doom, but no my home will read me there. The gates were part like open arms, and trusting me with jewels rare. Below the mountains three and tall Lie hill and halls that stand apart I've never beheld my casa doom 
but no the road I'll take by heart dude it is literally I need a better weapon oh my god this. oh my god what the fuck I have to run. I have to go. I have to go. My guy is very, very tired and uh, we might die. I'll come back. I'll come back for the iron. Oh my God, they're still following me. I gotta go. I gotta go. Dude, you do not like want to be away from home this far out. You really, really, really don't. Oh my God, please leave me alone. Oh, is this lead. It's a fucking dead end. Oh my god. That's to the mines. Okay. Okay. We are in like the right area, but see how my stamina bar hasn't gotten back? Like if you don't rest regularly, you just lose stamina over time. Oh, you know what's gonna fucking suck? I'm gonna get back. I think my singing drove them nuts. I think that's honestly what orc frenzy means. Camp Westgate under siege? What? You orc filth! I will tear you down! No, 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 no. I don't know what that means. Dude, I can't fight. I'm going to start cramming mushrooms down my throat. They're still behind me. Okay, I'm going to have to fight them, I think. There's only two. There's only two. I can, I can handle two. Eyes up. Monsters in the air. They're attacking my camp? Oh, you bitches. They broke my shit. So, dude, now you... Oh, my God. On top of everything else, I need to worry about freaking orcs attacking my base. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> now I gotta rebuild my chest. I mean, that's kind of, that's cool, but at the same exact time, like, it's like, dude. That's crazy. What am I supposed to do? They definitely took some of my shit, too. Hero tokens. I got to make some food because our guy is like, you know what? Wait, before anything else, before anything else, we're sleeping. We're sleeping. Because, like, it's just 
too much, man. Oh, that. Uh, let's see that. Uh, I can make some ore. Actually, no, I'm gonna do that really, really quick. Uh, add a queue. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, what else in here did they fuck up, man? No, I grabbed the wrong backpack again. Amber. Coin. They were trying to take my coins. Those fucking assholes. The fucking assholes. Uh, how do I eat this? There we go. All right. Eat some cram. But yeah, dude, how awesome is that singing though? I, I was blow. I know it's like, it seems like a, listen, hear me out. I know it seems dumb, right? It's just like, it's just the door of singing. Like it's not a big deal. And yes, it's not the biggest deal, but I think it's a really, really cool, like little, little feature. Like, did they have to have the door of singing? Probably not. They could have probably got away with not doing that, but I thought that was really, really cool that they did do that. All right, what can we make? Did I learn anything else? I haven't learned anything else. I can't rebuild that. I could craft. Let's make, we'll make one roasted meat. any coal to deposit but i guess you kind of have to like build up like defenses so that way you don't come back and orcs are just like running rampant like you're gonna have to build walls and stuff like that which i like because it kind of gives the semblance of like five here throw that there put those in here and then we'll have those here i'll throw these in here throw these in here no i okay i am carrying this backpack how do i drop this backpack how do i drop this backpack there we go Keep it over there. I don't want to have anything to do with that backpack. I kind of, I kind of see where where co-op would come into play and uh, be very, very helpful and beneficial. So, uh, got some more meats. Got some wood on me. Did I eat that? I did eat that. Okay. Anyway. Uh, where do we gotta go? We gotta go 300 yards that way. So, is there a map? Oh, there is a map. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Actually, no, I think... Did we ever go that way? I don't even think we ever went this way. God. The just random rubble crumbling in the distance, you know? Oh, door for mains. <gasps> Is that the final one? That might be the final one. Or unless these are also scatter remains. Scatter remains. Yes. Oh, I can go run back and build that thing. I'm, I'm honestly curious. I needed five of these. And those should be the last ones that I need. Just don't worry about me. You go about your life. I go about my life. I don't need your scraps right now. But anyway, I'm curious for both of the chats. What are we thinking about this game so far? Any thoughts? Any concerns? Any questions? Do you think this game is worth $40? I think I could get... Baby, I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that was going to be your, uh, your thoughts on it. Uh, actually, babe, can you do me a favor? Could you look up how many players co-op-wise is this? Wasn't there a thing that said five, five hero shot? I know there was a thing that said that. Meant to say fish, but I guess jeesh works. What about she? How about that? Up to eight. Oh, that's even better. Like, cause I could have seen them just doing four player co-op, but that's nice. That's nice. And I'm sure 
because i mean we've been seeing this a lot lately with some games people doing like some like modded stuff where you can add more players i'm sure there's going to be some beautiful talented person who's like you know what as cool as it is to play with four players on moria i want to mod this game so that way it's eight players and i'm sure that's gonna happen like guarantee we're gonna get somebody who no like does it but yeah up to eight players and there and there and there's also uh random generation random seed generation so no two worlds should be the same unless like you copy the seed obviously but i liked that about it as well Before we continue, I am cat's backpack. I don't want that. I'll make a new torch. Put a little card in here. We. Okay, so we can go this way. I almost thought that it says fat bombs in the top left, but that's fathoms. Yeah, eight player co-op. I, I could uh, like, I, I think the big thing with this for me is this because like, and story knows this, like I don't mind crafty survival games. The big thing that I have is it's got to hold my attention. And then at certain points, and I feel like a lot of people could get behind this or like understand this. Sometimes it just gets, it gets a little much. Right? Sometimes it gets a little too repetitive and like, you know, it becomes a chore for me instead of like a fun time playing it, you know? There we go. But this, see, this has like enough like diversity. I mean, so far at least that it's like holding my attention. I gotta find the thing that I saw that said the hero tokens. What? Did you hear that rat? Dig and dig and holes. I am a dwarf and I'm digging the holes. Oh, uh, search the area nearby to find a fragment of Durin's axe. Search carefully for the nearby area for a fragment of Durin's axe. When reaching a Durin axe fragment waypoint, look for the surrounding, uh, look within the surrounding area for a fragment of the axe. It can be inside of a building, in front of a monument, or displayed on a plaque. The key is to leave no stern unturned. Oh, I like that. I think that's my thing. Crafty survival games that have, like, objectives and a story... I'm into them. Oh, hey. There's another carving. So, leave no stern own turned. What? Special building is both a symbol of Durin's strength. I need to search this area for Durin's axe piece. Okay, I thought I found it, and I was like, wait, where? Okay, no, it still says on my screen. Oh, so that's what the search area thing is. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, I hear water behind this wall. Hmm, could be the shortcut to the mines. Time to dig. Time to dig. I will, but I want to find the ox. Where is Oren's ox? Well, bear symbol. I'm also curious on like the the building aspect because like I I don't mind building in like these crafty survival building games, but normally I'm kind of like ah I can build like a, a like a little wooden shack and just you know do my business. But this I'm like curious on like what kind of things you can make, you know. 
That was weird. Where is this fucking axe? Uh, not there. Oh, the goblins. Hello. Oh, no, you're going to fight me. I'm going to assume maybe in this building. <gasps> there it is. I found it. I found it. All right, cool. That's one, one down. Only five more or four more to go for a total of five. Uh, there's also that way we can go. I'm going to see what about here. Let me like these razors. All right. Dig a dig a hole. I am gonna dig this fucking hole. Dig this fucking hole. Dig. Notice from the king. By order of King Durin III, this area of Zikrgzil is shut all uh, is shut to all under penalty a penalty of exile. Huh. Oh, great! And it's fucking nighttime. Great. Uh, these ruins are the markings of the wizard. Wait, no, it's this one. Shadows of Moria. Elven magic. The magic of elves is strong here. Gotcha. So we, uh, so like, I'm wondering if maybe it marks like new biomes or areas. <gasps> what the fuck is that thing? That was a deer. Break it. Break it. I need to see it. I need to see it. Oh. You can charge up your attacks. I gotta let my stamina come back. I mean, I, I feel like I'm not supposed to... How am I? Am I not supposed to go this way? No, I am supposed to go this way. Okay. Do I jump over this? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. There's got to be a way. What about my pickaxe? Maybe pickaxe? <gasps> oh, pickaxe is better. Pickaxe way better. Ah, uh, twenty a piece. Ah, uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh. Elven cover inside Casa Doom. Bust my granite. That's cool. Oh, and the music kicks in. Oh, hell yeah. We got ca cabbage. Cabbage and grapples. Speak friend. Oh, this is fucking cool. And see your own waypoints. Wait, hang on. There's something about waypoints. Open your map and set your own waypoints. After opening M, you can customize waypoints. Toggle waypoint list with F. Okay, so. Uh, oh, and it shows me like the size of the room. So mark my location. Uh, compass and elves quarter. And then what did it say? F to switch. Oh, I can edit. Okay. That's my campsite. Okay. 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 All right. I thought for a second it was like, Hey, you could fast try. I mean, there might be a, oh, are those orcs. Ooh, oh no. 
Wait, yeah, I think those might be orcs down there. Oh, and wolvies, they're here. Yeah, that might be orcs down there, bud. If that is the case, I Over don't. There. What is that? Is what in here? That's cabbage, dude. I gotta eat some food. Fill up on food, or do I, I probably have to cook a meal to be like well fed. All right. Now that I know pickaxe is like way better to break shit down. Oh, there's things on the ground. Okay. Uh, is there anything I can drop? I mean, I want to take all this new stuff. I got a ton of cloth fibers back at the base, so I also have that carving. Was this what you were talking about? <gasps> Another carving. Uh, I wish I had a bigger backpack. Get the carving. That seems like collectible lovely. Seems collectible, bubbly. Oh. Making poopy sounds. Okay. But yeah, also another question. Uh, would you guys want me to play this next, um... Next Tuesday? Because... I would definitely be down to play this again. And maybe we can get some friends on in this. Maybe we can get Margin and if Story has the game. Maybe get a few people together to play this together. Tribe of Saruman's filth. Wait, let me let me read some of this. Uh, these are no normal orcs, but goblin men. Saruman may be gone, but he left a legion of these miserable wretches to despoil Middle Earth. I've seen them driven away from settlements of men, foul as they are. This dark pit must be their last refuge. At least I happily drive them away from Kazadum as well. Uh, let me see. Last night they finally attacked our small encampment. It was not at the sides of the orc cords of legend with waves of relentless broken storm and defenses. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. There's a lot of like lore built into this. And I, and I, I am, I don't mean to like, I just what one thing that irks me in games is this, the notifications. Oh, ow, ow. Ow? Despair? Why am I taking despair? Why am I despairing? Why am I despairing? Why am I taking damage? Food. Why am I despairing? Why am I despairing? What is despair? Why am I despairing? Is that poison? Oh god. Oh god. I might be I might be poisoned. Uh eat it. Eat it. I'm just going to eat all this. Find light to recover. Oh god, I got to find light. Uh Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. No, 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 no. Where's the entrance? Well, 
You know, you know what? You know what? That's not, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, that actually gives us some time to kind of see how the death and the death, the death. And are all my, is all my stuff gone? All my stuff is gone, including my pack. So I have to go back and get my shit. Great. All right. Well, I am liking this though. This is good. This is good. This, this gets my attention. I can only imagine it gets better with friends. So, uh, I probably will obviously when story gets it, we'll play with her. We can also see if margin wants to join us because it's been a while since I played with, um, with margin been a while since I played anything but margin. So that'll be fun to play with him. And I know another one of our newer friends, Heiser, is uh, is also playing it as well. So I think we can get like a little group together. That'd be fun. Oh, yeah. Please don't tell me that's got. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is a horde of fucking goblins. Also, hey Ruby. I'm sorry, Kyoko. Which also, ooh, I have to, I have to change your commands. Let me do that right now. So that way I do not forget to do that. I am so sorry. Uh, Ruby. And we will just change your commands to Kyoko underscore bean and then bean two and then bean three. Uh, so there's one. There's two. And then there is three. Your commands are now officially changed to your new name. Kyoko, there you go. No, 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 never apologize. Never apologize. I'm sorry, I just didn't do it sooner. Usually I'm pretty quick on it where I'll see it and I'm like, hey, let me let me change that. I don't know where those goblins went. I have no idea where they went. We're just gonna we're just gonna free ball it. We went this way. Just gonna eat this raw meat real quick. Uh, but yeah, your new your sound effects are changed to your new name, and uh, hope you're all well. Yeah, we're doing great. We're doing great. I was actually really really excited today. Uh, first time ever doing a simul cast stream, so I'm streaming here and oh. I didn't even see that carving. You know what? Let me go throw this carving in real quick. Um, so we're doing our first ever simul class slash also stream over on YouTube. So hi, YouTube. Hi, I see you. Uh, and we are also checking out this game, which in case you haven't heard, this is the newest Lord of the Rings game called Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. And it is a crafty survival game. And so far, I am really enjoying it. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. It must not come to a family of old. I will return the missing figures. Okay. Honor them. Okay, I'm missing like a few more figures. I gotta go get my shit. But uh and yeah, we we're honestly really enjoying this. We also got this we also got a review copy from Oh my god, please. We got a review copy from the devs through uh, through Rainmaker.gg, which uh, this is my first time using Rainmaker.gg, and uh, gotta say it was not that bad of a process. Okay, this way. I'm gonna grab some mushrooms. But yeah, how's everything going with you, Kyoko? How how's your day been? How's your how's your Tuesday? Uh, all right, well, that wasn't. Oh, what that blue glow was. Identify as that pretty much gonna have surgery at some point. Oh surgery. When when are you going for surgery? 
And if you don't mind me asking, what is the surgery for? If you obviously, if you don't want to talk about it, that is absolutely fine. Ah, nice. Okay, we made it. Okay, so you got to travel back to where you were. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let me see what we can make here. Was there any new blueprints? There's just simple pickaxe, iron. I need to make an iron oh, hammer. Yeah. Especially if I want to start repairing things around in Moria, like the statues and everything. Uh, and we got one of these. We got two more statues. All right. Well, now, now that it's not, pi oh, is that a fucking bear? That's a fucking bear. That is a fucking bear. Ah. All right. Let's go fuck up some orcs. Uh, not sure. Uh, scrub my bones for the osteo myelitis. Myelitis. Well, um, that sounds like it will be a very intensive surgery. So I do wish you luck. And hopefully, hopefully it is a easy process. Shut up, wolves. I'm trying to talk. Maybe we should run back. Too many brainless orcs around. No wonder Saruman made us better. Yeah. Not the men care. Chasing us away from every village. Next goblin I see is getting his brain smashed. I like the hated by other orcs. Goblin men seem to be much hated by the orcs in Moria. They're not only scavenging away any good meat they can get their hands on, but unlike other orcs, they can endure sunlight and do not uh, do not live in caves. Oh. Hello? Get him, lads. Oh, they're goblin men. Oh, they're so big. Oh, my, my, my thing broke. I need a better oh, no, my weapons. I got to punch him to death. You never been yeah. fucking and stay down. Ah. And in a brawl with a dwarf. Yeah, I might need to run back. Oh, chest. Hold on. Orc key. Well, where the fuck do I find an orc key? Where the hell do I find an orc key? I killed, I killed some. Oh wait, those weren't orcs. Those were goblin men, right? So they technically weren't. Technically weren't. Okay, let, let's let's head back because my weapons are all breaking at the seams. Plus, I also would like to get a iron hammer. I'd like to get an iron hammer so I can start doing some uh, some shit. So there's a thing up there too. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll see you. My elitist is my, a bone infection. Yeah, I, I, I had a feeling that's what it was. Also, I believe you have mentioned before, Ruby, some of your health, um, your health issues that you have, health, health complications. Sorry, complications is better. Um, so, uh, yeah. And I know, I know, Osteo usually pertains to bones, if I'm not mistaken, right? Osteo is like the like sub name, like sub medical term, and it usually pertains to like bone related things. Uh, it's like the lottery. The pot keeps getting bigger. Are oh, you guys are talking about Pokemon? Okay. Uh, from my doctor said the surgery is quite big. Oh. Well. 
I'm sure you have a very talented... You just rose out of the ground. Jeez. Where do I got to go? Uh, That way. I'm sure you have a very competent and talented doctor that will, you know, take care of you the whole way. And you're going to have a speedy, speedy, speedy recovery. Oh, my God. This way. Yeah, this way, right? Yeah, because we go through there. Got it, got it, got it. Like it. I feel like we haven't even really... Also, we haven't really scratched the surface for this game. I think, I mean, because... A big thing that from the some of the screenshots that I saw is that like obviously you go deeper down and like there's like these big massive areas. So I don't even think we've like scratched. Please, please, you know what? You you fucking started this, man. I die. Oh my god, you fucking. Oh my god. It's like you get so. You get like just a little close to them and they're like, nope. We hate you now. come to a family of old. I will return the missing figures. Honor them. Didn't I have. I thought I had more. Right? Is that another one? Or maybe I gotta like walk away and then come back. No, I think I that's a dupe. I think that's a dupe. Uh not sure I might have it if the surgeries are not comfortable with it because my body is a uh, fucky wucky with my disability. My body too is fucky wucky, so I feel you on that. I mean, but obviously I I, I get where you're, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. But I, you know, again, just trying to, just trying to stay positive as best I can for you, Ruby. Uh, cause I know surgery or even just anything medical can be like really, really, really scary. You know, where did all my hero tokens go? I had five. Where are those hero tokens? Also, I don't know what any of this is. So I'm just going to dump off all this shit. So how do I how do I repair? Can I repair this stuff? Use repair smithy to mend. Oh, can I make a repair smithy? Increasing crafting. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. The memorial flame. Right, 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 right. This is what it was. Okay. Uh, I don't know what this does, so let's just build it here. Honor. Oh, uh, we can get that hero spirited buff. Okay, okay. And then what about a repair smithy? Do I know? Oh, repair smithy. Because it was getting a little annoying having to just like keep crafting stuff. So we'll throw you there. And then we can then repair pickaxe, repair, repair. Oh, and that's nice. We don't need iron and stuff. So I won't need to like remake the whole entire thing. I can just like, that's actually worth it. That's actually worth it. I also don't know what we're going to use coins for, but I have a feeling we're going to need them eventually. Uh, throw the wood on the wood, the metal fragment in here. I'm just going to start getting more metal fragments. Okay, that we still need black diamond for. Oh, yeah, I wanted to make... I wanted to make a... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I wanted to make a iron hammer. Because we're running into a lot of things that we could fix, but it was saying required a... It required an iron hammer, so... Got it. Um, 
throw you back in here. We got the iron hammer. Are we all a little, a little fucky wucky? I mean, you know, for the most part, you know, sometimes more than others, you know. Well fed. All right. Uh, I guess we'll head back into the... It's turning to nighttime. Is that a... Is that a goblin? You're gonna goblin these nuts? Yeah? I feel like that goblin might have been trying to lead the, the siege onto my base. Because they can't attack your base. But he failed miserably. Uh, anyway, is it okay to message you tomorrow about some idea I had that I want to... Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Send me a message. Uh, I do work during the day. So if I don't get back to you right away, it's probably because I, I actually do have two meetings I got to do. I got to do one with the team member and then I have a one-on-one -on -one with my boss. Um, there's actually a lot of stuff we got to talk about. So uh, if I don't get to you like immediately, I will, I will reply back to you. I just, I feel bad because some people are like, you never messaged me back. And I'm like, I, I had work. <laughs> I work, you know, content creation don't pay the bills right now. That's definitely more goblins. Hang on. I'm having a goblin attack. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. What are you doing? What the fuck do you think you're doing here? This is my domain. Oh, you jumped at me. Keep forgetting I can do charge up attacks. That's fine. Good luck on those. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um recently having some issues at work. It's it's nothing like super, super major or anything like that. But um, yeah, I've been kind of having to put my, you know, big boy manager pants on. And um, you know, really just kind of like a lot of data analysis and trying to figure out like solutions to problems and and you know strategies and everything so as cool as that is it's also just been like a little little stressful in that sense you know hi indigo hi buddy what a good boy yeah you a good boy also have you tried the ghost runner too i did i did um i actually made a youtube video on it actually i forget if that video went out i can tell you in a second did i upload it and then not Sent it out, or did I? I don't know what I did with it. Give me a second. Thank you, Indigo. Thank you for licking my foot. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me take a look. Content on YouTube. Ghost Runner. Uh, oh no. Yeah, here it is. Uh, did that video go out yet? Yeah, it's out. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually did do a recording of the demo. I don't know when this was posted, but if anybody wants to check out that video of me checking out the Ghost Runner 2 demo, which I also did apply for a review key for the game. Um, but if you wanted to kind of get a look at it, that's uh, it's on my YouTube of me trying out the demo. I, I honestly, I liked it. Um... I was having a little bit of like performance issues on the game, but again, I was like, you know, it's a, it's a demo. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's probably needs a little bit of work and polish and everything. So, um, but, um, I, I personally liked it. I was like, you know, I, I, I would like to get the full game. I'm going to see if I can get, um, get a review copy to, to stream or do YouTube, do YouTube video for, you know, uh, let's go ahead and have roasted fruit. 
felt slower and simpler. I didn't like it. Felt devoid of life, unlike the first game. I mean, I could get that. I mean, again, it, it's it's hard to say. Oh, it's daytime. It's hard to say with a demo, only because um, only because like it's sometimes it's not even like the full like final product of the game, right? Like there might be more updates or they might make like a major change and everything. So. I try to take demos with like a grain of salt, um, but it's got some decent reviews right now. Um, I was checking before stream and uh, it's got like an 80 on Metacritic. Uh, I didn't get a chance to see the user reviews or it might actually be too early for the user reviews, but um, I'm probably going to wait a few days and see how it is. But if I can get a review copy, I definitely will stream it or YouTube it. Uh, PC Gamer gave it a 65. What was the uh, what the first one get? See, and especially especially with especially with sequels by the way especially sequels here I'm, I'm leaving the i'm leaving the world only because i do need to go to the bathroom and i also need to put my desk in sitting but the game doesn't pause so that's why i'm just going to the main menu i'm not i'm not done yet i'm not done yet if i'm going any longer i'm probably going to stream like another hour or maybe a little bit more uh hold on one second Hmm. Okay. I didn't like what I just saw. Anyway, uh, gave it a 65. Okay. PC Gamer gave it a 75, a 65, and then uh, they gave one an 81. Oof. That's a, that's a little rough. That's that's a little rough around the edges. <laughs> that's a that's a little little rough. Um. But you know, I I always say, especially like if you if you really liked the first one, right? You really really liked the first game and you were excited about it and everything like that like give it a chance i guess i guess you could say i don't know i always say kind of draw like your own conclusions i i use um i use like um i use like demos as like kind of like a like a stepping stone like is this a game that i'm gonna want to buy and try out and everything instead of like solely basing my whole entire experience just off of that demo right it's like does this interest me does it have cool things that i'm gonna like and everything and then I still wait till the game comes out, check out some reviews, maybe watch a little bit of gameplay if I'm really that hesitant on it and everything. So sadly won't be by. Hey, understandable. If it's not for you, then it's not for you. You know? Uh, all right. Um, all right. I'm going to quickly run to the bathroom. I also got to get this desk into sitting mode because my legs are killing me. And I also got to test my blood. Actually, no, I'll do that really, really quick right now. How is my blood looking? It's also very warm in here. I got both computers going on. See, I don't understand. Why am I why am I at a hundred right now? I don't get it. I don't understand. All right. On that note, guys, gals, and pals, I will be right back. I do need like two to five minutes for a quick pee-pee break. And then once I get back, we're gonna go ahead and jump into some more mine uh return of Moria. We're gonna do some more mining and gobbling these nuts. So uh, I do need a quick potty break. I know we got a lot of people just hanging out, lurking. I also know that a lot of our friends are uh, also streaming. So uh, I do appreciate anybody just hanging out with us, regardless if you're being chatty, lurking, you know, doing other things, but hanging out with us here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, also, if you got any comments on this game so far, would love to hear your feedback. So far, I think this is a pretty solid Lord of the Rings game overall. Not saying that all Lord of the Rings games are bad, but there's been some pretty like eh ones. Um, I think overall, this one so far has been pretty good and has a lot of potential. I like that it's eight player co-op. I like that there is like a story. There's like little side objectives. And then you have to like, you're, you're kind of going into Moria like deeper and deeper and deeper as the story goes. And plus also 40 bucks. Honestly, I, like I said earlier, if I didn't get this review copy for you guys, gals and pals, which again, if you want to go ahead and check out this game, Lord of the Rings, Return to Moria. Uh, it is available exclusively on Epic Games. I, I don't know if it's actually out on console. I'm not 100% certain. But if you got PC and you're interested in it, there you go. Um, and if you are going to be purchasing it, please use my code. And a special shout out to Rainmaker.gg for providing the key. So thank you, devs, for teaming up with Rainmaker.gg to help content creators like me be able to try out your games. So far, I got nothing but nice things to say about it. It's a good game. If, if you like Lord of the Rings, you like crafty survival, it's a game I would recommend uh, so far. So, uh, But uh, guys, guys, and pals, give me like, I don't know, 
two to five minutes. Let me go pee. Let me put my desk into sitting mode. And then once I get back, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and do some more of this. So I will be right back after a quick commercial and potty break. So be right back.
Alrighty, everybody. I am back. Uh, give me one second. Uh, just a few people that I was lurking in on some streams are no longer streaming, so... If you don't know anything about me, I try my best to support others while we are streaming, so... Just quickly, 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 just closing out of those streams. There we go. Okay, that's one person, that's two peeps, and that's three peeps. All right, that's three. One, two, three. All right, cool, cool, cool. Counting them all. All right, don't. Ugh. That scared me. Also, sorry. I had to. I had to check my. <coughs> I had to check my blood sugar. I had to check my blood sugar because it's now at a hundred, but like it's like way after dinner, and I've been standing here, and it doesn't seem like it's gone down, and I'm like, it's weird. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump back into this, only because, only because. It, the, the game the game doesn't stop the game doesn't stop when you hit escape even if you're playing solo so i would like them to add that function because like why else would i hit escape unless i wanted to pause the game you know that's that's just me that's that's just me so uh but i'm gonna go ahead and play offline there we go hey stigma hello stigma how are you doing welcome on in uh, love your shirt almost got one just like it thank you yeah actually you can thank my fiance we were at um was it Target? Did I get it from Target or Walmart? I don't remember. We were at one of those stores and she saw it and she's like, hey, you don't have a lot of like spooktober like stuff. You should you should get this. And I was like, you know what? You're totally right. I'm like, I should. I absolutely should. But how are you doing, Stigma? Welcome on in. And thank you for those who stuck around while I went on my quick break. Um to apologize, sorry, that one was a little bit bigger. I had to let Indy outside, and then I also had to check my blood sugar, and then I was talking about the story about some things. Uh, I think I have some new things I'm going to be adding pertaining to the stream. Some things that I just have been thinking about, and I'm probably going to implement soon. Very soon. So, uh, how dare you not have a... Well, she didn't mean it, like, in a bad way. She didn't mean it in a bad way. She meant it in a way of, like, hey... Let's 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 get more spooky stuff for you, and I, I'm totally down for it. Especially because someone who is very much into uh, like Spooktober and spooky stuff and everything, I'm like, I I should have more things because I'm all about this month. So, uh, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, we're checking out this game, uh, which I don't know if you've heard about this or not, but this is. Return to Moria, uh, which just came out today, and I was nicely uh, given a review key from the developers through a site called Remaker.gg, and I'm trying it out, and uh, it's a crafty survival game in Lord of the Rings, uh, and uh, so far it's actually really, really good. I'm like, I'm like very, very picky when it comes to crafty survival games. Very, very picky. They really got to kind of get my attention. And uh, so far, this has enough, enough stuff uh, to like get my attention, you know. But yeah, otherwise, otherwise, I'm good. It's also been a very, very busy day, so I'm glad that we're just able to like kind of kick back and relax. Okay, this is the thing that I was looking at. I need stone. Can I just get stone from this? I need twenty stone, or ten stone. That's five. That's ten. Okay, so if I use our hammer, there we go. Hell yeah. I like Lord of the Rings stuff, so interesting. Yeah, I can tell you a little bit about it. Um, 14 raided my stream with 15 hey, views. Sandy! Oh my goodness, Sandy! Oh, if we repair these statues, we get blueprints. I'm sorry, I just, I just realized something, and I need to do more of this. Okay, uh, Sandy, hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for that beautiful and wonderful raid. 
thank you so much, Sandy and crew. Welcome on in. How are you doing? Oh my goodness. Love that raid chant. What a what a popping raid chant that is. Oh, and I love the little spooky emotes. Oh my god, that little bongo cat has a little witch's hat. Is that your emote, Sandy? I absolutely love that. Um, are there any moderators that could please give Sandy Coco a, a shout out? And chaotic! Oh my goodness! Double raid! Chaos and Meowhem combined for a forceful raid of love. Oh my god, I love that. This was a planned double raid. I swear. Thank you so much, Chaotic, and also Sandy for... I'm going to do it again. I got to do it again. Thank you both of you for that beautiful and wonderful raid. Thank you so much, Sandy and Chaotic Seekers. Love the name, Chaotic. Uh, thank you so much for both of you for the raids and welcome on in. Chaotic, I don't think we've met you before. I know Sandy. Sa Sandy has raided us before and I believe we've... Man, I feel like we've raided you, at, raided you at least once. Or you're on my radar to raid because you've raided us twice now, I believe. Or maybe three times. Uh, but let me start at the top. I'm so sorry. I just want to make sure that I say hey to everybody who came along with the raid. Uh, and uh, Stigma, if you want to hear a little bit about this game, I can explain uh, a little bit about the game as well. Um, but, uh, Sandy, thank you again so much for the raid and welcome on in clear, clear lint, clear lint. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. Welcome on in danger. May. Hey, I remember may. Hi, may. Hi, clear, uh, chaos and Meowhem come on stigma. Were you, were you scouting? I feel like you were scouting. Were you scouting for Sandy here? <laughs> I feel like you were scouting. Uh, but, uh, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Love that rate. I love that emote. Uh, I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, hold on. Uh, hi, how's it going? It's going good. It's going good. I'm sorry. I'm catching up with chat here. Uh, KSM, yeah, I'm chaotic. And also Matness, welcome on into both of you. Thank you so much for coming in with the raids. Yes, I love that bongo cat with the witch's hat. It's so fucking cute. Ah, where'd you get it from? Did you, did you like commission somebody for that emote? That's so fucking cute. I love it. Uh, no planning at all. It just came naturally, right? It was a natural raid. Uh, guys, welcome on in both of our raiders. Please, please, please. Welcome on in both of our raiders. Welcome on into the both of you. I'm a friend of Sandy. Well, hey, listen, any friend of Sandy is more than welcome here. So thank you so much for coming in. And also thank you so much for the follow as well, Chaotic. Chaotic, I got to drop you a follow. Hang on. Listen, you're a friend of Sandy. You came in and you raided us. You dropped us a follow. I got to drop you a follow back. Let me drop you a follow back. Uh, because I'm a firm believer in streamers got to support streamers. And if you're friends with Sandy, you must be awesome. So thank you so much for the follow. And you guessed it. You just became a member of the Beard Zone. Um, so thank you so much. Thank you. There are goblins a a approaching me. I, I, I need to tab back in. There are goblins approaching me. This is not a goblin these nuts joke. I have goblins approaching. Hold on. I got I got I got to fight them. Oh. Uh, we were playing some hunt showdown. Nice, nice. How 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 did your hunt matches go? How 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 were they? And also chaotic. Are you new to hunt? Because I know last time Sandy came in, Sandy actually came in with stigma, and uh, they were both explaining how they were both uh, new new to hunt showdown. So are you also new to hunt showdown? Uh, <laughs> blame stigma. Wait, we're blaming stigma. Why are we blaming stigma? Uh, a wonderful friend. Uh, I was lurking slash scouting. Just wanted to make sure you weren't ending. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I I had to I had to go let my dog out. Uh, I had to go let my dog out, and I also had to go test my blood sugar, and I also wanted to get my. Can you not? I'm talking to chat. You weird boar thing. Um, I had to also go and test my blood sugar, go to the bathroom and stuff. So, uh, stigma was up to no good. Uh, I found out Etsy. I love it. Actually, our our sub uh our sub badges I found on Etsy. Uh, and that was also a thing to my fiance. She was like, "Yeah, I found these sub badges," and then I started looking with her, and I'm like, "I want those. Those look amazing." Chaotic seeker <laughs> sus. Uh, can I say your beard is incredible? Thank you, chaotic. Thank you so much. I appreciate. It. I I listen. I don't have a lot going on up here inside and obviously on my head so i gotta i gotta you know make a count where where it's available you know also i hear i hear orcs in the distance but thank you for that uh addicted to hunt you know yeah i believe me i know i know uh it's killing Look. me i normally play hunt on like fridays um but we actually got invited to a uh, a cool little halloween thing 
and uh we're actually gonna be I i'm canceling stream friday so i can go to this halloween thing which i'm really really excited for honestly so uh played hunt about two years ago took some time off and sandy and sigma got me curious and how are you liking it so far especially from two years ago there's probably a lot of things that you were noticing that are like different uh, Chris, we're going to have to start a D's nuts jar. My soul hurts with the amount of D's nuts. Listen, well, then goblins should stop coming at me from the fucking dark. If they stop coming at me from the dark, then I'm going to... I'll stop making... Oh, no. I got to fight these guys again. God damn it. Uh, going to go D stream, catch those Z's. Have a great stream. Sandy, thank you so much for coming in and raiding us. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, means a lot. Um, oh, you know, quick introduction before I go fight these, these not goblins. So no D's nuts joke. Quick introduction. Hi, my name is Chris. I go by Chris, Chris X, Chad, Chad, Crad, that beard guy, that ball guy, the guy with a non-function pancreas. Yes, I'm a diabetic. And this here is the beard zone. It's, it's a place where we have a deep love and appreciation for beards, but never fear. Beards are never required. Uh, you don't even need to like a beard to be here in the beard zone. Uh, I am a variety streamer which you probably have heard from other streams, but uh, where I'm different from other variety streamers is that I kind of organize different days with different genres. So Monday is Solo Quest Monday. Tuesdays is Co-op Tuesdays. Well, no, I'm sorry. Solo Quest Monday. Team Up Tuesdays is Tuesdays. Friday is Fight Night Fridays, which you can usually catch us playing Hunt. Hunt's like one of our mainliner games that we, you know, rotate in and out. Uh, and then uh, Sundays uh, are... Um, or co uh no they're uh, uh this is all new terms i kind of changed the name of our days it's game buffet sunday where we can play we play whatever the heck we want there's there's no rhyme or reason so to speak so uh that is a giant deer in the distance i don't know if it's friendly or not uh but yeah uh chaotic please tell us about yourself would love to hear about you what do the chaotic seekers like to do T tell us about like your community and and things you like to do um Good night, Sandy. Yeah, good night, Sandy. Thank, thank you again so much. So much. I have to fight these guys. I have to fight these these goblin men. I think they're... Yeah, they're goblin man. Okay, yeah, they were actually really hurt. Oh, these guys got bows. What the hell? Ugh. Uh, no, if you can turn the air on. Because the window doesn't help. Thank you. What? Uh. That's all you got? Hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta fight these guys because they are... Oh, Orky! <gasps> they didn't drop one of these last time. I also might have destroyed that. Oh, what is this? Sapphire coins. I got another statue and what is this? Iron ore. Okay. Not a, not a bad haul. Not a bad haul at all. Uh, I will need to rebuild this because uh, I would like to get a war axe. Uh, what an intro. I'm Chris. That is a big, <laughs> is that, a, is that what we took away? That was our takeaway. My name is Chris. That's a big deer. <gasps> no, come back. Oh no, not wolves. Oh my God. I got it. I got to eat something. Uh, let me just cram some, some mushes down my, my gullet here. I, I was standing here. I didn't do anything. It just ran away. Hold on, I have to I have to deal with this real quick. These wolves are means. I'm gonna die. I am going to die. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wolves can't climb. Wolves can't climb. <gasps> no! No! Okay, okay. Um they made oh, there's four of them now. Nope, 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 not today. Not today. <laughs> not not today, wolves. Not today. I learned my lesson last time. 
Um, is there anything that I have that can heal me? I really would like more inventory. I really, really would. My, my poor... Look how sad my man... <laughs> my poor Chris X beard. He's so sad. I feel so bad. Man, these wolves are... Oh, that wolf's a double wolf. That, uh... Yep, that's a double wolf. That's two wolves that have morphed somehow into a mega wolf. Um, I hate that. I guess. Into, yeah, because I, I, so listen, hear me out. I love Lord of the Rings, but my fiance love is like the aficionado on Lord of the Rings. So I've been asking her whenever she has a chance to pop in chat when I have questions and she oh, answers them. God. Do what you want. Pull the plug. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thanks for that, Dillers. Uh, but yeah, I mean, look, it, uh, this game is so pretty, by the way. Does it, does anyone have any questions about the game? I'm sorry. We're, we're doing a review of this game. We got a review copy from the developers. Are you kidding me? Wait a I minute. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. Okay. I did not. The Wolf Brigade is oh, leaving, heart. finally. Also, I don't know how I'm supposed to get my health back. Do I just keep eating mushrooms? Okay, there we go. Dillers, you don't you don't have to do that, man. I, I appreciate it, but you don't have to do that. They're coming back. The freaking wolves are coming back. No. No. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Get out of here, wolves. Uh, but I'm sorry, I'm Chris as well. Hey, a fellow Chris! Nice to meet you, fellow Chris. I stream for the sole purpose to make someone smile whenever I go live. Aw, that's that's awesome. Uh, I play whatever is feeling good that day. I do love me some indie horror. Love, love horror. Love indie games. Big, big things here in the beard zone. Uh, Devour. I haven't played Devour in a very, very long time. And also Boomin. Hey, I, actually, we, we played that with one of our good friends, uh, Jess. Uh, she very, very, she loves Boomin. And she actually got me and my fiance Boomin to play with her. We played like once or twice. It was definitely a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, also love me open world games, but honestly play whatever feels good. And Hey, listen, that is honestly the way that it should be, uh, playing what you feel rather than playing. What's like the next fork knife as, as, as my example always goes, don't ever, don't ever do it because you see like, Oh, I see, I see, you know, big man ninja and ninjas playing fork knife. And he's got so many viewers like that is never a reason to do it. Streaming should be, I mean, you know, you, you do you, but streaming should always be something of passion because you are passionate about content creation and everything. It should never be from a place. Also, hold on. Uh, here, here's my favorite feature about the game. You get to sing as you mine. through ancient halls where rooted veins of mithril true. Like man, I'm missing. I'm missing. Will line the walls below the mountains three and tall? Life in the halls that stand apart. I've never beheld my casa doom, but know the road I'll take by heart. Ha! Okay. I can't get up there, and I don't feel safe. And the fact that we just got that is not a good thing. We're probably going to have orcs come in to attack us or uh, goblins. So uh, I need two more stones. That's awesome. I love the doors. Me too. Me too. And actually, believe it or not, this game also, I don't know if anybody is a Lord of the Rings fan here. Uh, Gimli. They actually got the voice actor slash actor who played Gimli in the original trilogy in the game. I need a steel hammer. Okay, well, I should probably head back to base because I am very, very hurt and uh, one more hit and I'm like dead. So I'm going to run back also because it's early evening. Uh, no, I 100% agree with you. It's about enjoying the vibe more than anything. If the streamer enjoys the game. Yeah, exactly. Because people pick up on that shit. Um, people, people pick up on that. They'll see that you're not enjoying a thing. And, you know, usually, you know, this is just what I find in my travels on Twitch. Shut up, orcs. Uh, usually people will like tune in for the game. Sure. They want to, they want to see a specific game or, or a thing that you're doing. Um, uh, but then they usually stay for the person. And if you're <laughs> not like, if your personality is bad, well, I mean, obviously like if, you know, 
personality's bad. Oh, rats. I was like, what's happening? Who's coming to attack us? Uh, but like, you know, if like you're not vibing with it, people, people will read into that. People will see that, see that you're not enjoying it. And it might, you know, are you coming after me goblins? Okay. They are coming after me. I gotta go. And people will pick up on that kind of stuff. They definitely will. No way. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. This game is really, really cool. Um, yeah. So Gimli is in it. I think I, I meant to check on my break to see because I think this I, I know for a fact that this takes place after the original Lord of the Rings trilogy um, and uh, Gimli is I, I did read like a little blurb Gimli is pretty old he's old dwarf and uh, basically he's looking to reclaim Moria so he launches this like expedition and reaches out to all of these different like dwarf clans and says hey I want to, I want to retake Moria, um, meet here and, and let's do it together, essentially. Uh, ooh, statue. Hold on. I'm trying to get an ax. <gasps> ooh, armor. Okay. So I need to, I need to fix all of these statues. If we see a statue, that is priority number one, because I do need some armor. I need armor real, real bad. I think that is going to be our next goal here. Bye, Ratty. Go, Rat. Go, 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 go. But, um, yeah, no. I'm, I'm also a firm believer in, like, streamers got to support streamers. Not like that, like, follow for follow shit, because that shit is just, like, that's a little gross. But uh, I'm a firm believer in that, like, you know, we're all content creators, and we're all trying to do this thing. And, you know, we should be able to help support each other and support each other's dreams and goals and stuff. And I also do like that one of your goals is uh, to make people smile. That is something that, you know, a, like, you know, I still to this day try to do. Um, I still to this day try to do. And that was actually like an initial thing that got me into streaming. I thought that, you know, me and my friends were like entertaining and... I've always loved to like help people regardless if it's just making them smile for like a dumb joke or something stupid that I I did or, or whatever. Um, you know, it's always it's always been a goal or a thing, you know, people's happiness. So I find that I find that very com co It's a good thing. Good 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 feature. Good feature. <laughs> Sorry. I'm really wishing that we No, oh, no goblins, right? Okay. No goblins. We're good. We're good. That's a lot of iron ore. I'm full up on iron ore. Actually, real quick, I am going to mark here. Mark my location. Uh, ore. There we go. All right. I got to get I got to get back to base cuz nighttime in this game is freaking dangerous. Oh! <gasps> Statue. Uh, iron hammer. I can make gloves. Nice. Oh my god! Finally, I was like, I like where I haven't found a recipe to. I haven't found a recipe to like build anything yet. Uh, that's not that way. Base is not that way. We gotta go that way. Reporting streamers keeps people in good spirits, especially in tough times. Absolutely, absolutely. And I've seen so many bad cases. I mean, maybe not as much lately, but. What is that telling me about my health? Uh, I've seen so many like bad cases of like content creators just kind of like shitting on other content creators. No, 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 no. Goblins. No, 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 no. I need to get back to base. Nope. Nope. Oh my God. Yo, listen, if I die, if I die in my base, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with it. And there's only two of them. I could probably handle them. I 
knew it. I knew I was going to die. I knew it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, what I was saying was I, I've seen way too many cases of like content creators like banning somebody for coming into their chat and using somebody else's emote. Just one one example of something real, real dumb. Like that to this day still baffles my freaking mind that there are people that do that. Like why? Like we should celebrate that kind of stuff. We should celebrate when like a content creator shows us like, or somebody else, you know, it just baffles my mind that there's people like that because they didn't use my, my, my thing. Fuck them. Cool. Okay, torch. Uh, I need more stone. I need only a little bit of stone. I need like eight. Oh, nice. Actually, that was a decent amount of stone. That should actually be enough. Oh, nope. Not enough. That should put us at enough. Cool. Okay, that's not cool. I love seeing people's... Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, I haven't seen that particular, like, gross, like, response in a while. But I remember the first time that I saw it, I actually witnessed it in, like, a chat. Like, I was there. And then I saw, like, some clips that, like, someone showed me. And I was like, what the hell? Like, what is wrong with people? Like, how could you do that? Uh, don't have any carvings. So we're going to run back. Just baffles my mind, you know? Like, I could understand if someone came in and spammed, like, you know, a bajillion, you know, like, a bajillion emotes. That I get. But, like, if it was just someone coming in and they used, like, like a, a few emotes of theirs and, and, and then they, or someone else's and... It just, it just comes off, like, so, like, greedy, I guess is the word. Uh, let's go ahead and just craft all the iron in the world. Here we go. Uh, all right. I know my base looks very, very pathetic, guys, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh. Oh, yeah. Uh, forging. Uh, we can make an iron war axe, which I am going to do that right now. And I am also going to make the gloves. Cool, cool, cool. All right. And we're going to go ahead and eat our food. And how do I equip this? On my hands. Nice! Gloves! Oh, that's so nice. Finally. I also don't know what to do with the sapphire. Uh, oh, that's where it was. It was in this box. Uh, okay, this is another statue that does not work. Uh, that's some iron. That's stone. From the shadows. Uh, keep it on the stream. Must head off to bed for the night. Hey, listen, Chaotic. It was a pleasure hanging out with you. I do appreciate you hanging out with us, chatting with us and everything. Thank you again so much for coming in and raiding us. I will make sure to do my best to stop by and check out your stuff. Um, you sound like a very, very pleasant content creator and you got some good vibes. Uh, so I will definitely do my best to stop on by and come check out the Chaotic Seekers. Uh, but again, thank you so much uh, for coming in and raiding us tonight. I really, really do appreciate it. And I do hope that you have a great night. Get plenty of rest. And uh, please, please take care. Please take care. Thank you. Uh, I'm so sorry, by the way, if I am getting a little distracted here with this. Uh, this game's just got a lot of stuff, and I am running solo for the sake of reviewing the game. This game's a lot of fun, guys. Uh, let's see. Iron can go here. Uh, I'm going to grab, like, a bunch of rocks. Just a bunch of rocks. We'll take 47. Uh, I don't probably need... I don't need those. Wood's always nice to have. We got some more coins. We can throw those in there. I can actually use that to make... Make more. There we go. Okay. Make some more iron. Because I would like to get full iron gear. That's a, that's a goal. That's a plan. 
Uh, but I think before we do anything else, let us go ahead and rest because fuck the nighttime in this game. It sucks. And also, before I do anything, I'm actually curious on the time frame on this game. I know it takes place after the original trilogy, but I want to know how long. Uh, return to Moria. When does it take place? Uh, Lord of the Rings. Review in progress. What if I search up the word years? Okay. Um, here's, here's a little synopsis. Cause I was actually curious about this. Uh, if you played in a survival game, oh no, that's in the last 15 years. No. I know I saw somewhere where it talked about like the lore behind the game and how many years and like a whole bunch of other stuff and everything, but I can't seem to find it right now. I don't know if anybody knows. If you don't, that's absolutely fine. But I'm just more personally curious on like how many years is this taking place since everything that happened in the original trilogy? All right, I'm going to eat this food and then actually, no, while we're doing this, let's go ahead. We'll repair, repair, repair. We're going to eat this food and then I am on statue building quest um, because I would really like, I would really, really like us to be able to uh, get armor and stuff. I would also really like a better backpack, <laughs> like really badly. The fact that like this is all you can carry in this tiny backpack, it's just frustrating. Actually, you don't even have any. You have the hot bars. The hot bar on the bottom is like your pockets, I guess you could call it. Oh, I think I got a little bit more stamina. Actually. Uh, but there's got to be more statues that I missed down here. So, uh, that is what we are going to do. We're going to go look for more statues that we can fix on up. Statue hunting. I'm going to check each of these cells. I know there was also... Oh, there's one. There is one. And number six. And fix. Oh, armor! Oh my god, I should just run back and go make that. You know what? I'm running back. I think those are also wolves over there. Dude, see, the game, the game never even really explained that. It never told me that, hey, if you fix up stuff, you'll get... So, like, so I'm wondering, like, what if I fix up these things? Like these other forges and and stuff like if do i if i fix these up will i get blueprints for things also there are so many rats around here please get out of here like the only way that i guess i'm gonna find out is if i uh go ahead and uh and do it but i want that armor so let us go over here also another thing you don't have to pull things out of the inventory it just automatically pulls shit out Beautiful. Uh, all right. We got chest plate. I just need the boots and the helmet. Oh, oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. The little, the little jingle of the chain mail. That's going to drive me nuts eventually, but I'm cool with it. those wolves those are wolves okay how much did that damage my armor ooh Ooh. Okay, so uh, durability is a little rough. 
But nothing we can't handle. All right, I'm, assu I'm assuming that since this is like the first area, that there are probably some, there are probably some areas where there are more statues. Like you, we probably can get like all iron gear by repairing the statues in this area. Okay, we fixed that statue. Oh, I know where this is. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Let's go back this way. Because I think we can go in over here. Also, Chad, if you see any, if you see any of those little statues, let me know. Oh, I think there was one in here. Unless I have to repair this big one. I gotta destroy this. Nope. I guess we just check every every nook and cranny. Just to see if there is a statue around here. But yeah. I mean also as my as my title says uh my my question for chat is this is, is this an actual good movie game and uh so far so far i'm gonna say yes my answer so far from what we've played and what we've experienced so far is that yes it is a good movie game the game does a good job oh there's a statue the game does a really good job at making you feel like you're actually like in moria and also with the lore and everything, there's like tons of lore, like always around. I need a better weapon for this. Better weapon for it? You have an axe. Rebuild. Okay, that gave me nothing. There is also. This area over here. Oh, I think I see a statue up ahead. I don't think I've been over here, actually. <gasps> Have not been over here, and I see a statue. And an Emic Sight. Oh, I just got coin from it. Okay. Hero's token. Where does this lead? Oh, whitey, dig in a hole. Okay, this is a new room. I was also saying it to our chats earlier. I just can't wait to like see what kind of like big bad monsters that they're going to add. Like there's obviously like a ball rock somewhere, right? Like they can't have us in Moria and they're no ball rock. Uh, what is this? Is this just the statue? Huh. Okay, this is a whole new area. And my torch has gone out. I thought that rat was going to attack me. Um... There is also a thing over there, but you know what? We're just going to build a quick platform. Where 
goes some stuff over this way. <gasps> oh, I can plant things? Oh, that's nice. So there is planting. Okay. So for any farm lovers in the chat, there is farming in the game. Become a mush farmer. <laughs> I retire from my years and years in the mines. I am now moosh farmer. I live with the mo mooshes. Oh, let me see. Should I sing? I have to. I have no choice. Divine of water fresh. Like nectar to my soul will spring. I'll glimpse inside the mirror, mirror. The seven stars that crown my king. Below the mountains, three and tall. Like pillar dolls that stand apart. I've never beheld my casa doom. But know the road, I'll take my heart. I wonder why the singing gives us orc frenzy. I really want to know. Okay. I would imagine that it's just the, the, the orcs don't like... They don't like us singing. They don't like... They don't like the dwarves singing. How am I looking on inventory here? Uh, beep bop, boop, 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 beep, beep, bop. Um, we don't need the hide. I think I'm going to say let's, let's go with iron. Oh my God. There's so much iron. Oh, I dug so much that I dug behind that building <laughs> so i think i think this area that we're in is like just like a little offshoot of um of the area that we were looking around and i think we might have gotten all of the armor and and things like that i i this is going to be hard not to play this game on stream it is going to be very very difficult to play this game on, on only on stream um Especially if we start playing with like story and margin or other people, if we get other people involved in everything. So I uh, can't promise that I'm going to be playing this strictly on stream. Oh my God, are we full up yet? I'm done. I'm done. That's enough. Because we still need to head back. What's up here? All right. I'm also curious what's down here. I'm afraid I'm going to go into one of these houses and it's just going to be Balrock. Fight now. Okay. No, I can't. Okay. All right. Well, I think this is what we'll do. Let's head back. We'll head back to base. Uh, actually, no, wait. Before we head back to base, I do want to see one thing. I know we planted our mushes here. But I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just curious if we, if we break this farm patch. Okay, I broke the, um. I broke the uh, farm patch. Okay, never mind. I was going to say maybe if I like break it, then like, oh my God, wolves. Then my character's like, oh, you know, I know how to do, you know how to do that now. Hello, wolves. Are you? No. Oh, 
Oh my God. That is so much easier. Oh my God. I have been doing the combat the wrong way the whole entire time. All right. So I think what we'll do, we'll head back to base. We'll drop this off. I think the next place we like have to go to is the elves quarters. And I think the reason is because like this was all that was available in here because every single time I've like, looked at like the, um, like I've gotten statues now, I'm only getting gold coins. So I think the only way to like progress and get more better like equipment and stuff is if we progress in like the new newer biomes and everything. That's a random rock. I'm also just kind of wondering like what other secrets. Maybe there's like more secrets and I'm just missing out on all these secrets and everything, you know? All right. We'll head back. We'll go ahead and like do the crafting and everything. I got a lot of iron and everything. So. Also, hello, Margin. Margin, I know what you were playing, my dude. I know what Margin was playing. Margin, I already, dude, I was already going to ask you um after stream i was gonna actually ask maybe we get like a little crew together i'm probably gonna get this for story don't tell her and um i know there were a few friends who were also thinking about possibly getting the game i actually had one of our newer friends um hey uh hazer hazer was asking about playing tonight uh but margin and crew thank you so much oh my god i'm lost uh no this way this is the way uh, Margin and crew, thank you so much for that beautiful and wonderful raid. Thank you so much, Margin and crew, for that raid. And we'll come on in, you Marginites. How's it going, Margin? How are you liking the game? Virtual titty way. <laughs> what? Um, thanks, Dillers. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude. Uh, we'll have to see if we can get a little crew together. Because I, th I story confirmed we can do up to eight player co-op, man. Okay, that's what I wanted to see if we could build. I, do, I don't have steel ingot, sh shenair. I don't have that. I don't have that at all. Uh, but thank you for the shout out for Dillers. Or Dillers, thank you for the shout out for Margin. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, how are you liking it? The sieges area, area, area is a little frustrating, but I'm enjoying it so far. I feel you on that. I, I've only had one so far. And I think the way that I'm... I think the way that I'm kind of ca uh, countering the sieges is by killing the goblins on my way back and like back and forth. Sieges are. No, no, no. I, I, I knew what you meant, man. I knew what you meant. Don't worry. Don't worry. I knew what you meant. Uh, I do like how you can deposit shit and then you you will just automatically use it if it's like readily available oh my god that's a lot of iron look at all that iron baby but yeah this this see i agree with you the sieges are a little annoying but like i guess that promotes you to like build up your base right like i'm sure like we're gonna probably get like defenses and barricades and and stuff like that so it's like kind of promoting like hey like don't just leave your base wide open for any goblin these nuts to attack you you know oh yeah no dude I, I i thought about it but i'm so focused on just trying to get like better gear and everything i'm like i'll get to it eventually i'm like i'll, I'll get it to i'll get to it eventually sure enough i'm sure something bad is gonna happen also why do i have all, why does this meat keep coming back in my inventory uh i'm gonna take the iron out of here and put the meat in here i'm trying to keep this as like a i don't know what i'm trying to keep this as yeah oh do you want me to tell you how to get the armor because they do not explain it to you at all would you like me to tell you because i literally just found out by chance because i was curious about a thing i only have a chest piece and gloves okay all right so uh i'll hear you know I'll, I'll show you in a second let me let me just finish doing this because it's probably better if i show you uh let me just do this i'll add some more in here and then it's nighttime, so i'm gonna take a little sleepy yeah, so there there are these statues, right? They're like like 
they're a little bit taller than you, but they're destroyed. You might you might have bumped into them or you may have not even noticed them, but they're like destroyed. If you walk up to them, it prompts you, hey, 10 stone and an iron hammer to fix it. Um, if you fix them, you get pieces of the blueprint to, to make stuff. Um, the gloves took two. I also got an iron war axe. And then, um, and then one, uh, yeah, right. They don't tell you that at all. So I was like, all right, like, well, that would have been nice to know like sooner. Cause I would have like prioritized that. Uh, but they don't tell you shit. I was like, what the hell? I'm like, how do they not tell you that? Like that, that, that should have, that should have been like number one. Cause I feel like a lot of people would have been like, oh, I'm going to go fucking get that shit. I want the better gear. I'm uh, just going to throw you in there. I'm keeping you guys on me. Yeah, I mean, well, the, I mean, you know, it, it was good, but I feel like they could have expanded on it. Like there was a very point where it's just like tutorial done. You're in the game. There wasn't like this like gradual like, OK, I'm now finally at a tutorial area. It's like they just like literally were like, all right, you're in the thick of it, you know? Yeah, the armor helps, but uh, just stock up on scrap metal, and I would definitely make the repair smithy. Everything in the repair smithy requires um, requires the metal scraps. You need the metal scraps to fix shit. You know, I'm going to keep the iron on me, actually, because I think, if I recall, we might need that. Might need that for the next area, but yeah, I'll show you what one of the statues look like. Also, our worlds may not be the same because it's uh, it's uh, seed generated. It's seed generated, so your world might be completely different. But I have I have a statue like right over here, so I can show you real quick. Uh, I did that. Just need to make hammer now. Luckily, I made like twenty ingots. Yeah, I mean they're pretty they're pretty gracious with the. Okay, yeah, there's a statue right there. So this thing. I came up to it and it was like all crumbled. Like you could see like the gray pieces, but they were all broken. So I just walked up to it and then it prompted me iron hammer and 10 stone to fix it. And I fixed it. And then I got a blueprint piece for my gloves. Um, and it looks like that you can get three things in this like first area. And then you need to progress into the next biome uh, in order to get the next like stage of blueprints, which we're, we're going to go check out right now. Okay, I've seen those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, I didn't think anything of them. Like, oh, cool. Like, you can rebuild, like, Moria. Like, that's that's cool. But I didn't realize, like, no, you want to get gear to survive in this harsh-ass environment. No, you need to go and take care of those statues. Because otherwise, you're going to be running out here naked. Oh, here's another one. Okay. I'm curious if this one we're going to get anything. Because... I got the axe, the gloves, and the chest piece. Yeah, all I got was a coin. All I got was coins. Okay, so first area. Oh, you can. there's only three things to get. I want to ask if you've seen something, but I don't want to ruin a surprise. Was it the elves' quarter? Because that's where we're, we're about to step into. Actually, this is the first statue that I did. It was this one right here. And I was just like, oh, cool. What was that? Oh. I'm going to grab some metal fragments. Dude, it's so pretty. And the music that kicks in, the music that kicks in when you enter into this area, I was like, oh, I was like, they did a good job on this. Actually, yeah, I actually didn't look around. Actually, can I fix this statue? <gasps> Hold on. Wait a minute. Monument to raise Durin spirits. That monument history and honor is rebuilt drives away the darkness. So I love the singing. Oh, it's so good. The world was young, the mountains green, no stain yet on the moon. I love it, dude. Like, especially when you can sing and mine. Okay. Okay. That's awesome. That is very, very cool. And I don't mean to, like... 
our guy's songs are ridiculous. We may have picked the most annoying. I see. I thought I picked the most annoying voice, but I don't think I did. Also, I've never been up here. Is this just like a fuck hallway? This is just a fuck hallway. All right. Fucking rats. All right. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. It's just a fuck hallway. Yeah, it's just an ass alley. Yeah, but dude, wa walking into this area, man, it's just like, it's, it's beautiful, dude. And those deer. It's quiet. I see prey ahead. Also, there's that giant bear, which I still haven't fought because I know it's going to fuck me up. So I refuse to fight the giant deer. All right. I can now finally progress into this room because I keep getting over here. Oh, dear. Oh, hello, dear. You're so pretty. Bye. Oh, here we go. There's another statue here. Uh, but I need a steel seed. Now I need a steel hammer in this area. And I don't know. Maybe that's steel up there. You know, since this is like technically the next like biome. Just the ones with now antler. Yeah. I mean, it's all, it's all fucking pretty, dude. Let's see if this is steel. This might be steel. Iron ore. Okay, no, that's iron. No, I'm good. I'm good on singing. Steel is iron plus coal. Wait, how did you know that? How did you... Did you get the recipe for it? Because I haven't been able to make steel. I haven't been able to get over here because I keep bumping into the uh, the goblin men. And another statue. There's another seal. Man. Oh, we need a better furnace. Okay. I probably I might have missed that in the journal. May have missed it. I'm sure it has to do with those goblins that are uh, the goblin men that are in the center of this area. Oh, look, another statue. When they stacked. That means, oh, there's another statue. I don't know what to do with these, even though I, I've, I've deposited these. Uh, what is over here? That's where we get the orc key from. I thought one of the guys dropped it. Okay. Also, Margin, I think destroying those totems. I need the axe. Dude, uh, charge your attacks, man. I didn't realize that you could charge your attacks, and I did it by accident. And, dude, you do so much more damage. Like, watch this. Ready? Well, I mean, obviously, I got the, the Iron War Axe, which is better, but, like, dude, charge your attacks. Oh, there's another statue in the middle there. Charge them, dude. You will you will make so much more damage. You will do so much more... What is this? I feel like that is a spawner. Oh, thingy over there. 
fuck up these guys real quick. What are these? And stay down. Swim? I, I think it's filthy dwarves about. Oh, squash those bearded maggot brains. I do like the voice acting though. <laughs> That's all you got. I think I think destroying these margin also like despawns the bad guys. So uh what is what is this thing? What is this thing? This looks like a thing. Oh lot of statues in here yes yeah. so i so i think we need to get that next level uh that next level furnace which maybe we just need maybe it's just as simple as there goes my torch maybe it's just as simple as getting to like the mines like this mission that we have maybe if we just get there we'll get the next furnace because that's like our next like objective so i'm just gonna, i'm just gonna push forward Right, because I can't do that. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Oh. Here's the mine entrance. Those are more oh, goblins. Maybe we can get into the old mines. Find a way back onto Durin's highway from there. All right, cool. Uh, forge a steel pickaxe. There we go. Uh, find a great forge hot enough to make this stronger tool. So I'm wondering if it's in here, maybe. Uh, okay. So now, now we need, now we need the pickaxe. Yeah. Okay. See, I, I haven't really ventured in here, so I didn't know. Like literally my first time like venturing in here so I'm like dude 61 I'm like really hoping that I just open one of these boxes and it's like there you go but yeah see my armor it goes down fast man I mean it is also like beginner armor essentially so you know not go up there okay all right so those guys are gone what is in here an <gasps> elven forge in an elven hall within Khazadum <laughs> Must be rubble in my eyes. Yeah. All right. All right. So here's the forge. Need a replacement crank. I'll light all these torches. Right. Light them all. Light them up. Light them up. Oh. 
Oh, we just put it together. Okay. Also, yeah, how are you doing? Can do with some music? Yeah. Well, it's funny that you say that because uh, as you mine, you can sing. As you mine, you can sing. I do like we're like building it though. That's that's kind of cool. Boop. That was weird. And there has there has been music. You just happen to be here at a time when there's none. How do I Old. Do I wait? Do I need to make new pieces? Hmm. Oh, oh, what is that? That is another piece up there I gotta find. All right, let's look around. Let's look around. Cool. Heiser, hey, I was talking about you, man. My stream with four views. Heiser and crew. Thank you so this much for that beautiful and wonderful raid. Thank you so much, Heiser and crew, for that raid. Heiser, how the heck are you doing and how are you liking Return to Moria? It's pretty good. It's pretty. I'm liking it. Also, I didn't realize, Heiser, it's also eight player co-op, so we can get like a nice little crew together. Uh, King Sammy, what is going on? Thank you for coming along with the raid. And uh, can we please get a shout out for Heiser? If there are any mods that are active. I just like lighting all the torches. I really, really do. Thank you. Thank you for the shout out for Heiser. Uh, guys, guys and bells, please go check out Heiser. Go drop Heiser some love. They were also playing some Return to Moria. So please, please, please go and drop them some love. They deserve it. Where is this piece? I feel like it's probably, it's like in a really dumb spot. Or maybe this is the piece that I do need to go and make. I think I got to get up there first. Dude, I just noticed that Ouija board spells the name of the raid, right? No, no. So here's the thing. That's, that's my alerts for this month. And they not only spell the name of the raider, Anytime someone follows, subs, resubs, it spells the name. Okay, so this I need. I need the replacement pipe. So I got I got to go make a replacement pipe. So I probably need to bring iron and uh need to bring iron and coal with me when I come back. I probably should also go stop and get iron and coal. Uh, spend way too much time scavenging. Dude, I feel you, man. <gasps> Is that the pipe? That actually might be the pipe. Oh, hell yeah. I don't need to... Oh, that is a wolf. No longer do I need to run back. I am my own man with my own pipe. Is this early access? Nope. This is full release. Um, if you want to check it out for yourself, it is an Epic Games exclusive. It's eight player co-op. You can play solo. You can play online. Um, all you got to do is type in the initials of the game. So L O T R R T M. It's in my title. If you type that, that'll give you the link to the Epic Games store. And also I have a Epic Games creator code. So if you did want to also help support, you can use my creator code. Uh, but yeah, you can play solo, play with eight player co-op. It's a lot of fun. I keep seeing things out of the corner of my eye. Oh my God. I need to put this down. Welcome. There we go. Done. Hell yeah. Oh, L1 
Elven Forge, Elven Forge, Elven Forge. Forge of the Elven. There are birds inside the mountains. Dude, there's wildlife, man. There are trees. There's different biomes. There's a lot. Oh, that was cool. Also, Lore Reaper, yeah, I know I, I know that exclusive means that like it's only on there for like a certain amount of time. Uh, but it is only on Epic Games at the moment, but they do eventually plan on bringing it to other places. Whoa! A horde is coming. Orcs are coming. Get ready. What do you mean? These aren't orcs. These are Oh no, those are goblins. Standing here in the desert. I was really trying to have a moment, and it was ruined by the voice of God. We got just orcs. kept talking in my ear. Oh my god, that's so many! Oh! You shot me in my butt! Guys, look, we got double balls here. Nice double balls. Don't you dare attack my sconces. Sniffing out all the balls. Oh my God, there's so many of them. I want to see people die. Well, mission, mission granted, or request granted. My armor's about to break, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> Margin, you thought that the invasions were were annoying? Uh, welcome to the horde. Oh, my God. I got to get my stamina back. I literally feel like I have. Oh my God, they just keep coming. There's no way I got to go. I, I can't fight this all. There's, there's no way I can fight this all. Oh my God, there's so many. They really Oh my god That was three Oh my god, look at them all! I gotta go. That's one more for me. Oh my god, they surrounded me. Okay, I gotta go. I think I'm supposed to run. Dude, they're just they're just falling out of the sky. <laughs> Take care, turtle. Take care. What do I do? What do I do? Do I just build up stuff like behind me? Do I do like the Fortnite kid thing where you just. Dude, I. Everything has been alerted. Everything in here has been. Ah, there's so many. 
Okay, let me just let me just eat some mushes real quick. Let me just scarf down, scarf down. I might have to survive until like morning. Yeah, they're still behind me. Oh my god. I gotta fight him. I have I have to like hold my ground. And stay down. Ah! The horde's finished. Oh my god, it's like a timed thing, man. That's all you got. Oh. Oh my god. There's more. There's more. There's still more coming. Are they leaving? No, they're coming. That is that is coming to me. Dude, that is intense, man. Dude, my armor is broken. Like, are you guys coming? I'm, I'm going to die to these three little goblins. I'm leaving. Dude, that was insane. Yeah, well I'm I'm wondering I'm wondering if like healing items come a little bit later. Like I'm thinking right now that like we obviously don't have the materials or like the right crafty materials to make healing items but there's got to be healing items there's got to be healing items there's no way they have a crafty survival game with no healing items but that was crazy you know that that did a really good job at making you feel like that like from the original trilogy that you are in fucking moria and they and they are coming to attack you. Can I make this stuff here? Oh, I can make it here. Oh, I don't have to go all the way back. Oh my god, that's beautiful. That is that's fucking genius, man. Uh coal and iron. Yeah, I'm just going to I'm just going to fucking queue that up. Give me all of that, baby. Give me all of that. I need all of that. I need more iron. Just when you thought that you didn't need any more iron, you need more iron. Uh, make a roast. And we're going to repair everything. Repair, 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 repair. I hear things outside. So I notice also when the goblins are kind of like roaming around, as long as you don't move around too much. Now the big forge. Yeah. So I like that because I thought like, oh man, I'm going to have to go all the way over to like all the way over there and like do that. Like, oh, that's going to be so annoying, but you don't have to. And I am going to go ahead and make that steel hammer. I need elven wood. I didn't even think about cutting down the trees in that area. And I also need hide. God damn. That's nice, though, that you don't have to, like, run all the way back and, you know, vice versa and stuff, so. It's cool. Yeah, I need the elven, elven wood, and I'm going to need the hide, which I'm guessing the hide is probably from the deer in that area. So I will need to make another return trip and then come back so I can craft here. Oh, that was, that was crazy. But like, like I was saying, they did, that gave me like a real, like a real good feeling of like, I am in Moria and there is danger afoot everywhere that I'm going, you know? I'm eventually going to need those. Is that lapis? 
the gemstone. Well, I have 12. I'm curious to see, like, the item drop, it, like, back in that area. Like, I want to know how crazy it is. Okay, let's sleep. Yeah, I like that. Don't make us have to run all the way back. 18 bajillion miles, so... Uh, but yeah, Heiser, um, but this game is literally the play at your own pace, scavenge. Yeah, no, no, no. And I like that. Like, I, I like that. Like I was explaining earlier, like I don't mind crafty survival games, but the problem that I have with crafty survival games is that they lose my interest like really, really fast. I, I get like disinterested in crafty survival games. Uh, and that's just me. Like, nothing against them. Not that I think, like, they're bad games or anything like that. It's just, it's got to have, like, some unique mechanics that, are, like, really, really, get, like, get my my attention, you know? Uh, and this has got it because it's not just crafty survival. You know, there's there's exploration. There's there's lore that you can discover. There's obviously, like, you know, the story that you're, you know, you're going through Moria and stuff. Um, there's a lot to it. There's a lot to it. And I really, really do like that about it. So, but, uh, Margin Heiser, I think it'd be cool if we could play sometime. Uh, maybe get like a little crew together and everything, especially now with the, uh, the stream together function, which if I don't, I, I don't know if you guys know about this, basically Twitch has, uh, revamped the guest star feature, which allows you to basically do a multi Twitch native on Twitch. So if we wanted to do like a, a, a co-stream, we could even do one where we like help support each other and everything like that. And we can do this together. I also know that story is probably very, very interested in playing this. I know that she is definitely very, very, uh, interested in playing this as well. Yeah. So, um, so Twitch is, so they have guest star, which, uh, here, I'm just gonna, cause we probably are going to be ending it here. I don't know if I have it in me to like go back all the way down there and everything. So. Um, and also I, another thing that they got to add is if you're playing solo, they got to add a feature where you can pause the game. The fact that exit in a solo world, you can't pause it. They got to add a pause feature, please, please pause feature, please. Um, think I'm become my people plan to pick this up as well. Yeah, dude. I mean, and we can do up to eight peeps. So, I mean, that's more than enough spots and everything that is way, 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 way more than enough spots. So, um, I think it would be really, really freaking cool if we could get a nice little group together and, uh, and do this. But what I was saying was, and I'll show you real quick here. So, uh, what they did was guest star. If you don't know what guest star is, guest star used to be, um, basically this way of being able to bring people in on, on your streams. So like if you were doing like just chatting and you wanted to bring friends in to do kind of like a, like a talk show sort of thing, you could bring their webcam in, you could do a whole bunch of stuff and everything. They've now changed it to stream together. And essentially the way that it works is that yes, you can still bring in people's like webcams and stuff like that and everything. But now it then puts you in a special mode when you're streaming that it will then basically pull all your viewers together so you're all supporting each other people can then also see like the different chats and everything and kind of flip around and everything it's really cool it's literally what i've been wanting for twitch they they basically had this idea a while ago to have a function like this so th this this is multi twitch which you can go to any of these sites and basically input a few people's like streams and stuff like that and then have multiple streams and flip the chats but they talked about it a while. They were supposed to have squad streaming and then squad streaming. Just, we don't know what the fuck happened to squad streaming. They, they talked about it. They showed it off. Um, partners only had access to it. And then they just literally stopped talking about it. And it just dis a fucking peered <laughs> essentially. So now with the stream together function, um, now it's essentially guest star has now turned into like that squad streaming. So I really do want to try it out. I might be trying it out this, uh, this Sunday, with uh with Wookie and or Z if Z was planning on streaming some Baldur's Boys on Sunday so I can let you know how it is and everything uh but uh we could definitely do that as well if we're going to be doing some Moria together I think that would be really really cool to to play it and stream it together and everything with you guys so um but uh yeah I I, I think I think this is where we're going to end it only because it's it's almost 1 a.m. I do have some meetings in the morning and I also do have a very, very important, um, 
whatchamacallit, I also do have a very, very important, uh, like two big meetings tomorrow. So I would like to keep playing this. I do plan on keep playing this. I probably will pick back up on this on next Tuesday. If we can get a group together, cool. If not, I might just dive into more of it solo. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, I, I appreciate it guys. This was, this was freaking awesome. Um, I honestly really, really do enjoy this game and I honestly do recommend it. Uh, if anybody was thinking about picking this up, if you're into Lord of the Rings, if you are into crafty survival games, things like that and everything, then I do recommend picking up this game. Uh, it's worth it. It's absolutely freaking worth it. Um, if you're a big Lord of the Rings fan and everything, definitely, definitely, definitely check this out for sure. Um, and again, thank you to the developers uh, and also to Rainmaker.gg for uh, letting us try out this game. Uh, this is actually a review copy that I received through Rainmaker.gg from the developers. So thank you so much to Rainmaker.gg. If you are a content creator, go check them out. They're like one of these places where you can like basically sign up to try and get review copies. And then obviously you need to like do the review uh, for the game and everything like that. But uh, thank you so much to Rainmaker and also to the developers for A, making an amazing game. I, I, I don't remember the, I think the last crafty survival game that really held my interest was Sons of the Forest. And then I was like, I need to wait for more updates. This feels very, very good. And honestly, like, even though there were a few jank moments, there were a few jank moments, which obviously, you know, no game is perfect. Um, I think for it coming out full release, it's, it's a pretty solid game. It's a pretty solid game. And also for the price, which I think this game is like 40 bucks. I think I even said it before, um, you know, before we, um, before we, you know, dived into this and everything. I, or I said it the other night on stream. I was like, if I don't get a review copy, that is a thousand percent. Okay. Um, because I like Lord of the Rings and this really, really piqued my interest and in everything. So. Yeah, that's the other thing. I mean, I feel like, especially because, like, I don't know about you, Margin, or Heiser, I mean, but that is as far as I got to that Elven Forge. Um, and I feel like, you know, from seeing, um, from seeing, like, you know, the screenshots and everything from, like, or, like, on the, on the Epic Games page, there looks like that there's some big, crazy areas. And, I mean, we haven't even seen places that were, like, in the movie and everything. We haven't seen, like, the bridge or, like... The, the giant rooms with, like, those, like, enormous, enormous, like, ceilings and everything. We haven't seen any of that yet. We've only seen, like, the entrance and maybe, like, the first, like... Again, this is just, you know, the first, like, 20 feet into, into Moria. <laughs> so. Um, a bear? Yeah, the bear! I, I didn't even get a chance to go up to the bear and see it. I think next time I play, which I might play a little bit off stream... I might try to just gather those materials and get, like, the steel pickaxe and, like, that stuff. Um, so that way I can, like, you know, progress next time majorly when, when we play on stream, if I play solo or whatever and everything. So, but yeah, Bear was the literally the biggest thing. The biggest thing that we saw so far. Um, and my guess is you can't have a Lord of the Rings game without a fucking Balrog. Especially if we are back and we are in Moria. I guarantee there's a fucking Balrock in the game. And I want to fight a fucking Balrock. I want to run up to that thing with my tiny little dwarf body and start a swinging and just taking on a Balrock face to face. That's what I want. And they better have a Balrock in the game. Uh, but anyway... Um, I don't know if anybody, does anybody have any recommendations for us to raid? I would like to try and find somebody that we could actually know this. There is this one person we could read. They're actually doing a stream together. This person's actually doing a stream together. It is not Lord of the Rings, uh, Moria, but I know this person has raided us and I don't think we've gotten the opportunity to raid them back. But if someone had someone in mind that is also playing Lord of the Rings Return of Moria, that would also be really, really cool. But if not, that is absolutely fine. Uh, there is this person who is playing a spooky game, um, but they are also doing the uh, the stream together. So you could actually, we could actually try, uh, try and check it out and see what it looks like and everything. So, uh, but yeah, forty dollars, totally worth it. Totally, totally, totally worth it. I, I like sixty. I like, I probably would have still gotten it <laughs> for sixty, but um, for forty, that that is that is a pretty good price for the content that is in this game, and also. No two people's worlds are the same, by the way. 
it's seed generated. So that means that each time you load up a new game or you start up a new world, it's randomly generated. So my world is probably completely different from Heiser's or completely different from Margin's. Like there's probably the, like that elf area, but the pathing to get up to that elf area is probably going to be different from, you know, from the other people and everything. So, uh, gold plated games slash Oddish is playing Metro 2023. Ooh, I like 2023. That's a good, all the Metro games are fucking phenomenal, but I don't think that fits your requirements. Yeah. It doesn't, I mean, this other person that I was thinking about rating also doesn't fit the requirements and everything, but you know what? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Also, I have to, I have to report something because blatantly someone is breaking something. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just, uh, people think that you're dumb, but they ain't. So, all right. I think I, Ashy, you mean Ashy Slashy? Um, but you know what? I think this, I think this let's, let's go and raid. Let's go and raid Osu Phoenix. They actually have raided us twice. They've actually raided us twice. And I would like to return the favor. And, uh, it seems like they're on very, very sparingly. So it kind of aligns up tonight that they're on, we're on, they're still streaming. We're finishing streaming. So I think what we'll do is we will go and raid Osu. Uh, they are doing a stream together. Um, uh, with somebody so you can kind of check out to see how it looks and everything like that so i break things you you haven't broken anything don't worry uh also thank you for the support by the way thank you for the support if you didn't know this was this is actually my first time ever doing a simul cast because if you didn't know this any any streamers in the chat uh twitch has kind of like taken off their gloves and you can now do multicast uh multicast multi-streaming to not only to like social media sites like instagram and like tiktok but now you can do multi-streaming to places like YouTube Kick, places like that. They do have some very, very specific rules. If you want to learn more about that, let me know. I was thinking about making some like YouTube shorts or TikToks, kind of a talking about it and everything. But if you got any questions about that, let me know. I've actually this whole entire time have been multi-streaming over to uh, YouTube. The whole entire time. This is literally my first time ever doing a, uh, a simulcast. Um, so uh, hi to YouTube. Hi. Hope you enjoyed it over there. I'm gonna try my best to do more uh, more of these simulcasts because now Twitch is like, you can do it. So like, why not? Like, might as well get your content in other places and everything like that, you know? So, um, but uh, I need to actually play Pokemon games because this mini game is driving me cray cray. Yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. It's a pretty cool thing. Uh, so anyway, uh, on that note, oh my God, did they literally get offline? God damn it. They got offline. Actually, they might be refreshing their stream. They might be refreshing their stream. We'll, we'll see. If not, who, who are you recommending? There's um, gold-plated games. Actually, I think you recommended gold-plated games to us a while ago, by the way, uh, Eternal. Yeah, I'm not rating that person because they are uh, blatantly viewbotting. Yeah, there's somebody that is blatantly view botting that was like we could go raid them, but I've I've suspected this person of view botting for a while now. Um and it's gotta be pretty blatant if you hear me admitting that that. So uh I am not gonna raid that person. I'm probably actually going to unfollow them and block them because uh view botting is not is against Twitch TOS and also is gross. Uh, I didn't think I ever... Uh, no, I'm pretty sure you did because I follow gold-plated games. And um, I I think it was you. And I think it was on a night I was like, oh, we could use recommendations. And you and you said gold-plated games. And then I think I went and dropped them a follow. And I said, you know what? Well, maybe we'll consider them uh, for another time for, for a raid. So I just want to give Osu a second because it would be nice to kind of return the raid favor. Um... Like I always love returning the favors for, for rating and, and stuff like that and everything, because I feel like, you know, we're kind of giving back to those who gave to us and everything. So, um, you know, let me go ahead and end the YouTube stream here real quick. For those who are watching over on YouTube, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I know, uh, you know, it was kind of random and spontaneous and everything, but I figured why the hell not? Let's try to give out this, this YouTube thing. So thank you. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you come over, check me out over here on Twitch. That's twitch.tv forward slash Chris X Chad. Come and check us out. Drop us some follows. Some of these effects are only available over on Twitch. So please come and check us out. A 
appreciate you watching until next time bye bye